What's going on, you voting vaginal vixens? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak. That's well, it is live. It is live from the lair, yes. Sorry. Welcome to the 2022 Ice Cream Social Spectacular. And if you will read the board behind me, it says F the Dems, bunch of Cheeto fornicators. Well, it's uh it's kind of off camera because of how uh, things are right now. I don't care. I just wrote it on there because I'm going to aggravate people. <laughs> what I do. We have one hell of a guest lineup for you tonight, and it's going to keep shuffling as mm -hmm. we go along. Now, stand by. I have an announcement. You have an announcement. Okay. All right. If there's anyone out there on the in the audience around the Detroit metro area um, that wants to get involved in watching some of the shenanigans, 
Uh, I had some of the people who watch this show contact me and say that uh, they're watching a warehouse somewhere in Wayne County that they suspect has been printing up counterfeit uh, ballots. And um, yeah, so just send an email to Redonkulous12. I'll forward you the information. You make the phone call. Check it out. Yeah. You're the camera dude. <laughs> got to do what I got to do. We're just looking at your uh, at your gut. Mm. No one wants to see your gut, man. Just it's saying. okay. Well, it's not the it, fat punish your gut. It's it's shrunk quite a bit, man. Come I'm on. wearing my letter Kenny shirt. You see this? Give your balls a tug, shit fuckers. It's <laughs> 2024. All right, shall we bring them in? Yes, let's one bring them at a time. Okay, you know him, you love him. He's got more stories than pop, if that's possible. Senior Airman Richard Fitzwell is on the stream. How you doing? All sir? right. Hey guys. Hey fuckers. What's up? Hey, what's up? Crank it up, fuckers. <laughs> How you been doing, man? I hear you're fighting the flu. <clears throat> yeah, I got the flu. Like I said, I got tested for the fucking coof, so I don't have the uh, woo flu. So I can still work in the hangar. I'm good. I'm happy about that. That's good times. Hey, Pop. Yeah. Change your fucking shirt, man. You look like a target. (laughs) I just put this on. You picked the worst shirts to wear. (laughs) Well, you kind of you you kind of look like a decomposed creamsicle. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of like your ex after a long weekend. Ooh. You look like a range fan on a fiery range. Oh, what are you going to do? Well, it's a little bit early, but I'll give you one of these. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> Bring in the next. Bring in the next one. Uh, coming to us from, what? I think it's Missouri, something like that. Uh, everybody's favorite shit eater, Dr. Ginger <laughs> Hamster. How you doing? <laughs> what, Hamster? You look like a damn yeah. crash test dummy with that shirt on. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Click it or ticket. That's right. Yeah. Orca. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? Oh, okay. Good to be here. Pop for the next thirty minutes, and then we'll get oh, into the topic. Yeah. Well, I mean, he couldn't even figure out his beer earlier. I mean, for God's sake, man! Oh, How I know. You There's something in my Guinness, like dude. There's something plastic in there. It's Guinness. Well, I listen. He I, literally I, cut the fucking thing open. <laughs> I, you fucking ain't right. I did. <laughs> Now, haven't we all done that at one time? I don't know what the hell that is. All I know is something's rattling there, and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, you collect a bunch of them, and you put them together with a string, and you got yourself a Thursday night. Oh, yeah, it, there you go. The shit's so heavy, you got deposits that sit at the bottom. That's any true. any true Guinness, you got to kind of work the bottle to get the taste out of the well, bottom. It's actually, it's yeah. actually yeah, it's yeah, a, nitro- it's a nitrogen capsule to give you the, the full flavor of the Guinness, because it's nitrogenized <laughs> if you go to a bar on tap. Yeah, so. yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of full flavor, uh, we got yeah. a thing in the mommy milkers on the stream. There we go. Ooh. He loves her so Ooh. much. Lauren Brooks. How yeah. are you, baby? Hey, how are you Listen, doing? I-, I need to clarify. I am not a mother, so these oh, do not I milk anyone or anything. They are <laughs> oh, mine. She's got milkers. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey. Hello. Do you get the Jim Hi. Carrey treatment when you go into elevators? You know? Mama. <laughs> Uh, sharing is car- uh, caring there, Lauren. Sharing is very caring. Right, caring. right. Mm-hmm. The motto one must live by. It is. How is everyone doing tonight? I, I, I really wish you would have brought me in with, with the uh, the whole <laughs> the last. Uh, we have to get this this going because we all need to be in this conversation. I think it's going to be a very good time, and uh, I'm yeah. ready. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy shit afoot from what I've been hearing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I got an election update. All right. Oh, what do we got? Uh, Republican Senator Tim Scott projected to win re-election. This comes from uh, Breitbart, which just was posted 22 minutes ago. Bro, okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but I've been keeping an eye on uh, RCP right now. Unfortunately, it's looking like Whitmer is a point up in Michigan. <laughs> The Wicked Witch of Lansing. Yeah. yeah. Not that her, uh, you know, not that her, you know, vetoing voting legislation earlier this year had anything to do with what we're seeing in Michigan. Yeah. You know, thousands of people dead at her hand, basically. Yeah, yeah. I was well, really, 
All right. Well, here in Florida, DeSantis and Rubio both win. Yeah, that was taken. They had landslide numbers, anyways. Oh yeah, big, big time, big time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. There's going to be that big uh, mystery count of all of those ballots. Mm. That, yeah, wait till uh, later. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, after like oh, two yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, no, nothing so, to see here. <laughs> yeah. So, so let me let me tell you. So they started this shit from early in the morning, right? So oh, I got up. I, I got up a half an hour. I get up at 4.30 every morning. I set an alarm for, I got up at 4 o'clock this morning, made sure that I was out the door so that I was in line in time so that I could do what I had to do, go vote, and then get my ass to work because I pay taxes. Yep, yep. Funnily hmm. enough. Yep. And so <laughs> we, I get there, <clears throat> polls open at 6, right? All right, they open the doors, they let us in. Everybody starts filing in and I'm like maybe fifth or sixth in line. And so they give me my ballot. I go, I fill it out like I'm a goddamn kindergartner filling in fucking circles, <laughs> right? Uh <-huh. laughs> and so then, you know, then you have to turn in your ballot. Well, oh, the machine isn't working. What the uh -huh. fuck do you mean the machine isn't working? It's oh, six yeah. o'clock in the goddamn morning. When you open at six o'clock, you should be ready to go. I don't want to hear yep. these fucking excuses about, oh, the machine doesn't, oh, we don't have power. Bitch, there was no thunderstorms last night. There's no reason that you shouldn't have power. There's no reason that the machine shouldn't be working. There should have been somebody there early, like I was there early to go vote. There should have been someone there early to make sure that the fucking machinery was working. You would yep. think when we got there, you would think, right? You would think, no, yep. no. So, all right. So I'm standing in line, right? Okay. So then one of the fucking toads, she goes, oh, well, you know, if you're in a rush, you can just leave your ballot over here and we'll scan it later. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck okay. you. Three Fuck words you. for you. Chain of custody. Hey, Lauren, they were doing the same ass. in Maricopa County in Arizona. Yep, that's uh -huh. right. Same everywhere. Thing. In Texas, everywhere. Every fucking where. Fuck yep. you. You, you, I, if you think If you think that I'm one of these goddamn high school students, like I'm turning in a goddamn exam, and then some teacher's going to take it home and grade my paper later, fuck <laughs> you. No, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I want to see my ballot go into the fucking machine. Fuck you and your excuses. Just and the tip. So, just the <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Lauren, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We got to bring in our last guest. Yeah. For the, this wave, we have waves of people. Coming well, out. actually, the, our other our last guest for this wave is supposed to be Hammerhand. He's not here yet. But oh, hey, oh, you know what? Son of a gun. We got. Well, he's not even the next best thing. He is. He is Optimus Prime of the uh, the Crimson Capsule community Optimus at this Prime. point, and he's criminally undersubbed. There's the rhino. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. I am just here for the ride tonight. But uh, gentlemen, uh, I think all? Pop is just back from the jousting contest. The guys are just royal assholes. Yeah. But hey, you guys you got, got, a, a, smoke you got a smoke machine at your new studio, Pop? It's... Uh, I will bring this up. It's here. Uh, incense. I got to cover up the Hang smell on. of death. Mm, the stench. <laughs> yeah. The smell of death. Yeah. Well, my Hang buddy, on, my buddy Darren was down here for. Yeah, I know. I know oh, Darren geez. was down there. Yeah. He, and he died at the hospital. But let me do know, the uh, solo layout here, here, and I can show you guys this here. Check this out. Oh, here we go. Yep. yep. This is all over. We got Arizona and Maricopa County. Shocker. Bell County in Texas, voting machines were down in Temple. Mm -hmm. No one's been mm -hmm. able to vote at all today. People call in around report very few polling places working in the entire county. What? Harris County, it was an Texas. Accident. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. And and this is this no, is what pisses it. me off because it's this is this is how you know that they're desperate, right? Oh yeah. And this is not to say that they won't try to find other ways, like like Nancy Pelosi said, they have many arrows in their quiver. Mm -hmm. that, that that bitch hasn't quivered since 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Other than her uh, alcohol yeah, withdrawals. Yeah, oh, right. oh, there's but, she yeah, shakes maybe. it. Hey, for that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Stand by. All got, right, everybody. Is, this, Hang on. I, 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 she's right. she's mad. She's mad. <laughs> okay. Get back. When she's mad, she shakes, and it's okay. All right. All right. <laughs> got one more. We'll bring him in. All right. Let's bring him in. The hammer. The hammer. 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 
gentlemen, ladies, oh, yeah. lady, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Hammer. Hey, Hammer. Uh, yeah, gentlemen, lady, and crash test dummy. It's serial kill, killer Santa. I, I don't know what we're <laughs> going with. Like, we go with crash. Oh, oh, you motherfuckers. Uh, hey, well, there's actually a movie coming out called Violent Night. Ooh. Yes, I saw yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw the preview to that, and I was actually rather mm -hmm. impressed. Yeah, I, so was, I was listening to you guys talk about all of these malfunctions that are going on out here. When mm -hmm. NBC was doing their pre-roll and they were trying to go through shit, they said that they had a stage malfunction and they couldn't give the results. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no okay. kidding. So and, 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 everybody's but, doing it. But this, so this is their this is their tactic now, right? It's, yes. They are just trying to because they yes. know that people are trying to get to work, right? They they're trying to go to because and look, it should be a day that we have off from work that everybody doesn't have these responsibilities. You can just go. There's no because what they're doing is holding your time management over you, right? They're saying, oh, well, you're here at six o'clock. Well, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to wait because uh, I'm sorry. You have you have to get to work. Well, it's going to take a few hours and people are going to give up. They're not going to want to put up with their fucking ineptitude to mm -hmm. get this done. You know, and it's it just blows me away because, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people in a lot of different countries and every single one of them are saying, how can this system be so it's intentional. Functional. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. it's intentional. And yeah, that's exactly what I said. It's that way on purpose. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason okay, hang on. It. Right. Now, Marty knows how the military works. All right. It's called rehearsals. Mm hmm Yes, sir. He, I can't tell you how many times Marty and I and uh, the team we're on in the Army were going on operations, and I would rehearse the entire mission several times before we even got on the bird, mm -hmm. you know, and that goes and the rehearsal goes with testing your equipment, inspecting your vehicles, weapons, and every, all this shit you're going to use. And if there's anything that doesn't work, you know about it ahead of time. Yeah. All right. And now this is the <laughs> government here. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. there is something being built into the system to allow this fucking horse shit to take place. Oh yeah, and they want an excuse for a delay so they can they can you know bring in waffle cones to the ice cream social. Mm -hmm. Yep, long exactly. after exactly. the parlor's been locked. Yep, and well, you know what that, did they um, do way back when, right? What did they yeah. do two two years ago, four years ago, six years ago? They did the whole fucking thing. They did this once with social media, and it worked. Mm -hmm. Yep, right? Well, so all of that and, shit's built into the algorithms of all of these complex operating systems. Yeah. So nobody knows what in, anything is now. Yeah, it's right. only like it, that it, two years to fix these uh, machines to be ready for today. On top of that, you have Arizona. Katie Hobbs is overseeing the elections there, which is the Democrat Democratic governor. The nominee, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and in New York, if I can say this, uh, there were certain threats of an explosive nature in their polling center. Yeah. So, oh yeah, New like, York. It's completely yeah. accidental. This is all coincidence. All right. Well, you I know? have a I have an update out of Pennsylvania. No, oh. Fetterman. 84.7% over Oz. Wow. 13.5%. Wow. There's no wow. Right now, I'm watching it up here. Fucking 84.7% over 13, 13 and a half for Oz. The There's guy can't no even I, I don't believe that. Well, I don't the believe. heat map. 5% of the vote, showing, only. Yeah. The heat map's only showing the major metropolitan yeah, 5 centers. 5% in. 5%. You got no, Philly, right Harrisburg, yeah. and Pittsburgh that are only showing on the heat map. All the surrounding counties. Haven't even lit up. Oz is only at thirty three thousand votes, while Fetterman's at two thousand two hundred nine thousand votes. Mm -hmm. That's fishy. Yeah, well, still fishy. What I heard that's, is some I bet that's all of the early the, voting, right? That's all the early. That's the yeah, early yeah, voting that's stuff. Probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. No, I mean, Pop is exactly right, and and exactly what I was thinking to as well. Uh, Pop is that you mean to tell me in Maricopa County and all these other places they didn't freaking try this out? Like over the weekend? No. Are you kidding me? They didn't oh, do it for the 2020. No. We, we no. don't want to do that. We can. Well, well they Come did. <laughs> hey, they set the stage for this early on, and I can right. actually yeah. do yeah. this. Here, hang on, stand stand by. Stand Let by. me switch here's, it up here. Uh, here's Michigan. Stand by. Hang on. All right. There it is. We may not know all the winners of elections for a few days. This, this, this is means. bullshit. Sounds this familiar. This bullshit is what it is. Yep. Yep. This this shit has never happened until 2016 no. popped up. Yep. Th th this shit should be done on election night. Yep. Yeah. This is, absolutely. This is, 
This is right. This is why the rest of the world laughs at us. Well, they deserve yeah. to laugh. Honestly, they, they get a good belly laugh because we give do. it to them. Yep. Yeah, there's third do. world countries out here that can get an elections done, count six million votes, and have it done the same night, but yet suddenly right. we can't bullshit. Well, I mean, look, look at Florida. They've got what? Ground states. Yeah, it's, 20, it's 24 only, million yeah, people right. or something. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's well, only, yeah, Florida gained, uh, the blue Florida state. gained another uh, electoral from 29 to 30 now because yeah. of the population mm. boom. They have 76% yeah. of the vote counted already in, in an hour and a half. Well, Come they, on. Said, they said Rubio. Rubio's already won. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, and and uh, he's DeSantis, yeah. DeSantis he's, is already won. So yeah, Rand had, Paul already won. They had landslide yep. numbers here last up. week, and right, Stan, we're going to be looking for a, a map online to see if they're showing anything. Well, I'll see what I can do. I do have real clear politics up uh, okay. here. Okay, that kind of shows how everything is breaking down. I got a Michigan statistic right here, right now. Uh, Gretchen Schitmer, she's at seventy nine point three percent. Peter Dixon at 19.9%. That's got to be all the early voting. How much of the yeah. vote is in, though, on that? No. Um, it's not giving any numbers. Granted, this is a, a CNN. It's a communist news network. It says 2% <laughs> on real, 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 RCP says 2% of the votes. Yeah. Out. Yep. So we still got quite a ways to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we know now that Guam is secure and Guam is red. Yeah, After Guam 30, went red 30 today. fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we actually, uh, before we d dive into the whole, we're going to be diving into the super chats and everything. Probably, if you guys have tips, things that have been going on, send them our way because we're, this is just going to be a free for all. We're drinking, we're having a good time. I'm drinking moonshine. Yes, sir. How serious I am about this. Moonshine. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we got Billy Von Baum out in the field. Oh, oh yeah, right. Right. Oh, really? Let's Great. take a look. Good evening, right, Pop and Blake. Billy Von Baum here. We're in a city near you to find out what voters think of this very important election. We had a chance to speak to one of these voters earlier today. Let's roll that tape. My name is Jose. I come from Mexico last week, and now I get the vote in your election because your Biden is best president. What makes him the best? Your Biden give me a house, he give me a car, he even give me tequila. I'm going to drink tequila. He is the best, your Biden. Thank you for taking your time to speak with us. That about wraps it up from this polling station. We'll be back in a while to check in on more that's happening. And now back to you in the studio. <laughs> that is fantastic. You gotta, love, yeah! you gotta love having field reporters on a, a show with two dudes in a oh, dude, that's that's hell yeah. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. This is a freaking show right here, guys. We got I everything. Love, oh, yeah, Good and shit. we will be checking in with Billy Von Baum again throughout the evening. Yeah, awesome. No, we wonderful. started uh, about 30, 30 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. But, uh, Herschel, but Walker, Herschel Walker and Brian Kemp were just a little bit down. Uh, they've both added almost 15%. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's those it's those early voting. Democrats yeah. are notorious yeah. for doing the early voting. And well, I got the uh, – Kemp I got and, and Abrams are almost uh, in a dead heat, so – yeah, I got by. North Carolina's heat map up. You know oh, what's yeah. really fucked up is that somebody like Stacey Abrams, who is nothing, oh, nobody, and, and just has come from nowhere just to trumpet <laughs> racist bullshit, can is actually still relevant? pull that much of that vote. Well, she is no, now. She's not. <laughs> right? Well, sure. Sure she is. I mean, look how many people are coming out to bat for her. Uh, yeah. Well, in North Carolina, Beasley, this is the Senate race. He's at 53.5. Well, Bud, the Republican, he's at 44.7. In their heat map, it's looking incredibly blue. Their major <laughs> metropolitan centers are just so deep blue; it's not going to. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, North Carolina they... is lost to its to its own devices. Oh, no. yeah. it's too bad about NC, man. Too bad. Yep, good state. I like it. Yeah, yeah. good state. Good All people. those dead people there voting. Dead. <clears throat> well, you had an influx of New Yorkers that moved into North Carolina, That's much like true. they did yeah. here. Well, we had a, not a lot of New Englanders, so like. Every time I drive out to the hangar, I see Connecticut, I see New Hampshire, yep. um, I see New York, mm. and it's and you have and they move more towards St. Augustine because they can afford those nice gated communities, which is mm. that's just fine. But I guess 
overall their voting values are still largely mm-hmm. you know they turn florida to new york it's it's well, they tried, frustrating well, didn't they tried. work out yeah. <laughs> no no my thing is this all right we, we have two years of what the democrats want you know want in store for the country and it's an absolute clusterfuck mm-hmm. yep all right, and I cannot believe we have so many people out there that are so fucking stupid they can't even detect when the water around them is about to fucking start boiling. Well, <laughs> you would think. I mean, Tom, what do you it's think? a mind virus, man. That's what it is. It's I mean, what do you think is going to happen if this goes on for another five or six years? Literally, uh, we're going to be in, in a dynamic be, two-way rifle range. You're going to be. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're going to have real well, problems, is what we're. They're hope. They're hoping for a two-way rifle range. <laughs> and I'm. I'm kind of curious. Uh, my state, Colorado, has been uh, blue for a while. Mm-hmm. But uh, I do courier work. I'm out driving around all day, and it just so happened I had to drive by the Capitol today. Normally, mm-hmm. on any kind of election, you see all the socialists out with their signs and their pickets, you know, yelling at the uh, traffic there. There were two people, two people. That was it. And it was like an elderly couple saying, vote Dem. That was it. Nobody else. So that's interesting to see. Yeah, hmm. very fascinating. I think that's normal, though, when you get to, when you get to the midterms, man, even when Trump after Trump got in and the midterms happened, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of hype around that. And mm. they, they lost voters in the midterm yep. across the board. So, yep. well, I mean, I, I read uh, <clears throat> uh, the communist is going to win anyway. So maybe people just don't care. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's his name? Polis. Yeah. Jared Polis. I fucking hope not. <laughs> oh, he will. God. We've had enough of this shit. Literally, that's what's all over the streets now. Thanks uh, to that guy. I know. Uh, hey, I get it. I used to live there. I know. Yeah. There is no freaking enthusiasm whatsoever for the Democrats. I mean, seriously, check this out. Mm. CBS reporters drove up and down the Florida coast in cities Biden won and couldn't find a single person who didn't support DeSantis. Wow. <laughs> well, Shocker. Nice. You know. I mean, just look what people are. Look what they are. Look what they've been through and look what they have supported in just just the last six years. Right. Yeah. I mean, you they support these people that are voting blue or that are sitting on the fence independence. They they are not sure whether or not the last two years of crushing the economy of the world was a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. So and this, I just watched an Arizona stat come up here. They have the biggest portion of self-identified voters with 40% with independence. So that's that's pretty fucking humongous. That's humongous. That is, that is big. In Arizona, you say? How yeah. She yeah. said. Yeah. Wow. yeah. They were bigger than both the Democrats and the Republicans as self-identified voters. It was 40%. And there's 40% statistically in Arizona of people sitting out there that are like, hmm, was the last two years a good thing or a bad yeah. thing? Mm, good. Yeah. Now, what are you talking about here, Hammerhand? I just covered in Culture War 101 that came out with today. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I did a video on it. It's real short. Uh, like, I think it's, what, three minutes long, right? No, no, it's longer than that. Oh, it's 15? Yeah, no, it was like 15. Yeah, I break down the Culture War. Yeah, when you talked about the one. DHS leaks, that one was like three minutes. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Yep. <clears throat> But I mean, Arizona itself, I used to live down there for a short while. It's it's an interesting place. You know, I, it it doesn't surprise me that there's a lot of independence in Arizona. It just kind of feels about right if you're in Phoenix. It yeah. kind of feels that way. So Yeah. But it yeah. doesn't necessarily mean they're not Republicans or Democrats. It's some some people just don't like to identify for whatever right. stupid reason. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, I got that. They go for uh, you know independence so they can vote in the primaries, either one or whatever it is, I guess. Because I spent a year in uh, Phoenix and I, I got the impression that was very conservative. Yeah. So I, I'm too. I a hard time believing all of this craziness that's been well, taking place there. Yeah. Okay. I guess it just shows the effectiveness of pumping propaganda into people 24 mm-hmm. seven. Absolutely. You know, it's yep. what you do divide and conquer. And it's yep. a very effective method of controlling people. Yep. Yep. Ironically, the same people screaming Nazi are <laughs> proving that Goebbels was 100% correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah, live yeah, yeah. When you repeat it often enough, people will believe it. Well, uh, yeah. Mengele was all for uh, Big Pharma. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Who, who invented it? Rockefeller invented Big Pharma. Oh, so well. That's one of the, the funniest things. I think it's probably the biggest Biden gaffe of the last year was when he said, we beat Big Pharma. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like forcing people. You mean you, no, 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 no. What? He, you did he, what? He, he, mean, he means they beat them off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Hang on, where is it? 
I had to two fist that motherfucker. Boy. Ah, yeah, ah. We're, we're doing the we're doing the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the version of the lap dog pull down. Oh big, man! Oh, oh, that felt so good. Big Pharma said. <laughs> How come all the innu the, the only innuendo out of this is coming from Lauren? It's just <laughs> mm. I, the injections, listen. man. <laughs> Injections now it's, with it's reach rounds. Intense shit, bro. <laughs> pretty intense. Uh, uh, did you get, uh, did you happen to catch that uh, deal a couple of well, maybe maybe three weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, um, out there in the uh, Finnish Parliament where they were directly cross examining that Pfizer exec, and they said that yes. there was no testing yep. whatsoever on transmissibility. That's right. And that they also yeah. had to throw yeah, yeah. away thirty-seven million vials because nobody's taking it. Yeah, yeah, right. They essentially, you had that initial had no pump, time. that initial surge, and then everybody stopped. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Isn't it amazing what happens when you actually, I don't know, pay attention to facts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, now they want no. amnesty. <laughs> mm, no. Uh, amnesty, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's fuck the finger again. I, I'm, I'm so <laughs> dumb. You want, you, you want to be, you want forgiveness? For separating people from their family, for killing people, when yeah. Lauren, Lauren, anyone, I was uh, rather far too hard line of stands. That's that's too mm -hmm. hard line of stands, man. It looks like you gotta forgive hard. us, forgive us, no, bitches. No, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Forgiveness. Uh, fuck I you. I'm, so, I'm, 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 I'm Hey. Listen. <laughs> I don't it fun and, and listen, all I'm, the way I'm, up. I'm, you need I'm a drink, baby. Yeah. I. Where's your drink? drink. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. Crack there you it. Go. Okay. <laughs> crack that thing oh, open. That shit is dangerous. Crack it open. Oh crack my god. Oh. That destroyed me. I could drink that. Literally, I drank one of those in a day, and I was like comatose for like thirty six hours. Drink like straight out of the bottle. Ooh. The cold. Looks room. like uh, we cold. got DeSantis is going to pull an easy win. Yep. Yep. The Ohio governor looks like he pulled it off, or at least yep. that's the way it's looking right now. We had nothing from the East Coast or from. Looks like Walker's yeah. seven points behind with forty percent of the vote in in Georgia. Oh wow! We got uh, Senator uh, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson closing the spread. Closing. Yep. So Johnson is closing the spread. Huh. That's uh, <laughs> that's counterintuitive, right there. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. Huh. <laughs> this <game. laughs> yeah, there sure is. Here pretty soon. Demings is conceding to Marco right now. Oh yeah, she got uh, rushed. She yeah, lost she got by almost destroyed. a million. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Chris, and Herschel Walker looks like he's yet? falling behind, which is amazing. Really? We figure Georgia, they would support him because well, he's jumped up. When we came well, on, he was like thirty-five, like eighty to three, wasn't it? Or something? Yeah, it was like thirty-five percent, and not in his favor. Now he's at like forty-eight. Oh, yeah. So there's only it's a two percent margin now. Mail-in ballots and early voting is going to skew a lot of this toward the Democrats in the beginning. Yeah. So when you're worried about Abbott losing Texas, he's not going to lose Texas. No, like, he's, uh, he's going to have a fucking chance in hell. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope there's an um, warehouse well, somewhere in Texas that's making <laughs> distributing waffle okay. cones for the ice cream social. <laughs> no, no, no matter no matter what happens, man, you can't you can't really get too excited about anything that you see tonight yeah. because of what's going to happen in the next few days. And I, that oh, was yeah. really the intention. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like the last time in 2020 when. 3 a.m. statistically impossible. Yeah, let's just stop. Let's just stop voting. Let's just stop voting. I was reading. I, I wish I could remember the article. But the odds of what happened in 2020 are, are actually it's less impossible. than life spontaneously yep. Yep. appearing. Yeah, it's it's it was in, it was an impossibility when it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, we we tuned out about four thirty in the morning, mm -hmm. and uh, the one thing that really grabbed my attention about that was like less than an hour after the polls closed for Arizona, mm -hmm. they were declaring Arizona for Biden. Yep, and yep. I was like, uh, and Fox declared it, and I was but like, remember, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> it uh -oh. was the most safe exactly. and secure election. Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm You're sorry. Sorry. you know they keep telling me that, and I keep forgetting. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you guys were um, hilarious yep. preemptive copium. Yeah, they're putting out uh, Max Frost. This. Oh man, wins becomes first Gen Z and Afro Cuban member of Congress. Oh, we're fucked here in Florida's tenth mm. district. So naturally, that. it's. He's going to be afraid to show up to work. They're going to put in a safe space for him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the key is a teddy bear that he can hump and come in. Don't bang <laughs> the gavel. Just do this. 
You guys are going to love this. Preemptive copium from Politico of all websites. This is one of the funniest damn things I've read all day. Oh, here it comes. Politico is suddenly warning people that ice cream machines can be hacked. Right on. Well, hi- hypothetically. Right on. Hypothetically. Oh, right on, no way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hypothetically in 2020, um, it, this may have or possibly might have happened. A certain amount of money was exchanged, and uh, I may or may not have hypothetically viewed actual live data from the Cobo Hall that their machines were communicating with the server somewhere overseas, mm-hmm. and they're supposed to not be connected to the I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but that was Venezuela. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went to Venezuela, homie. I'm sorry. I'm just telling sorry, you. Chief, sorry. <laughs> Was telling Things you. that shouldn't happen for two hundred, Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is wow. What can I say? Oh, wait, hey man, wait. it's all right. We get our Venezuelan homies in here. We just annex them, motherfuckers, and make them the fifty first. You damn right. Stand by, stand by. Stand by. I just we got word. We got Billy Von Bob back out in the field with some more news. Oh, all right, let's do this. No, listen. You need to get me the fuck out of here. Yeah, pick me up as soon as possible. All right. I need to get the. Oh shit! Good evening, Pop and Blake. Billy Von Baum reporting from the former polling station we were at earlier. As the results are coming in, it does not look good for the Democrats, and it appears they are beginning to start. Um... Fiery but peaceful protests. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's anything to worry about. These people who create these demonstrations are mostly level-headed types, and and they're very reasonable people. They wouldn't just go burning down entire cities. I mean, it's not like they have the emotional capacities of children and just go around burning down their own cities just because they're not getting their way. So as the night progresses and the Republicans pick up more seats within the federal government and state government, that these things are going to get worse and worse as the night progresses. I mean, it's it's not like I'm fearing for my own life and safety at this point. So, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, nothing to see here. And um, just uh, go back to the studio, and um, I- I'll check back with you guys in just a little bit. That's peaceful democracy right there, people. That is awesome. there now all the people burning the buildings are homeless. Oh, well, that's, awesome. Republican Man, that's awesome. Don't you know? Well, come on. Uh, so by, uh, level, by level-headed, does he mean smooth-brained? Smooth brain, yes. very smooth <laughs> brain. Yeah. Yes. Just put a Stanley up on that fucker and just watch the bubble go to the middle. So uh, oh. Scott picked up South Carolina. He defeated his opponent. So that's red now yes, for sir. the Senate. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, looking at Texas, uh, Beto O'Rourke is actually up fifty three point three. Greg Abbott forty five point six percent. That's just that's inconceivable. Yeah. It's inconceivable. It yeah. Inconceivable. It's tough, yes, right? we are going to take your guns. Yes. Right. And, and you're Texas. voting that in. in, Texas. in Texas. And you're voting that in? No. 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 <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of idiots in Houston, Dallas, oh, Corpus Austin Christi. Austin. Uh, oh, Austin. 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 fucking blue. Yep. Yes. Austin. That's where it's, Joe Rogan moved all his shit was Austin. Did yep. he? Yeah. Oh, geez. yes. Really? In Austin? Oh, my yeah, God. A bunch of shit. Uh, yeah. Fuck balls. That uh, would be the place to go. Chats, yeah, yeah. Let's, chats. Let's see, see if anybody's got any chat. news tips for us here. Uh, Leo Titian says Popsicle is famous target practice for today. I feel so good <laughs> voting red in San Francisco. It's so much fun. <laughs> 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 now we got the success pool endeavors as awesome windsock camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> True. Can't even see them or anything. S C E. I up, like man? it. I like it. He's just blowing in the breeze. That's quality burn. Uh, Thumper, the sweaty fat guy, 300% is perfectly legit, and it's actually quite low. It's the new normal, and we need all the room temperature people to have a say. Mm, that's <laughs> all. You've got to count all the dead it's voters. Count up is worth the 10 bucks. Jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody loves you, Lauren. Uh, no. It's fun. The Powerball machine has the same problem. Guess where it went to? California stand. 2.09 billion with a B. Wow. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah I heard about that. Yep. Yeah, for sure. It's crazy sure. shit. Not a band account says, are Amish people in the U.S. allowed to vote? Um, if, I don't think they partake, oh. do they? I don't know. Do I think they're allowed to, but I don't yeah. know. If they, I don't know if they do, though. Well, they wouldn't be using, like, electronic machines. They'd have to write it in, right? Because they're, 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 the, they're anti-technology, right? Yeah, they, that, yeah, they, they kind of stay away from it. So That's yeah. another thing, in, in my opinion, we need to go back to is 100 yes. percent paper voting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh I, I, I thought you were gonna say going back to like Amish country standards. Oh, yeah. you're right about that one too. Yeah. You're right about that one too. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna Amish go grow my own food. Yeah. Just use food. your finger and menstrual blood. There we go. Oh, oh. come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's come messed on. up, bro. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> Next, come on. Biden. Yeah, how do you grow your green peppers? We do it with stem cells. Yeah. <laughs> Are there young Amish uh, girls here? Uh, I can it. smell them. Kemp is up over Abrams by two points, 50% yeah. in. 40, well, he says 44 over here, but oh, yeah. 43%. Yeah. Yep. So Abrams he's jumped in. This shit. He I was see he was he was getting fucking dogged at the beginning of this when they oh, were yeah. on air. For that, for so the and now votes. he's up over her. So yeah. Yep. Don't you know how Abrams claims that she never said that her election was stolen? Oh my God! Really? There are awesome. about five hundred feet of That's video. That's all she talked about. Different. Yeah. She never once. We, well, we got the votes. We got the votes. We just didn't get the seat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that kind of like Hillary? Vote? Hillary got the popular vote, yeah. but she didn't win the electoral vote. That's why we need to get rid of the electoral vote. And stick with yeah. Because right. you know, mob rule has always worked out in favor for we, everybody. We well, do uh, not, going we to do mob not rule elect people on popular vote no. the pop vote really shouldn't even be there this no, is not a be. democracy a democracy would elect on a popular vote mm -hmm. yeah. okay? a constitutional republic does not do that that's exactly right. what i was about to say because they always kept preaching <clears throat> democracy is in danger democracy is in danger dumbass we're a constitutional republic yeah. A democracy, <laughs> but I mean, barely. That, that's like third base thinking barely, for these people. Right. It, 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 it's impossible. Third base yeah. thinking. <laughs> well, for them, third base now includes man-made vaginas. So I got <laughs> 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 uh, oh! <laughs> I, I accidentally had to do a little more research on that today because somebody posted something. It, it was like a Tinder profile. This person just wanted heterosexual normalcy, and I was like, "Yeah, good luck with that." Yeah. Like yeah. You, you literally have a second asshole down there because which gives yeah. you like four to six <laughs> inches of depth uh, or they have to take a portion of your uh, colon and fashion that into something that can self-replicate oh, so you literally no, have two assholes no. why you in, okay what why in god's <laughs> fucking name are we talking about this what? i just no idea this blake is, where do you what do you spend your time doing? <laughs> exactly. Where, 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 I don't want to come know. up with this shit. <laughs> hey, while we're on the shit, yeah, literally, these yeah. assholes are charging over ten grand for this bottom surgery. Mm. I just the unfortunate. Okay, all right, the stuff. Blake, up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Blake. It only costs ten right. grand to butterfly yeah. your cock and and. Oh. 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 All right, I'm gonna call timeout. Timeout. Oh. Timeout. Yeah, let's, let's get back. Oh, I'm calling timeout. Okay, I'm gonna call a timeout. Let's uh, let's let's get back to talking about Lauren's boobs. Okay. Yes, first yes, things yes. First, first things first. Just because I feel like throwing this up here, just to lighten the mood after that. There you go. Uh. <laughs> That's all. Hey man, speaking of fucking, uh, not fucking Abrams, because God Almighty no, um, no one would fuck Abrams. But Abrams in particular, uh, they have already started to fashion the narrative for their inevitable loss. Of course, they are mm -hmm. already yeah. uh, putting black men at the head of that class to blame them for the loss. Oh, absolutely. So really? Statistically, yeah. she picked up ninety four percent of her of the black vote the last time she run. She's dropped twelve percentage points, but she lost yep. almost no female vote. So they're putting it all at the feet of black men now. Yep. Well, and you you know, see, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. But the, the bullshit about that is that Stacey Abrams really runs on, on this idea of white supremacy and white mm -hmm. people are bad, but white people are fucking voting for you, bitch. So yeah. Well, not you, enough. It, it, if, it, if she it, if she don't get fifty percent, there's still white supremacy. Of no, course. Listen, nobody well, nobody fucking the... wants her really, right? Nobody wants her in office, but she's 
Listen, the bitch was in what was that show? Star Trek or whatever. Yeah, she, she was on was, Star Trek. Yeah, uh, she was in a Star she's Trek the deal. President yeah. of the yeah. fucking universe. Yeah. She was so the president like of the Federation. Yeah. yeah, so they're yeah. trying to insert her into this. So she. Well, because nobody's right. well, well, inserting we'll anything right. into her. So they have well, to go. Going, right. on with, going on with Lauren, what Lauren is saying, there was some morning talk show host. There was this one black female that said a good amount of white conservative women are voting conservative and it's like yeah. roaches voting for Ray. Yeah. 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 Oh, that, 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 that was Joy that, Reid. No, 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 no. That was the view and that was a that different fucking chick. Spanish Joy Behar. Behar. No, it wasn't. No, no, it's uh, yeah. Sonny Hostin. Sonny Hostin. Sonny Hostin. Yeah, yeah. Sonny Hostin. Oh, Sonny Hostin. They're all, they're all oh my and, God. Did she and, actually and, have but, to practice in a mirror, her eye roll and everything? But listen, I mean, she even fucked her lineup. Here. If you notice what her line was, she said, Rep "Republican suburban women are going to vote Republican." Well, no shit. Really. No I mean, shit. That's what she's uh, kidding, right? No, no so kidding. She, you can she, see where the narrative is scripted already. Mm. Way before the election, it was just like, "Hey, look, guys, we got to talk about ma racism and ma equity and everything else." Right. But nothing about crime because what did they do? Oh, no. All the Republicans are in fear mongering people about crime, mm. about the economy. Mm -hmm. But yet Joe Biden mm -hmm. is still on the gravy train mm -hmm. with biscuit wheels saying the economy's doing great. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. gas prices ever. have been coming down. Speaking Look, fucker. We yeah. made it better. Speaking of uh, gas prices tomorrow, that whole deal expires. So those prices should be shooting right back, right that. back up to four dollars. Yeah, right I know. Mm -hmm. Down here in Florida. Hey, there uh, I have a question for the entire panel. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody on this panel name one thing that the Biden administration fulfilled when it was promising to be president? <laughs> yeah, I fucked up the economy. <laughs> Shutting down the oil, I guess. That's probably oh, yeah. anybody. Anybody? anybody? Down oil. And the coal. Yeah. That's about it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, something that wasn't supposed to kill us. Yeah, yeah. but you can't afford groceries, yeah. but sure shit go buy out there I mean, buy yourself a Tesla. It's just yeah. been a gruesome, dry butt fucking of our entire economy. It's now mm. bleeding through our starburst cysts and munging. It is the worst shit that I have seen in my lifetime. I have never seen an economy take a dive this Ooh. far this fast. You know, right. I'm, yeah. uh, Blake, I'm going to tell you something. You, you have a gift with words and you just made my asshole have sympathetic pain. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You did. Again. You have Fitzwell, a gift again, you, men <laughs> you mentioned uh, Tesla as well. Hey, you notice you? Elon Musk, <laughs> I don't do that. Elon Musk made a statement uh, today saying to vote Republican, believe it or not. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he I, said I, keep I the balance him. of power so we can just mm -hmm. keep cluster fucking each other, uh, I guess, until infinity. Yeah. And uh, we can have 50% yeah. assholes over here, 50% greedy assholes over here, <laughs> and then whatever, right? Whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. Whatever. You'll die soon. It'll be over. Isn't yeah. it amazing how the Republicans are supposed to be the greedy assholes, but they're the ones saying, hey, look, lower the corporate tax rate so that the little guys actually have a shot to make some money. But the people who right. want to tax you into oblivion to redistribute your wealth to a bunch of lazy cocksuckers, they're not greedy at all. Mm -mm. Right. No. Mm -mm. Me meanwhile, meanwhile, they're the ones that are in Congress are worth millions of dollars. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How, how much is their actual salary versus their net worth? Yeah, how'd that happen? Yep. Hmm. How many Wonder. years did they work an actual job? Is my question. Joe Biden never did. His well, entire neither life. Sanders. Neither AOC was the uh, a bartender. She was a bartender. A bartender. Yeah. yeah, she was a, a bartender at a what a taco taco restaurant. Well, if you're a bartender and you're a chick with a rack like hers, you know you're exactly making money. What that yeah. means. She does yeah. have a great rack. I do give oh, her. Yeah. AOC has a great rack. You're Look, not they're tending fucking bar. delicious. I you're mean, delicious. tending bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. In the back alley. Well, I mean, she was in New York. She's probably you get a out, you get a homo suspicion point, Blake. Tips or more than that. <laughs> Blake gets, gets a homo suspicion a point. Your mom gets a homo suspicion point. Fits well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell her I said hi. Well, yeah. we're north of the Obama line, so we get a pass. You, you want to see something absolutely fucking absurd? It's on NBC right now. They're showing this uh, sort of like uh, little commercial where Lester Holt. You know who oh, Lester Holt God. is, right? Yeah. Lester is Lester Holt. Yeah, is overseas talking to the Brits about what it's like to be an American and what they think about what we should do. Huh. Yeah, because I care about what the fucking Brits think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you Americans should come and save us again. No. Hello. No. I, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I got, I'm sorry. Yes. Fucking put 
a goddamn stamp on this right here. <laughs> Take a drink, man. Lauren. Hang on. I've got one. I've got plenty. My man who lives in England, who refuses to have the jab, still cannot enter the United States. This is going on three yep. fucking years. Yep. Okay? Yep. Three fucking years. I can go. I'm going. I'm going over there. No fucking jab. Yeah. He still can't mm. come here. But you want to go over there and import their fucking opinions about this shit? Yeah. I don't want to hear yeah. their fucking opinions. I don't mm -hmm. want to hear anything about from any of these fucking people. I want goddamn tribunals. Now, is it is it uh, England hey. that keeps keeps them from coming yes. over, or is it the U.S.? No, it's England. It's us. It's us. It's us. Oh, it's oh, US. our okay. bullshit. No, so not England. Okay. Yeah. That is horse shit. Well, I have a doctor's work. appointment yeah. scheduled tomorrow to go get some checkup work shit done, and they told me in a little automated phone call, make sure to bring your mask. Fuck you know, that. Jesus. Can't Come get on. into the doctor's you? office. Oh. Can't get into the fucking There's, doctor's office, right? They're Without still a mask. doing this shit. Any yep. hospital you go to in this state, you got to wear your fucking mask. No, mm -hmm. I'm fucking done with you. This is yeah. bullshit. They've proven the masks don't do shit. Sorry, this is where I get spun up. Uh, yep. I'll, I'll keep it as tame as I can. But this bullshit pisses me off. The masks don't work. Those jabs don't work. Uh, you're getting calamari in your veins now. But hey, trust the science. Seriously, they're pulling this shit out of these people's veins. It looks like tapeworms. Have yeah. you read the... Uh, it's totally uh, normal, uh, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. People always die. People always, you, always had adult there. death syndrome. Yeah, give yeah, me I have never... Sad. Uh, listen, I've had my my nose busted about f five six times in my life, and you know when they, you break your nose, they always pack it full of cotton. Yeah, and then sure. they change sure. that shit out, and usually the next day there was those long horrible. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go yeah. fucking corks, yeah. And just imagine that in your fucking veins, man. Yeah. Like a blood snake. You're a yeah. dead mother. I mean. Think about what's going on now with women that were pregnant during all of this. And mm. studies are showing um, I, that all of them are, are delivering breast milk that still, has the RNA in it. I have a sister-in-law who is pregnant with twins now. And she's all about the jab. She Ugh, just sorry for she her. Ju have at it. She, she just passed class, right? So the report back from my mom was, oh, oh no, it's... She's fine. She just passed some clots, but it's yeah, fine. Until she passes one through the umbilical cord. And oh, exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's exactly. And, and she's having she's having twins. I can't. Up. And the it's, it really saddens me because she has another child who is mm. under two years old. And so if something happens to her and maybe the babies survive or maybe they don't, maybe something happens to all three of them, but then it's going to be her husband left with her, the, the the other child and yeah just, not not to uh, mention if you the data yeah, on uh, nine months after the jabs came mm. out ish mm -hmm. if you look at the number of stillborns born in that period nine months after it spikes exponentially tremendously mm. yeah. yes tremendously uh, i got uh, an update for you up, hang on any more updates yeah. yes what do yes, we got right here uh indiana's young republican just took that seat all right there you go. We got a thousand thirty-three sets of eyeballs in the in the in the in the view. Oh here, shit! So that's no, right. Yeah. Put the fucking light. Yes. Yeah. 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 Shit. Before people watching right I, now. On the tube? On YouTube. Oh, uh, let's see. Rumble Four. is rocking five hundred and six. Cool. Wow. Seventy-six on Odyssey, thirty-three on Twitch, and thirty-five on D Live. What is oh, Guess who's on NBC right now, running her fat flapper? Sixty-five. Mm. Obama. Do I Claire McCaskill. Clinton? Oh, Claire yeah, McCaskill. Oh, remember remember Claire McCaskill? Oh, yeah. Hi, we don't Vaguely. want your fucking opinions. You're a man. Shut up. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because oh, that always God. works. Yep, sure it does. Fucking whores. 35%. Until we need your help. Yeah. 35%. Jesus, is, that's like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm saying until we need your help, until we need you to vote for us, oh, then please. shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. We, got, uh, we, we started oh, out the night, man, in Ohio here for the Senate race between uh, Ryan and uh, an old boy. Uh, he was down tremendously. He's up on him yep. now. The Republican contenders up in, oh, in Ohio. Yep. Yeah, you got uh, in Abbott's Georgia. In Georgia, you got Walker closing in. He just Big jumped time. up to forty-eight. Warnack yep. is still at fifty. Yep. Um, the heat map is coming out to 
look largely red except for the major uh, welfare centers, Atlanta, yeah. Savannah, DeKalb County, and um, all those places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Mullen just took the Ohio Senate seat. All right. All right. All right, good. All right, you want to get uh, some more super chats yeah, here? Let's knock we, some uh, of these. I think we may have another check in from Billy Von Baum here no shortly shit. as well. No shit. Uh, we got DC says the people in Michigan voted on proposal two in 2012 to not be a right to work state. Snyder screwed the people by not abiding by the proposal. Do you think Whitmer, Whitmer will do the same? Yes. If proposal yes. Three doesn't go her way. Oh, yeah. Didn't she ban selling fucking seeds? Of course she will. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, come on. Of course she will. Talk about a weapons grade. See you next Tuesday, Gretchen. (laughs) That's one of them right there. Yeah. Stretching Gretchen. That's what they used to call her because, you know, it doesn't count if it goes in the pooper. (laughs) (laughs) She likes Uh, to go to LA. What can you say? I knew chicks like that in high school. That's so fucking sad. That's so sad in high school. More hot dogs thrown in your mouth than a trash can at the ballpark. I know it's. <laughs> you get more. Give me that shit, man. You got 57 down. teeth in there. Let me see some. It's <laughs> brown I'm just playing. I'm just there. playing. It's a joke. It's a joke. Take it easy, y'all. Yeah, sure. Her specialty <laughs> move was the gummy bear. <laughs> God. Oh, God. What? I don't even know what that means. I just made it up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you, get that, you get the benefit of visualizing it. You know, it's sort of like gnawing <laughs> on one of them long rods. You know. Oh. <laughs> you know. Oh. I, got uh-huh. I guess this uh, Democrat, Maura Healey, is going to be the winner of Massachusetts governor race. Apparently, it's she's the first one out. out not yeah, lesbian or something. Not know, a surprise I in Massachusetts. I mean, Vermont and no. New Hampshire are going to stay blue, too. Yep. That's a shame. Fucking yeah. bizarre. Yeah. It's, it's really, really bizarre. Yeah. New England. Nothing, yeah, it's crazy. Nothing out of New York yet. Yeah. Well, They're Great still uh, doing the 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 whole uh, Doctor Oz and then whatever his fucking mm, that guy his, his Better fucking Fetterman. Fetterman. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So they're still showing it at eight yeah. percent, and they're still showing Fetterman blowing Oz away, but it hasn't moved a percentage point in nope. thirty five minutes. Yep. So, mm, woman. Wonder what's going on. In, in that's Pennsylvania. In, yeah. in Connecticut. Uh, that's not a shocker. Blue and Falls, sixty percent to Levi, thirty nine percent. So Connecticut yeah. stays blue, probably too. Well, I mean that's here, that's uh, pretty standard, though. I mean that's yeah. that's the way it is. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking at the Pennsylvania yeah, heat map. That shithole. I'm looking <laughs> at the Pennsylvania heat map. Fetterman's at seventy eight percent. Oz is at nineteen. So that's a two percent change. Such bullshit. Since I'm not buying on. it. Sorry. Well, uh, this I'm looking at the oppositional poll from what everyone else is looking at. I'm looking at Communist News Network. So right. naturally, it could be a bit askew from the truth. Of course. I'm but watching facts. Well, well remember, what, I'm watching fucking remember NBC, the so. tracker that they had when uh, Trump Trump was running in 16? Yeah. And yes. literally, uh, like, the beginning of the day, they're like, yes, no chance. Yes, 99% chance he'll yeah. lose the next Right, price. right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's sure. okay. Yeah. Everything's good. It's only an 80% chance he wins now. And then 57 <laughs> yeah. minutes later, <laughs> it's okay. It's good. She's got a 68% chance to win now. But you know, and then they, you know, they start connecting right the fucking dots. Watch. If yeah. she gets this, 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 and this, yeah. yeah. And the moon yeah. rises in, in, the, in Jupiter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> only 33% of the vote in Ohio has been reported. Between uh, Ryan and Vance at this mm. point, because I got a Vance got better to, kick his ass. And what time got, we uh, close the polls? Nine o'clock. You had, yeah, you had him on the show yes. earlier. Major damage, my buddy. Yeah, uh, major damage. He's in there in Ohio, and he's giving me up. He's giving me up to date report. Good. Here's uh, one from Texas. Abbott is up now by six points, thirty percent. Yes, that's yep. uh, yeah. There's no fucking way that O'Rourke he's going to run a walk in there. Yeah. And get that. No not going to fucking win Texas. There's no I, way. I, I, mean, it, I hope not. Is it weird to say that Abbott's going to win this in a walk when he's in a wheelchair? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's funny. Oh, wow. Uh, we got some more chats here from Shark Ventures. In person, paper ballots only with IDs with special exceptions. Computers should only be used for collating the hand counted results. A fucking myth. Yeah, yeah. this is ridiculous. Uh, successful and, never says I have an idea a constitutional amendment that guarantees no election fraud. Hey, let me let me ask you a go. question. Like this is open to anybody. If let's just say, all right, let's just say that the Republicans clean up, right? They take everything. They get back the House and the Senate. Yep. Do you think that it? I know that this is off a little bit. Do you think that this could be like 
a ploy, right? Do you think it could be a ploy to say that the elections are absolutely fair and we don't cheat? Uh, maybe yeah, they would no. give it up now to keep the presidency. Well, here's my maybe. thing. Let me give me give me a second. I think if they were to fuck around now and play their game and all of a sudden they all switch blue or whatever, they're going to expose themselves. So in my opinion, the game is rigged, but in this particular chance, they're going to let the person win instead of let the house win. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, well, they, right still have, they still have Biden. He's got the veto pen, right? So the yeah. Republicans yeah. can't really do a hell of a lot, you know? Well, the, the like, house does control the purse strings, which means any true. giant spending yeah. bill that Biden wants to try to push through, he's going to have a much harder time. But the house did, and that's, and, and that's really what pissed me off about Trump. Why the hell didn't he veto that shit? Nope, we're shutting down the government. Do you give me what I want? Right. Why didn't he do um, that? In yeah. Michigan, in Michigan, Tudor Dixon had a huge jump to forty-one point two. Schitmer <laughs> is still at fifty-seven point four percent. Who are these fucking idiots voting for this piece of shit? God, I know. I yeah, I told. Yeah, only, uh, it's only seven percent of the vote, though. So again, yeah. the early voting, whatever, still probably yeah, under. You still, know what? Uh, you knew. You guys both knew it. Pop Blake, you both fucking knew it. Michigan yeah. is fucking rigged for shit, mm. You well, knew yeah. it from the fucking beginning. Well, even with a Republican-controlled yeah. state legislature, when they tried to introduce, introduce voting legislation after the mm -hmm. last ice cream social, she yeah. vetoed it because of voter suppression. <laughs> disenfranchised the precious minorities that I only pretend to love every four years <clears throat> while I'm killing yeah. their grandparents. We? Yeah, I know. I now, mean, you see, you've seen the, these Mark Dice place. Mark Dice goes around and he asks oh, people yeah. about oh, all that yeah. kind of stuff with... Yeah, oh, yeah. How do you, are, oh, are you not insulted God. that these people believe you can't get an ID? It's like, yeah, what the fuck? Of just go to the DMV. Yeah. And come on. Well, he's, he's oh, asking like the same fucking dice. crowd. If, if if two consenting adults, <laughs> mother and son, got together, or father and daughter, and they're consenting adults, is it okay? And they're mm -hmm. all like, yeah. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, 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 no, you know, yeah. no shenanigans. What the fuck do you mean, no shenanigans? You're making eight toed people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I still wonder. I still wonder if you're making Democrats. You know, I don't like Democrats. to give exactly. the benefit of the one. doubt that the American public is not that freaking stupid. I'd like to think he picks the dumbest of the dumb, selects them, and no. that's what he shows. Uh. Well, I, I think I think what happens is that he selects the dumbest out of, of what he gets, but by God, he's not standing out there for two days. Yeah, You know, it doesn't take that long <laughs> to get enough of a sample size of the population to realize that there's a very good percentage of us that are just below average. It's right? sad, man. It's fucking sad. It's well, not it's like sad. Cold, it's better. reality. It's not well, sad. It's just reality. And and the faster that we understand that, the, the faster that we all understand that this is just what reality is, then we can move on. You know, you have to be cruel to be kind. I'm yeah. sorry. Some of you people are just dumb. Some of you people are just <laughs> meant to bag groceries. You know, and right. not, um, listen, and there's wow. no, listen, you can be a janitor, be the best motherfucking janitor that you can be. Go be a glory right? hole attendant. Yes. <laughs> see, see what happens when you let women talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I guess I agree with you. Cause I mean, on a daily basis, I see some pretty interesting individuals. <laughs> Oh, you're being nice, boy. Uh, I'm being as nice as I can. Oh, you're being nice. <laughs> He's being nice. He's being nice. Oh, you're being nice. I, I try to behave, man. I'm a well, guest. Uh, <laughs> Lauren, I, hey. I can appreciate your uh, fever there, Lauren. I mean, drink more. And let's see what happens. Yeah, drink more. Yeah. Yeah. I like Come that. Come on, baby. Just get started. Just so get get hard. Hard. And let it all <laughs> hang out. <laughs> what adult restriction. I'm looking at the screen there, and I see eyeballs with the number next to it. Is that how many people are watching? That's correct. That's just on YouTube. Okay. We're doing pretty yeah. good on YouTube. Not yeah. too what, bad. What are the numbers right now? Uh, 1,109. And considering hey. up against Crowder and Six Hexenhammer. Oh, yeah, man. Cool. I, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to I think we're doing pretty out. good here. Bad oh, bad yeah. don't, uh, don't tell me that there's not a lot of interest in what's going on here and that oh, folks yeah. are completely oblivious and uninformed. There are some really fucked up criteria for voting. When yes, you listen to females, especially like back in 2016, and no disrespect yeah. to the female on the panel, but every one of them down the line said, well, it's just time for a woman. What's it's got a a, a, a push? You know, uh, what the fuck? That's your criteria. Mm, really? Yeah. You know, that's and, that's and, what it is for you. 
and don't listen let's let's not i'm not the the typical woman on uh, repeal the motherfucking 19th please can we can we repeal the fucking 19th can go the extra we, mile have the law stricken and you got a husband in five fucking minutes right. i think we have Thank you. exactly I think we do, yeah. Hey, stand by. Stand by. Right. Right. He's coming in with oh, another board here. Right. It'll Bob be Bob. interesting. I think he's got an Antifa member that he wants to interview yeah. for this. It's going to be fun. Oh, be awesome. Let's check it out. Hello, Bob and Blake. Billy Von Baum reporting. We're able to track down one of the perpetrators of tonight's peaceful protests. His name's Andy, and he's with Antifa. Let's hear what he has to say. So you're with Antifa, bro. Like Antifa isn't like a real thing, bro. It could mean like anything, like like Andy needs TV. I'm freaking angry, bro. So what exactly are you trying to prove here by burning down buildings? Bro, don't you see? Like we're demonstrating that we have all the power, bro. Like people are gonna come to us for chicken tendies. So this is about chicken tendies? And is that a Yankee candle? My mom makes chicken tendies whenever I tell her to, bro. And so what if she gave me this Yankee candle, bro? Maybe your mom needs my Yankee candle. Uncool, bro. Immediately after our interview, Andy accidentally lit himself on fire with his Yankee candle. That's all for now. We'll check in later with some future updates. Back to the studio. <laughs> I got some some bullshit, yeah. and I ran in, I ran to deal with Antifa when I worked in Columbus, Ohio. Seriously? Hmm. Yeah, I saw a bunch of homeless uh, homeless people beat up Antifa because they're going to really? block off access to the oh. hospital. Oh, so there was a homeless man who lived underneath the, that particular bridge. That was his home. He always worked that corner. I'm standing there in the parking lot because I wanted to know what the hell was going on out there in the perimeter. He, he just walks past me. And not even 10 minutes later, he went to the uh, heroin recovery center, walks back with like five, six dudes. I'm like, well, this is going to get interesting. I go to the sidewalk. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm seeing these. It, was, it took no time. No words were exchanged. These homeless just start cleaning them up. I mean, it was just a freaking, it was like beating up a baby, just like Pop described it. These kids yeah. could when not fight, fight un- back. Yeah, listen, when you fight dudes who are untrained, it's yeah. like fighting children. Yeah. Oh, I see these Antifa people. I see zombies in a George Romero film. They're, yeah. they're yeah. Not, not a threat whatsoever unless there's a horde and one of you. So they, they were cleaning them up. <laughs> These Antifa were screaming for my help, and I'm like, I can't cross my fucking property line. I'm, my my jurisdiction Sorry. ends here, which was mm. kind of funny because they all come scrambling up to the hospital and saying, we're checking in. I says, no, you're not. <laughs> Damn. You can go, well, you're denying us health care. I says, no, I'm not. There's OSU, Doctors West. There's Riverside Hospital. Those are those places you can go to. Not here because I dealt with a fucking Antifa Fucking see you next Tuesday, biatch. Mm. And oh my god! And what's for a later story? Fuck that. That you don't deserve health care if you don't get the jab. Mm. Mm. Oh sure. fuck <laughs> them! Well, they were they were immune right. from COVID. Didn't spread during the no. Summer it didn't go to Antifa. That's right. Yeah, no. it didn't spread during the summer of love. There, just oh no, yeah. Only for anti-lockdown protesters. That's the only super spreader events that we saw. Well, they were big yeah, update. They big were update from Georgia guys. Walkers up by 0. 0.5 Ooh. points. What? Point walkers five up. ahead. Walkers up by fifty-five Herschel percent walkers of the vote in. Up. Yeah, Herschel yes. Walkers, up. walkers really? ahead. Walkers up now. Good. Yep. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Another update. Gritch and Shitmer. Fifty-six. <laughs> Tudor Dixon up. Forty-one. Let's there keep it go. going. I just saw they just said that that was too close to call here. They did it for Cala, no, uh, excuse me, Colorado, New Mexico, mm. Arizona, all two areas, yep. and Min- uh, Minnesota, I believe it was. Yeah. Too close to call in the governor races. Too close yeah, to Minnesota, call. they're of always going to go blue. They always do. The yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Herschel Walker. <clears throat> um, <let's clears throat> uh, oh, CNN zeroed out the tally. Shocker! <laughs> oh, what? No, no shenanigans here. No, I'm oh, on my no, phone. No. It updates yeah. every ten seconds. I'm like, like just a few minutes ago, I was telling you guys, I'm on my phone and I'm looking, 
they zeroed out the tally between Warnock and Walker for the Senate seat. In yeah. Georgia. Wow. Okay. wow. As soon as he pulls ahead, why am I not surprised? Yeah. Well, they just yeah. showed it. Difficult yeah. Things. Please stand by. They just showed it here. He He's up almost by a full percentage point uh, with 55% in. Wow. Now it says 61% in. Now he's back down again by uh, uh, quite a yep. bit, actually. Jesus Christ. Up. This is all happening in li- live, right? Yeah. All yeah, over yeah. the fucking country. Uh, what the fuck is wrong points. with these people? It popped up. Oh, shit. Warnack, there it is. 51, 51 Warnack, 46. Uh, yeah, Walker, 46. Warnack, 51. Well, that was quite what a big change fuck? in like 10 seconds. Just yeah. like fucking, yeah. In like 20 Just fucking thing. seconds, yeah. Well, it does update every 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, I just don't think that that happened in that 10 one. seconds, though. They're recalibrating and the machinery. Estimated. Yeah, they have to <laughs> adjust it. Yep. I don't know, man. You got to recalibrate all those dishwashers. Yeah, safety. every time the right. uh, Republicans get to get ahead, they got to throw a bunch of Democrat votes, you know, dead guys and such. <laughs> so Morgan, Morgan defeats Holland for the Kansas Senate seat. Yeah. Well, all of us here on this panel, we, we really can't ever vote democrat because you know oh, our no. body no. temperature isn't room temperature yeah i just no. got a new <laughs> copy of a return of the living dead today in uhd <laughs> or as i call it election day 2020 there you go <laughs> just walk to the local cemetery <laughs> there's your voters that's a yeah. good comedy video yeah. we do. <laughs> well yeah, we got, um, uh, the votes are in for we got? oakland county oakland county in michigan turned blue surprise shocker shocker mm. um alger county blue uh and that's it you've got <clears throat> up there in the up where you got where marquette's at that's blue really yeah marquette hey look i gotta i gotta, I gotta say something here the Missouri the missouri senate race is between a man named schmidt the republican right mm-hmm. and yep. the, the democrat woman's name is bush valentine bush, bush valentine yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's bush yo bush please valentine. be my bush valentine bush. please man. Please. And I, I'm I'm Let quite sure she she Bush included her Valentine. second name there because it's Bush, right? St. Louis, blah blah blah. Bush <laughs> Van I don't, Bush. Okay. I don't trust. I don't trust any female with a hyphenated last name. I'm oh, sorry. you shouldn't. Oh no. She's a feminist. No, no, no. They are getting ready at some point to trade that motherfucker in. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, see if or, we have or, any more super chats. We do indeed. Stand by. We're doing some super. Oh, chats. we just saw uh, Matt W is, is uh, coming into the chat. Says that New North Carolina is turning red. Yes, it yes. is. Their, their is Senate guy up. just went in. Bud yes, just crawled is. ahead by a couple points. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, we got Alpha Dog Elite Thank Three you. with a donation. Thank you very much, good sir. And we got another one from Thumper the Sweaty Fat Guy. Abrams must make excellent lasagna. Fat <laughs> Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh Doug is fun. The Powerball got delayed because of machine problems. California won the big one. 20 other oh, states right. got the secondary prize. Never seen that before. <laughs> California, Stan. They're probably going to use that to attempt to balance their how many trillions in debt. Oh, yeah, they're fucked. They're, 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 they're in a yep. lot of trouble. And emerging every day. What are they, yep. fifth, fifth largest economy in the world, and they're yep. underwater? That's right. Well, it's yeah. because it's completely offset. It, it the entire average of the state is mm. upset by the existence of silly cunt valley, as I call them. Right. So you yes, take sir. them out of the way, California plummets down the list. <coughs> well, Excuse that me. that that and Hollywood. I mean, if Hollywood yep. isn't generating the revenue, then they're losing money as well, and that's another big hit for the state. And well, like, you want to know a funny fact about Beverly Hills, <clears throat> California? <laughs> Pop should know this, but on the average, Gross Point, Michigan has more money than all of Beverly Hills, California. Really? Oh, shit. Well, yeah, because you got to remember yeah. during the Great White Flight, what, back in 68? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. All that old Jewish money went where? Gross Point, Oakland County. It left Detroit. And Summit Oak Park. It, it, it left <laughs> Detroit. So what did they start up? You know, Bagel High School out there in what Hazel Park, where the fuck it is. But, <clears throat> anyways, but that is the last statistic that I read. I'll try to find the actual fact to it because at this point it's just an opinion. <clears throat> but Gross Point, Michigan has more money <laughs> than Beverly Hills, California. It kind of makes that, you wonder. Is that total or per capita? Um, I believe it's total because they were also screaming that majority of uh, Beverly Hills lives on credit. They don't actually have the liquidity. No, no. I'm not no. shocked. <laughs> you're telling you gotta, me that 
Democrats gotta, use debt to make it look like they have money? You got to uh, update wow. here. Uh, what? Hang on, Sununu, hang on. Sununu, just won, <laughs> Sununu just won New Hampshire. <laughs> Who's Sununu? Your Republican uh, for governor just won New Hampshire. Governor. Yeah. Really? So that's, that's, that's pretty fucking, that's pretty insane right there for New Hampshire. But he was the incumbent. So. Well, uh, New Hampshire is kind of the inverse of Vermont. Vermont is Bernie Sanders territory. I didn't think that yeah. they were going to pull that off. So that's that's nice to I'm see. I'm glad. It is good. Yeah. Let's good. see. The salt must flow. Now we got uh, Soul Sound of Music. It astonished Will me be. that it's greedy for me to want to keep my money, but not greedy for other people to want to take it. Yeah. No, it's, it's justice, though. You, you know, you got those two confused. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. And it's amazing how the same people who want amnesty and who spent, you know, an entire summer burning, looting and murdering, screaming, no justice, no peace, now want an apology. And then when you no. use the terminology back at them, they're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck that. You're not getting an apology. And the horse you rode in. Kiss my ass. Oh, Why would anybody. Wow. Oh, hang on. What do we got? Jeremy Duke with a one hundred dollar donation. Wow. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> uh, holy hell, Hamster is still on YouTube. I thought he'd get Hillary. Thanks for the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. tell anybody. Like, uh, I'd like to say you haven't been Clinton like yet. So. Not, not quite yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still on the list, probably somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh. got the Epstein flight manifest. So just don't tell him. <laughs> That's so effed up. Didn't they just talk to Clinton recently? And they're like, so what do you think about the Epstein thing? And as far as you go, I think the evidence is pretty clear. Well, so do I. 23 trips to Lolita Island. <laughs> yeah. Well, what does yeah. that mean, though? You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You, know, you, you didn't say it. What does that mean? I did not have sexual <clears throat> relations with that one. Just who was that? Um, <laughs> that kid from 2016 that worked for the DNC that was walking. Seth Rich got mysteriously killed. Seth Rich. Seth Rich. Seth Seth Rich. Rich. Okay, yeah. hamster. I know you've got his information. <clears throat> <laughs> he was a guy that uh, deleted yeah. from the back of his head. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you lost that thumb good. drive in a yeah. boating accident. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't take Bogus. his watch. Didn't take his wallet. Didn't take anything from him. Walked I mean, the decomposed cream stone right here. He lost more weapons than yeah, Biden did in Afghanistan in a tragic insane. boating accident. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a combination. You know, I lost it in a boating accident. Got an update for you. The boat did flip while I was going over a ramp, so you never know. There's still, yeah. they've only added 4% to the Pennsylvania tally with Fetterman. They're still showing him ahead of uh, old Dr. Oz, but they're only, they've only got 12% in. Yep. Mm. It's fuckery afoot in Pennsylvania. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, without question. This, this, they didn't defortify their ice cream machine. Well, the Democrats do a majority of their of their voting early. Am I wrong? Or yeah, right? you're no, correct. That's true. Yeah. A lot. Oh, yeah. I've heard that, you know, while they were reviewing a lot of these uh, mail-ins, that they really weren't as skewed for the Democrats as they thought. Well, that's what they've been saying. Well, yeah, that's they've been, been terrifying. It was low too. Why you got Politico suddenly saying voter, you know, ice cream machines can be hacked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to look Ooh. like a red barrage Ooh. on election Ooh. night. But then, as the other votes come in three months down the fucking line, we're going to have a different answer. Come on. Ooh. You know, oh, an interesting uh, metaphor. Uh, what did we have here a couple years ago? All them fucking runoffs that they had. Yeah. Uh, here's a here's a metaphor for Pennsylvania. Fetterman is your pilot. You're getting on board the aircraft. You understand and see how the pilot's condition is. Would you still go fly with them? Uh, that's kind of a no. What? Nigga, kind no. Of a no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> kind of a no. He, no. <laughs> he just needs one more head to qualify as a three stooge. I'm not getting on a fucking plane. Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, but yet, you know what? There are people. There are more. Pe there are people that are willing to get on board that flight. As it's, it's I'd really like obvious. to know who is voting out here in Colorado. 66 for Polis, 31 for Ganahl. Who mm -hmm. are you people? All the people. The Denver, really Fort Collins, that. Boulder. Yeah, that's, that's it. Look, they're all high, okay? I mean, all, all of those motherfuckers that enjoyed that I mean, 2016 referendum on dope. No, I mean, Lauren. Here. I'm in exactly. Denver. Who the hell would vote for the crime, the poverty, the homelessness, homelessness, right. the drugs? Why? You know, Thank you. you guys are missing a whole bunch. This whole mm. panel is missing one thing. 
You are smarter than the average rock. Yeah. And your population <laughs> yeah. out there isn't. Okay. Well, well Colorado's York, been Californicated. So, yeah, we're without far. Yeah. Yes. New York has some numbers in. Um, it's only 9% of the vote. Uh, Hocho, the fucking communist, 74. at 74. Too close to call, right? And yeah, Zeldin at 25. <laughs> she took. Communist. God damn. Well, she was installed. I mean, she wasn't even elected to her position. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, looks she, like, she, yeah. Should, she shouldn't even be actually mm -hmm. on, honestly, on the fucking ballot because she, no. because she wasn't elected. Fuck exactly. this bitch. You, you were, you're like the fucking Nancy Pelosi of the. They still, they died. don't, they got her listed. They got her listed as the incumbent. Wait. Well, I mean, obviously, she was the lieutenant governor. So, as as the lieutenant governor, if something happens to old boy, she she assumes the position. Mm -hmm. So that that's understood when they're <laughs> voting for Cuomo. That that's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Kansas, uh, Kelly, sixty, Democrat, and Schmidt, thirty seven, Kansas. That's interesting. Kansas uh, governor, huh? Yep. Yeah, okay. God. But I'm in uh, Governor Hotness in South Dakota is winning by a double. Governor game. Hotness. <laughs> Governor Hotness. <laughs> Who's that? Chris, Christy Nome. Christy Nome. Yeah. Christy Nome. Yeah. <laughs> Hamsters Gnome. over there wearing no pants. That's what he does. He was <laughs> <laughs> Hamster, make sure you shave down there, boy. Oh, God damn. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like over in Tennessee, Lee is up by fifty points. Don't get all that, like that newspaper stuck in your pubes. Hey now, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's horrible. What's that shit between your teeth? The governor. It is what it is. <laughs> the governor. It's the uh, governor uh, of South uh, Dakota. Uh, you filthy fucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I was going to say, Lauren, the, the problem with Colorado is there used to be fun hippies in Boulder. Now they're just fucking communists, straight up. Yeah. Straight right. up communists. Yeah. They're right. not it's fun anymore. Right. It's almost like uh, Portland, like infected. Oh, it is. Denver. Oh, Probably it's even fucked worse. up. Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you about it. I, I could, I could spend a whole stream on this. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna fuck this no, stream up with that story today. Yeah, you know, fuck that here, man. <laughs> okay, well, we're seeing, we're seeing all these promising numbers, and like, okay, but like in the 2020 election, after midnight, we go to bed mm -hmm. comfortable, yeah. knowing for the yep. fact we wake up in the morning, and it's just like. It's all flipped. Uh, it's butt fucked. Yeah, you know, know. And you got Rod Sterling monologuing in the background. <laughs> Imagine okay. a time. So, Imagine a it, world. Exactly. So, Votes can actually be countered in election night. Yeah, you're just like, shut up, Rod. You would be what imagining a world prior to 2020. <laughs> no, it's amazing. You know, back in 2000, when the Florida debacle happened between Bush and Gore, that was yeah. considered a failure of the election system, and everyone was criticizing the ever-loving shit out of them. Now, uh, 22 years later, it's being yeah. seen as doing the job right. Yeah, right. Yeah, get the a fuck out of here. Break. It's a hanging Normal. Chad. Does that sound disgusting and provocative? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. I'm gonna I hang your that. fucking Chad. Whoa. Whoa. Hang your Whoa. Fucking Chad. Be nice. I didn't talk to you. That's like a skin tag on a hammer hand. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm Run. still, I'm still flashing back to this morning. And you know, there's, there's something about it that just really still doesn't sit right with me. Like when I got there at 6 a.m., oh, your machines weren't working. But oh, mysteriously, yeah. oh, oh, now they're working. Now they're working. Mm -hmm. I, I really yeah. wonder if those ballots that were being sent through the machine were actually being counted. You yeah. know, it, I, I yeah. just don't trust any of them. I don't trust any aspect don't of this situation Just leave anymore. them here. We'll definitely we'll count them. Oh, yeah. Just don't worry about it. We'll yeah. 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 Anybody else yeah. stop paying attention after Lauren said, I'm still flashing? I mean, you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna need a, you're, you're gonna need a whole lot more super chats for that. To, uh, Whoa! Uh, they're projecting, a, hey, uh, they're projecting Sarah Sanders as the winner for the governor's seat in Arkansas. All right, winning. Oh. Looks like Stitt in Oklahoma won by that easily. Exhibition. So. Nice. 
Sure. Uh, we do have some more super chats, actually. We'll get into these. And then I think we have another report from Billy Von Baum coming up here. We got uh, Schlitz Malt Liquor with a donation. Thank you, sir. Leo Tisch. <laughs> Uh, if you don't like your states, you're welcome here. Devil Newsom is awaiting your vote of confidence and tax money. Gold uh, cost of socialist yeah. policies. Uh, Fuck that. Well, they got to stop voting for stupid in California. <laughs> they are stupid in California. They are. Yeah, they have to. No, there's too, there's too many people in the big cities. I mean, the, the rest of the state is pretty conservative. Yeah. Yeah. The farmers yeah. and whatever. California. The whole yeah. fucking country is conservative. It's just Compared those hot spots yeah. on the coast. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Those big the whole country's concerned. Uh, really, major populous really. centers full of fucking morons. Uh, ask mm. me how I know. <laughs> well, I mean, even even <laughs> Democrats, norm, normal Democrats are pretty conservative. They're, you know, they have different ideas, but these people right. are not normal. There's something yeah. fucking wrong with them. There's a brain yeah. cancer. There's something yeah. going on. Absolutely. Uh, Dark Pegasus 87, better idea, forbid shuttling of ballots to other locations, even within the state. All votes, m votes must be counted in-house and the result handed to the elector, so fraud must control every polling place. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, 25-year-old Grandpa Incel says, my man, my <laughs> man, EFG division cranked. <laughs> nice. The Gray, hey, Pop, what's your opinion on the on the CISA? C I S A. What? I don't know. You want me to look it up? I, I I'm a little behind on the uh, S C E. A C I S A. It's a military acronym, I think. What is a cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I never worked with them, so yeah, it's cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency. No, I do that. The army was trying to ramp that up, like in the 2000 you know six seven time frame i don't know what happened after that hey blake are you getting any uh indications that your stream is crashing yeah that's what karen's saying yeah yeah karen's I'm strong back here talking about Hold it on. Keep, let me keep look down i just listened to it it sounded good shout out here, to karen but... strong by the way yeah karen uh -huh. was karen. joining us shortly on the stream so she better get it. i'm i'm waiting for her yep. i'm looking at it live everything's fine on this end and yeah, we're going to be uh, we're going to be losing a couple people as we uh, cross over the 9:30 mark. But first things first, we got Billy Von Baum with one more report in the field here. I think. What do we got here? Good evening, Pop and Blake. Billy Von Baum here, live from above the city, where you can see large swaths of the city on fire, neighborhoods completely wiped out. We've also been taking on small arms fire as well as some rocket fire grenades. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you wearing a helmet? Yeah. Shit. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Alpha, Tango, Bravo, Niner. Going down, going down. Mayday. Well, I sure hope Billy makes it out of that. Okay. Hope he's okay. Yeah, hope Billy Bobby has the helmet. Scared, yeah. Apparently, <laughs> all right. Safety got a Michigan turn. update. Son of a bitch. Well, he's got a Michigan update. What do we got? All right. Oh wow! All right. Um, Shitmer is at fifty-three. Dixon is at forty-five. But two counties turn red. Muskegon, uh, wait, Marquette, Michigan, that turned red. Grand Rapids, yeah. Michigan, turned red. What? Wow. 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 Holy shit. Ooh. That's fucking crazy. That wow. is. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Grand that Rapids, is Michigan. Well, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wow. Over on the Prior the to the delivery of waffle cones at around 4 a.m. two years <laughs> ago, uh, Trump won Wayne County. Yep. Wayne County. Yep. That's Detroit. Yeah, right? with yeah. Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I remember I was like, "There, wow, that is fucking amazing. And then I went to sleep and I woke up and the dream and it was, oops. went away. The dream, yeah. the dream died. See, so that's what I mean. It's We're walking once again into Bizarro World. Mm -hmm. Which is money. So, yeah, exactly. So something is going to happen at some mysterious time tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, well, the votes are not in. 
or the count wasn't done accurately or the machines glitched, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. There's going to oh, be we found every... these hundred thousand ballots over here. Yeah. My gosh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Kind of like how Hillary, you know, they were saying, well, these more votes just showed up in back of cars and obvious box trucks or these in inconspicuous box trucks. It's 2016 was the test run for 2020. Mm -hmm. And now 2022 is going to be the test run for 2024. Ever. Yeah. Forever. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, forever. Yep. So we're we're all sitting here, you know, participating we're all high, we're all high fiving each other, yeah. going, yeah, okay, yep. we're fucking smarter than the average bears yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to it, we don't have the money or the influence, so we're just going to get our dicks and tits beat into the dirt. So and that leads me to a very like, uh, that leads me to a very important question, Pop. Based on that assessment, uh. I was uh, talking to Jimmy earlier today in the Gilded Chat, and he was talking about uh, the three boxes are important: the uh, the ballot box, and uh, the ammunition box, and uh, so forth and so on. But what do you see if this goes south? Because people aren't buying at this point. We, we talk I about you, the Lord. way I rifle you. range, man. It's, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna start the downward spiral. Like right now, we're on we're on we're gliding. Send nudes. We are gliding all the way We're to already the here, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, did I miss something? <laughs> I, yes, you did. All right. All right. <laughs> if if this like if we go to bed tonight and it looks like it's a big you know red wave and everything's mm -hmm. you know kumbaya, and then tomorrow morning it's radically different. Mm. We are no. We will no longer be on a glide path. No. We will be on a crash vector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. It will speed everything up. So my follow-up yeah. question, and this is it, and then I'll shut up for a minute, but uh, I noticed a lot of the country is complacent and compliant. I say that a lot on my channel. Mm -hmm. At what point does the country stop being complacent and compliant? Well, when you can't, you know, you can't feed your family, eat your house, mm -hmm. or, or, or travel. I mean, Which uh, is as we're speaking, I'm ordering ammo. We're right. right on. It's at our doorstep. It's I'm right here, right, right now. now. I'm ordering yeah. ammo while I'm on a, a live stream <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not liking where this whole thing is going. I'm just—that's how you do it. No. I'm just telling. You. That's Pop, do you, do Pop, 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 yeah. do you reload? Of course. Oh hell yeah! That's why he has his no fat flap upstairs because he doesn't want anybody to see him reloading. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, please no pictures i'm gonna it's I'm gonna it's that little picture. sticker you put on the camera <laughs> vance in ohio is up by point yes six oh vance went up. Keep it going. Keep it going. Up. oh we got a mile high ronan says is this panel continuing on new tech uh, actually we're going to continue on all sites tonight yeah really because wow. this is my first time using Streamyard. i don't want to fuck it up so <laughs> I'm going to go on here. Uh, the Gray, what's your opinion on the new alphabet? The C a CSA Ministry of Truth launched June 2022. Oh, so that's what he was talking about there, the CISA. Okay. You have to look into it. Uh, Shark Dentures, YouTube has a 2022 U.S. elections tab here. Shocker. Wow. Uh, hmm. Jones, check out the Nebraska map. Blood, Democrat, is up with 11% of the vote. Now compare the counties that are blue to the AG map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take a look here. People have no idea how many hands are in this fucking pot and how many overseas yep. influences are buying your seats over here. They have no China. idea. Yeah, it's 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 not just China, man. It's I, and I'm not going to go with the whole China Russia thing, but you have gigantic donors. Uh, you you look into any blue city, there is somebody there with Soros's dick in their mouth. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> You know, Damn! Somebody. What the, what somebody. I, I, was, oh I know I know God. Soros is protected, but why couldn't there be an independent investigation sent out against that fucker? Because I believe it's in Russia. They don't allow uh Soros yeah. Soros in Russia. Yeah, and he has a standing yeah. uh he has a standing kill warrant in yeah. Russia. I have no yeah. idea why they haven't you know, he should take that. a vacation soon. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, he's going to. He's old enough. He's he's getting down the road. But I mean, these people have married into the White House. Yeah, so you're not wrong, Scott, man. 
Soros has purchased yeah. all new organs from the death camps in China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the Rockefellers, too. 20. Not to mention all that adren adrenochrome flowing through him. Too. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah. Now, is that yeah. even a real yeah. thing? Yeah. Adrenochrome? Yeah. Yeah. The claim it is. Yeah. No idea. No? Yeah, no idea. So the fact keep them keeping you young or something is that what it is? Or? Well, what's that one movie? Uh, no. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Who's that one author, Blake? Uh, Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Okay, S. Hunter S. Thompson. There is a short bit in that movie when Johnny Depp is playing uh, the reporter who is interviewing Hunter S. Yeah, Thompson, yeah. or or vice versa. I don't know. Uh, but they pick up. He picks up a bottle, and he asks Hunter S. Thompson. What's this? He says it's adrenochrome. This shit mm -hmm. will blow you away. <laughs> yep. Blow you away. What the thing? This is this is the reason why I'm. I don't know if it exists. Is quite literally, there's virtually nothing that takes place without somebody talking about it or narking it out. Mm. Mm. Now, I, and well, I, if they're actually doing a brain surgery to drain this stuff out of people's brains. It uh, comes out of children because it's more concentrated. Yeah. Well, they well, uh, they already he, admitted to the fact that uh, stem cells were being used in cosmetics from uh, certain years ago. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Years yeah. Ago, yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. When you circumcise your son, yes. your yep, child's yep. foreskin is going to make Lauren, this, you want to know something. Bitch look better. You want to know? That, I'm going to tell you something that's going to just grab my dick. It's going to wrinkle, <laughs> wrinkle you all up. All right. Uh, God damn it, Blake. Doing a search a few years ago, they found human meat in McDonald's hamburger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Well, you know what? where Jimmy Hoffa probably wild. Okay, up. Pop. Big boy. I gotta, I gotta ask you on that because I've been look. Me and Crusader have actually been looking for that. What were the uh, statistics, the data on that? And like, how many places was it very, I was it like even, one store or what? No, I, I don't, I don't remember the actual stats and stuff, but just think about that. McDonald's, it's all of their beef. Yeah. The mm. people they franchise from. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if they're finding human meat at one location, it's probably in all of the locations. If we'll not, see. Ew. I wanted to be the skeptic on that and say, well, what if somebody had an accident on the job? Finger got lobbed off, off or something. Yeah. yeah. What does the uh, what does the FDA allow for that percentage? It's up to oh, 10% God. foreign matter. Yeah. Yeah. It's 10, uh, 10 fucking percent. Wow. I think I think the biggest the biggest problem is that no one that no one is addressing is that <laughs> we are relying or we are so used to going to mcdonald's to mm. eat food we're not mm. cooking at home if you can call it that are you right. relying right. are you it's, relying it's, on it or is it being bred out of you hey mcdonald's it's, coffee it's still so, a buck 49 it's, it's, it's a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh by the way fun fact ground coffee is allowed to have crickets in it yeah. well, sure right exactly but and rat you know, shit and all kinds of stuff are, yeah, well, are, you are paying money for these people to feed you something that you have no idea what's going into to poison it, where you can, is you can absolutely spend, correct yep. you can spend a fraction of what that costs at mm -hmm. home and eat better eat mm. cleaner you know and yep. you, people wonder why oh Morning. why are americans so fat well it's because you go through the fucking drive through yeah you they're pumping you through you full of hormones you Lauren. Even, All kinds of shit. never yeah. mind never cooking your own fucking meal you won't even get out of your fucking car to walk right. into a place <laughs> no. to order a goddamn meal i'm stand sorry by, stand by lauren it is obvious <laughs> that your sexual frustration is <laughs> <laughs> okay I, i'm just saying three years take care of it darling take care of it. take care of it. wait and i understand completely <laughs> truly i do all right no, I'm just fucking with you. I just see that. <laughs> I, Lauren, I don't know if you know this, but you have a, a fascist flag behind you, and I demand you get oh, rid of it. I'm really? sensitive. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sensitive. No. I'm offended. That's a what? massive aggression. Oh, it's horrific. I How don't dare you? care if you're fucking offended. <clears throat> I is, would like to offend. How can I offend you more, sir? Is there something else I can do? Well, to you could marry you me. I mean, that don't would ask that me. question. Oh, no, I would never. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, darling. I'm just playing with you. 
Uh, I'm pretty I, easy, Lauren. You could just send nudes. I'm good. <laughs> I didn't get it. You know, so. most guys are. We are now going to so. all tech. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are, are there any more updates? Any more oh, updates? This is... Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys have any more updates? Uh, yes, right uh, now, no, because I'm going to have to Vance log off, up. unfortunately. So you guys have a great, wonderful fucking night. You too, hey, you man. Too. Good, Good to see you, man. Thank Thank you for coming in. Do. Yeah. Over. Stand by. Uh, yeah, Vance in Ohio has pulled up a full percentage point. you need me to send you anything for your illness via the Green Beret Express, text me, and I'll get it right to you, okay? Yeah, that would help. All right, well, text me what you need, and you'll have it. I'll overnight it to you tomorrow. Yeah, okay, because after my emotional Bob, landscape you. got nuked, uh, I did lose a, quite a bit, so mm. that's all right. All right. That's all right. Coming along, but I'll text you later there, buddy. All right, Brian. Thank All right, bro. guys. Good meeting Take you. It easy, man. Red nice Bill, to meet you. Hammer hand. All right, Lauren. Remember, you, send nudes, Lauren. Send nudes. I, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Only five. <laughs> Only five. Listen, do you yeah. understand my man is watching this? I can't. We <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> just have Pop. You can just have Pop shoot me, shoot my number over to you. It's real yeah. easy. Yeah. <laughs> just wash it through a couple of burner phones. No one will know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just bleach. Bleach bitch. Because that never surfaces anywhere. No. It's a- oh, n- not for at least Hunter. five years, right? <laughs> right. So here's kind of a big update for Pennsylvania. All about yeah. the human meat in McDonald's. Mm. It says, uh, the body parts were found across the U.S. factories and were deemed too small. Uh, to be adult bodies, they were children bodies. Oh, yeah. oh my! It, it doesn't fuck. surprise me at all. Does well, you know, uh, McDonald's also supports uh, uh, Planned Parenthood. That Planned Parenthood, <laughs> and they also yeah. support. Uh, this was back from the eighties when they yeah. got shot up that first time. They also support uh, uh, anti-gun. They're anti-gun. That's all yeah. I know. I can't really. Think well, I can imagine. Support. So, I mean, you saw what happened to them in what was it, eighty-two, eighty-three. Yeah, yeah. So it was like yeah. seventy people died inside. Yeah, well, it was it was it, what twenty five ish. A lot of kids. I mean, that, yeah. when that fellow walked in there, he smoked that whole fucking lobby. Oh yeah, he lit it up. Yep. Yep. Um. So. Uh, yeah. So I, since that I gun, they've been uh, anti-gun. Yeah. yeah. Bad mm. news, man. Bad news. Stop donating to the Ronald McDonald House. Yes. Yeah, stop yeah. donating to organized <clears throat> charities. They're a fucking fraud. Mm. Uh, seriously, oh, yeah. I mean Red Red Cross included. You know, all, of them, all, all of them, them. all of them, Every fucking goodwill. Of them. All, right, all of them. Here. So mm. I run a nonprofit, second class citizen, is legitimate five hundred one c three, right? And we have almost five hundred people saved from suicide just for me telling jokes. All right, and I cannot get my 501c on any corporation lists that they could give to the people in the their in their corporations to like send stuff for a, a nonprofit for our tax write off. It's because you're honest about you it. Like uh, literally, they're giving like nonprofit money to you know Black Lives Matter. And you're oh, honest about it. Not, you're honest about it. Build build large mansions. You mean? Yeah. And, and yes. Burn, loot, murder. I, I yep. literally can't get any of these corporations to acknowledge my fucking existence. And I'm legitimately saving people's lives. Mm-hmm. But this, but pop, this is the patriarchy. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's all my fault. Yeah, yeah. You have all the, the power in the world. <laughs> yeah, I did all the, the power stuff. in the world. There, there should be no reason why you can't get this. I mean, don't you have some big, powerful network of penises mm-hmm. that you can tap into? <laughs> of course. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, 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 how about that 80% homeless? That's a nice little army you can go yeah, get. Yeah, right? Mm. All right, there's an election update. Vance, <clears throat> Vance is up 53 or 50.3% to 40 uh, to 45 or uh, well, 49.7 but 45% 49. of the votes yeah. votes have been counted in yeah. Ohio. Mm. Ohio. Yeah. Okay. Betterman, yeah. it's now 55-42. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to take a break. 24% Fetterman over us. Yeah, I got to wow. piss. I'm taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> I like what? how blunt she is. <laughs> she is. Listen, you you have to fucking be on this I, panel. <laughs> you have to understand. So, so let me give you just a little bit of an understanding. So I work in the automotive industry, right? Uh-huh. And I have Ooh. for most of my life. My, I, my mom has, so I was kind of raised around 
working around a a, a, a nature of guys like yeah like, just men. guy mentality men yes men, yes, men. right yes. and so now i'm i'm in a position where you know i'm pretty much independent i'm i i my responsibilities is to make sure that the men underneath me get paid for the work that they do underneath right. you. Well, they are. Oh, oh, shut up. Stop. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm like, I don't get enough of this shit I'm sorry. It was Bob. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Take a drink. Listen, there's nothing that you can come at me with that giggity, giggity. I would already giggity, giggity. Listen. But it... All right. Moving on. Look at them eyeballs, boy. As I was saying, it's nothing new. Like, like I'm, I'm used to working. This is my comfort zone, right? Like, I'm wor- used to working around guys who are just comfortable with each other, right? I'll and women aren't that way. Shut the mm. fuck up! I'm trying to have a goddamn honest Somebody conversation. Mute that guy. I want to hear. Meanwhile, in election news. <laughs> meanwhile, right? No, we're on a piss break. I didn't. Oh, we're back. Uh, I didn't Not even yet. piss. No, fuck you. We I never left. Piss. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Hold that pose. Time for Damn. A break. What do you think? <laughs> She's gonna, gonna go Blake, piddle. You are. You are Man, not piddling. talking on a mic. Come on. Mic is out. <laughs> Just, Blake, your mic is out. Your mic's out. My mic is out. Now it's back. There it is. Okay. Now it's there back. You yeah. go. All there right. You go. We're going to bid adieu at this point to Rhino, Fitzwell, Hamster, and Hammerhand. We have a new slew of guests all coming in, and Lauren happens to be good friends with one of them, so we're going to let her stick yeah. around for a little bit. So in the meantime, we're Are going we to... Are Karen Strong on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Karen Karen's Strong coming. is coming on the stream. The Titan! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That woman could drink every single person in this panel under the table. She's Not me. Ryan. Not me. Oh, did, you Not know, me. did you know? Did you know? Did you know that in your chat, motherfuckers think that you guys are a bunch of pathetic simps? That's oh, really? a panel no. with a woman. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. oh fuck no. That's not totally a bitch. Fun. And you know what I say to that person? Isn't fuck that a bitch? off. <laughs> Isn't that a bitch? You can't even be on a fucking panel with one. Oh my god! Put my dick all the way down to the hilt and make sure you swallow everything you're given, man. Meat. There you go. Jesus Christ, man. Could you just exist here with Ooh. a fucking woman? Shut up. All right, all right. Like, uh, if you want to throw me bitch. backstage, that is fine. I will be here for the remainder of the show if you want me to pop back in. Sounds good, Rhino. All you right, have man. a good night. If we don't hear from you again, we'll keep you backstage, if you know what I mean. It's oh, almost yeah. That's what the fun happens. Hope not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on with us, good sir. All right. All right. And then, Hamster, I want to thank you for coming on with us as well. Make sure not to eat too much of your own shit and keep those newspaper shavings out your butthole. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Thanks for the invite, guys. You're <laughs> welcome. Thanks for coming on, man. Anytime, yeah. Hamster. All right. And Hammerhand, as always, it is a pleasure having Bad Santa on the show. I call him Assassin Santa. <laughs> I don't will do. Ass, Assassin <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good, man. It's, it's my always- pleasure, gents. Thanks for inviting me on, man. I appreciate you. Anytime, anytime brother. We'll hey, look, again. if you want us on your show, just give us a heads up anytime. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, man, you got it. I've got uh, a pretty full week here for the next week, and then I've got some open spots. So, yeah, I'll, I'll hit you up. Sweet. I'll be there. Right. He was like getting you. a phone call. Hey, man, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to be on a panel next to you, so you're welcome. All right, let's go. All right. Is that you, Fitzwell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Have a good one, Hammer Ham. All right. I got to piss around. myself. Peace, All, guys. All right, guys. Peace. 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 All right. All right. See you, Fitz. Well, you have Later, a good night. Guys. Feel better. Feel better, man. All right, Lauren, stick around. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put on a pee I'm break sticking. right now, and then we're going to bring everybody in just after the break. And we are staying on all <laughs> platforms tonight, so don't worry about jumping over to new tech. Hmm, which one shall it be? I'm going to go with Stallone. Your disease, and I'm the cure.
We have a whole Hello. slew of new guests to bring in for you tonight. I guys, this is a guest extravaganza, and I don't throw around the word extravaganza lightly. And first and foremost, although I don't see her video on the stream, we already spoiled it for you. So, Karen, are you there? You better be here, bitch. <laughs> Damn it, yeah, Karen. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not turning my camera on, though. Because Fine. because my computer is like blistering hot, it does not like Streamyard. It's because you got Lauren on your screen, isn't it? I don't. I don't. That is probably why. Excuse me. Hey, so how you how you been, Karen? What's going on up there in, in uh, California, Stan? Okay, so so I go out with my spindly little girl arms, okay, and I shovel <laughs> six inches of snow off my walks yesterday. Wow. No. And, yeah, and Snow. then and with with these spindly little girl arms after a year of like uh, myocarditis, you know, and bed rest, right? And uh, and then you know, and I'm just getting back into the game, right? You know, uh, after all losing all my muscle mass, and uh, and then I go out this morning. There's another fucking six inches. So wait, wait, let me get this straight. Most women would beg for six. Are you telling me that you have? I you, mean, you have something going on with your uh, blood pump. <laughs> I I had something going on with my blood pump for about fifteen months. What it the after, fuck? It was after what? I caught the original gangster. Okay, well, hang on. Is it getting any better? Yeah, no, it's better now. I wouldn't okay. be out shoveling snow if it wasn't better now. Well, <laughs> well I hope not. Well, Karen, I, it's not like you have another option. I yeah. do have other options. Don't you have I, someone you, in the house with six gonna, inches I, that can help I you shuffle six have, inches? I have a freaking, I have a son who was like six foot five at age 17. I, the, the one you know. who talks back regularly? Yeah, that's no, the one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mouthy bastard? Yeah. Yeah. Mouthy yeah. Bastard. <laughs> Speaking of mouthy bastards, we got to bring in some more guests on the stream. I, you know, but wait, wait, before you do. Yeah. All right. You I just to want to ask, what the hell am I supposed to make of this pop? What? What? What I do? What the fuck shirt are you wearing? I don't know whether you're a good pop or Why bad you pop. Orange. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You guys are holy. <laughs> you're like half good, half bad, half something. Well, he gets <laughs> drunk and then he's crash test rummy. Hey, oh. he's half orange. He's half you're orange. supposed to be it's either go. red Dude, or black pop. pop. You can't tell, but this is half oh, empty. Half I'm literally half in the jar. Uh, I don't. I, I don't even know what I'm in for now. It's. I know. Oh, what, I know what to expect when you're wearing black. I know what to expect when you're wearing red. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. This now. is like a political thing. Oh, this is wearing... come catcher pop. Uh, oh, shut up! <laughs> oh, this my is my. God. Uh, <laughs> this is my uh, walk around. Listen, it was on sale. I like fucking rugby shirts. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, it's it's all right. It's all right. I just you know because I was I was asking is he? It's is no, it it's totally fine. I like to know. Is, is, is it going to be good pop or good bad pop tonight? He he's got like his Waldo shirts, and he he's got the one that turns D Live into a frenetic David Lynchian fucking kaleidoscope nightmare. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Oh, you know, we the got some healthy that, individuals that we really got to bring in here tonight because they've been sitting backstage for a little while. 
Who do we got? And introducing, well, not introducing because he's been on the stream before, and we're hoping that he goes off on one of his epic rants tonight. Captain Capitalism, Aaron Clary. Oh! How are you doing? Oh, 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 oh my God. I have to, I have to agree with Karen. You look like Mark's big boy mascot. There, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what the, I'm like, quality bird. Quality. He's, that's a I'll rugby listen. shirt, huh? Oh, hey, I got shirt, to give you a report card. Okay, I didn't, so. I didn't say that. I didn't say that I didn't like his shirt. I just said, <laughs> how am I supposed it to know who I'm dealing with here? Is it good pop or bad pop? It matches my Cheetos and what comes out of my dick after I leave Cheeto dust on it. All right. <laughs> there is no call. There's no reason to go being funny. Oh, my like God. one of them, like one of them squirrely margaritas, right? Ooh. Listen, I'm, there, I'm telling you, those are some quality burns. But the best one was Aaron's because he like linked it to an <laughs> actual thing on the outside world. I mean, and it, it was the no Minnesota delay. right off the side of Highway 169. That's what it reminded me of. Quality. Very quality. Much quality. He's the popsicle and the creamsicle tonight. The good burn, man. Good burn. Very good burn. I like it. So, how you doing, Cappy? <laughs> Great. I, I'm actually kind of honored that Karen's here. I, I don't think we've ever met digitally or formally and it's it's nice to finally be on the same place karen so yeah no, glad to yeah, meet no, you no me too like i was a big fan like i the started, blogging days i Remember yeah i started days? watching you before i started my channel and you know like that was you know you were you were you were pretty uh pretty good i loved how you just kind of would sit on your porch and talk about oh yeah how, the 10 8 that's 720 uh, digital DP days. Yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah. You sit on your porch day, yeah. and you just muse about how the world's ending, and you're just gonna like relax and just watch it all unfold. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. So, I was well, right. Ten Aaron, years later, I'm right. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Ten years, Aaron. I I remember you from the Tom Likas days. Oh, yeah, wow, that's so right. Probably, yeah even wow. predates that yeah that was about a little more than 10 years ago i remember you ran my ads that was 2010 2011 yeah yeah, yeah. we hadn't even started yet now, how much did it cost yeah. you on this is he still dude okay you want to talk about inflation this is tom like this is that it was 500 bucks a month wow Ooh. and i don't know if tom was um I think he was probably being charitable because he already had his money and at that time he i think he was probably helping some people out but um, yeah, I snatched up on that right away. And it, and him and um, Dr. Glenn and Dr. Helen, uh, mm -hmm. I owe, you know, at least half of my success to those people for being kind enough to promote me. Nice. Oh, yeah. No, Tom Likas was like awesome. You know, I when I went on his show, I was like kind of expecting, you know, like. Yeah, he had this reputation of being like this horrible misogynist and he was a really woman friendly and really friendly he, and you know he's a teddy cracked, bear. He's a cracked awesome jokes and and uh, yeah they were sexist jokes but whatever you know i used to watch when i was a kid or listen to him rather yeah, listen, yeah, listen yeah. To him when I was a kid. hang on i gotta get me another beer he's getting another beer hey, you're like, he's getting another beer get a burger and fries while you're at it then one All right, so and and while they're doing that, I, I just want to Karen. I just want to challenge the the notion that the the jokes that he was saying were sexist. Oh no! Right, because it, it's any not, joke, it, any joke that's funny is going to be sexist. Any joke well, that is funny is going to be offensive to someone. Well, right? No, it's exactly. it's going to be sex. No, but it's going to be sexist because it's going to make fun of women for the ways that women act, and it's going to make fun of men for the ways that men act. And those are stereotypes, and they're stereotypes for a reason, because they're more okay. often true than not, and so they're sexist. I got it. I got it. I got it. And I'm right there with you. And that's the same way that when people make statements about, um, you know, race, it's not necessarily racism, right? No. Well, we're going to have, our, were there other people coming on? 
Yeah, there's other people coming on here. I just want well, they, they got off on a spin, so I wanted so to let them talk. Oh, let's, okay. Let's, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah no. One Canuck on this stream. One Canuck is not enough. That's why we have Unchained Skid. How you doing, yeah. good sir? Hey, Hello. how's everybody going today? It's getting cold up in here. I don't know. Oh, man, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> echo what Karen was saying. We live in the same city, and yeah, that's been a lot of snow. Sorry, yeah. we had you waiting so long. Oh, that's Sorry. okay. It was worth the wait. Sorry. Look to me, this uh, steamed panel that I'm on. Awesome. Good to be here. Ev, we just had you on recently, so I, I, I already know how you're doing. Six inches of snow, which means that you can go out and fuck it if you want to. I'm just saying. I'm going to move on, and we're going to add the last one. You know him. You love him. He's not dead. Billy Bon Bomb is on the street. Hey! Pop. Back, in, Pop. back in from the heat and fire. Pop, you were, you were supposed to be out on the runway to guide us in. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Nice. That's why you're wearing the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I decided to wear the flag. Which flag is that? That'd be the white and orange uh, windsock flag that he was the come catch to... your flag. Oh yeah, the no, those, were, those are flag. some flags. Oh my god, <laughs> that's some good burns. Man. Hey, hey, oh. Quality. Do we have any updates on any? Wave them in. Any updates on the uh, elections? Oh, let's take a look at Real Clear Politics and see what we got, what we got here. here. All right. So far, the races that have been called, 40 for Democrats, 41 for Republicans. Democrats are down seven in the House. Republicans up seven. Uh, Democrats plus two in governors. Republicans minus two. That's not mm. good. Interesting. It's hmm. but shit. Yeah, that's fucked up. Well, and you know what? It brings me to our next chat here. Mark from Tinder says, what's the point in voting if they're just going to fix the results? I'll tell you why. Because if you turn out in massive numbers, they can't fix it. And if they do, then well, we know it. They have to work harder. Well, exactly. The thing is, it. is uh, half of the United States was not convinced over the last ice cream, ice cream social. Because statistically speaking, things that happened are virtually impossible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, if that continues, mm -hmm. it's going to come to the point where it, it's literally going to come to blows. Mm -hmm. If you can't, if you have no faith in your elections, pandemonium and chaos is right behind it. Mm -hmm. it, it historically speaking, I mean, uh, that's what happens. Like, for instance, uh, during the the days of Rome, when they had the uh, democracy, towards the end, it just turned into just a huge giveaway to the population to keep them so, uh, calm. And when they ran out of grain and, or whatever the hell they were using, it it, it was it was a done deal. Well, look what's happening in Brazil right now, man. Yeah, it's like that's <laughs> crazy times. I, like their population knows it's it's absolute horse shit. They're already protesting. Yeah. But the thing is, they don't have guns. We do. Right. Well, okay. Well, I mean, no, when, when the population you, you, decides you, you to can't, go out, you can't make comments like that, Pop. No, I, yeah. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. You have Brazil. They don't have a lot of, uh, you know, distant whole country. <laughs> They, they Whereas, here, here, hole punchers, yeah. Distance hole punchers. Yeah. It's pretty much like two to there's two or three per household in the entire country. Yeah, and no, you, it's we, and we, you know, you know who actually is armed in the United States. Mm -hmm. So but the and, but here's the I pop, you lost him on a tragic boating accident. Well, first of all, I'm too old for that, so that's not gonna happen. But I I'm think, just saying I think the military too is actually means a little bit more to the patriotic populist republican love america you know love the constitution side regardless of how they're trying to like weed those people out of the military and insert a bunch of wokeism in um, uh -huh. i think that they still have i think the rank and file and you you're never going to be able to like you're never going to be able to take control of a country uh you know as like every communist revolution ever succeeded right 
uh, they had the rank and file of the military on board with them because it was these were surf uh, these were feudalistic countries. They they were like, you are impoverished. You will never. There's no income or socioeconomic mobility at all, right? You have no way to work your way up. You have no way to build wealth. You are a serf. You are a peasant. You are that that you will see. You were a uh-huh. peasant and you went into the military. You were an enlisted man. You were never an officer. You you had no ability to rise up through the ranks, right? Uh-huh. And you had this critical mass of horrifically miserable people who had no hope of rising on their own merits, rising on their own efforts, making something happen for their families, make a better life on their own effort. And uh, and you had this very small elitist class and it's it's really bizarre because that what they're doing is they're actually these elitists like Soros and the WEF and Trudeau and and all of these <clears throat> these young global leaders uh, from the WEF they're all actually creating and I think they're trying to do it on purpose but they're creating a situation in which like they think they're going to be the among the one percent of the one percent who aren't liquidated by the peasant uprising. Yep. And what what I'm what, what I was the point I was trying to say is if we have the amount of uh, unhappiness in Brazil as if that were to happen here, you would see masses of people coming out, but a lot of them would be armed. All right. Now I hope I hope there isn't violence. I don't. I'm just telling you. Well, you, you remember space. you remember the Michigan State Capitol protests. Yeah, yeah. They, I was they stood armed in the gallery, open carrying their rifles, um, mm-hmm. in the gallery of the Capitol building during a legislative session, <clears throat> and uh, they went through the security process. They took their COVID temperature checks, right? And filed in peacefully, and and they legally stood there and, and quietly observed the legislative session, right? And that's like that tends to be how how it, it's kind of it really is kind of like a warning. Here's what we could do. We're not going to do it, but here's what we could do. And and it's look how well they listened. <clears throat> Well, because that, that that's just it, though. There's, um, have, like you've been hearing how the left is blaming all the violence on the right. Yeah. And I'm telling you right yeah. now, you oh. will know when the right has had enough and they start actually doing violence, it will not be crazy people showing up. And it won't be people like with wearing you know, bull horns have their face painted. They will show up and the violence that they do execute will be ruthless surgically precise and and when that happens then you know shit's really gonna get bad mm-hmm. yep. now yeah. I, I don't want that to happen i'm just telling you that uh well you, i know you, a lot if, of you guys, take, if you take I, away every avenue towards legal redress of grievance then there's nothing left yep. other than that right so. Yeah, well, historically, when there, people don't get justice in the courts, they get it in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dragon HEF01 over on Rumble has a question. Are there militia observing anywhere? Yes. Yes. Yep, they are. As they should be. It seems like people were heeding our warning. Uh, Pop, are they re- Pop, are they reporting anything to you? Uh not not directly not right now i mean i'm sure i'll get some emails later i know that uh there's some guys in wayne county watching a you know suspicious warehouse that they think uh a bunch of uh ballots or ice cream whatchamacallits whatever you want to call it are stored so i don't know what's going on there like and if you guys recall for the 2020 ice cream social you know they had you know, called Wayne County for for Trump, and then sometime during the night there was a you know a parade of yeah. vehicles that showed up with all kinds of boxes. Yep. And uh, I could literally envision that happening twice because you have to store it somewhere. Yeah. All right. So maybe they could store well, it and stretch you, it fast. You, yeah. 
you, you never want to you never want to cheat so much that it looks obvious right like you never want the you yeah. want to wait until the middle of the night and then you know how how many ballots you need to just squeak you over you gotta be careful we're still yeah. on youtube there. Okay, well, <laughs> what well, bothers me? No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna step out. I hope you guys have a good night. And oh, you're gonna uh, take off, you, you in good hands. Have a good night, yes, Lauren. I am. I'm right. taking my tits with me. Good night, Sorry, Lauren. Guys. Good night. <laughs> Love you, Karen. Love you guys. Love you and uh, take it easy. Take right. care, Lauren. Bye. All right. Cool. All right. We got a Keynote 72 says if Papa's buying ammo, then I probably should too. Use them Cabela's deals to get more 556. No, uh, you can actually get better deals on Ammo Seek. Ammo Seek. Ammo Seek.com. Check it out. I'm going to jot that down. I go, okay. Yeah. Ammo Country Seek. 2020 says New York 22nd congressional race, no votes reporting. Polls have been closed for 30 minutes. Ooh, that doesn't mm. sound that doesn't sounds like Suspicious. somebody uh, somebody was trying to trying to move some stuff around a little bit. Uh, mm. now, what I'm uh, just saying is this is mm. is you know the population has lost faith in our government, and, and, and unless there's something huge that reverses that trend, we're going to see more of this until it's it's game on. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. Now, Pop, I got a question for you. Going back to those vans that showed up in the middle of the night out, up there in Michigan, did anything well, ever happen to that? Well, unfortunately, we have a Democrat governor who didn't allow anything to take place. Yep. And, of course, the media just reported that Trump was making all kinds of claims without evidence. Yeah, and then uh -huh. and then they were like, and all of his court cases were dismissed on the merits. Except yeah, no. Except no. None of them were. Uh, they were dismissed based on uh, you sued too soon, right? Because there hasn't been an injury yet because the election hasn't happened yet. Oh, oh, the elections happened. Well, you, you uh, and they, you they, had, they, you sued too late, right? Yeah. Or, um, or uh, it's been certified, and I can't give you the remedy you want. I'm not going to decertify it, so it's moot. Yeah. You know, and and I think Alito and uh, Thomas said there's no such thing as a moot election lawsuit. It needs to be decided, yep. right? Yeah. The, the, but, those fucking traitors in the Supreme Court saying that Texas had no cause, no standing, yeah, no, no standing, no, like, no standing. My yeah. Ass. standing. Yeah, they had didn't have a cognizable judicial interest in how another state yeah. conducts its elections yeah they do you know they why do. because every single state is a signatory to the constitution and the constitution has rules in it right and so you can't actually decide uh the constitution clearly gives the rules of the you know the election rules are under the purview of the state legislatures, right? So the elected representatives in the states, they decide what the election rules are. Pennsylvania changed their election law through a friendly lawsuit. So. Yeah. Did we lose her? Did we, Karen, did we lose you, baby? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Right in the middle of us. <laughs> well, we got another Canadian. Can you pick up right where she left off? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what. You all think the same. That. Yeah, I mean, there's no individuality. Easy, no easy, individuality. Easy. Yeah, Edmonton and everything. You got six inches of snow. You all out there measuring your dicks. Uh, well, what? We're, we're, okay, we're all did, up I, did I get complaining cut off? about gun laws? Is what cut we're off, doing. Karen. Yeah, Karen, okay. you, you dropped off. Oh, okay. But but what I'm saying is, Pennsylvania changed their election laws in violation of the Constitution. Right. right. They Let's changed their election through. laws through through collusion between the judicial branch and the executive branch yep. and an activist group. Right. And they they usurped the authority of the legislative branch, which holds the sole authority to determine election rules. And and Texas definitely does have an interest. Every single state is a signatory to that document that binds all of the states into a union right they all signed the same constitution right yeah. and they all agreed if if i signed a contract with somebody else and they don't live up to their side of the bargain i can absolutely sue them 
Yeah. Correct. Well, think about this too. Texas is very big in the oil and gas industry. Now, I can't imagine how an you know an illegitimately installed steward who declared war on the U.S. energy sector could possibly have any sort of negative repercussions on that state's economy. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. No, they have the the citizens of any state have a vested interest. They have a they have standing in terms of. They have an interest in who is the ex- who occupies the White House, right? Yep. And whether that occupation of the White House is legitimate or not, and whether the election in any given state was in a constitutional manner or not. So it's it's just, but you know, hey, just give it, another, <laughs> give it another six months. They'll nationalize elections. They'll yeah. they'll make it illegal to ask for voter ID in any state. Uh, they'll give amnesty and voting rights to non-citizens and, and well, they're we'll, trying be, to uh, we'll be living in hell. Yep, we put out a video on YouTube talking about Michigan's three proposals. One of them is uh, a proposal to do away with the entire concept of voter ID. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And of course, that video was algorithmically devoted into fucking oblivion on the platform. <laughs> yes, it was. Thanks, YouTube. Susie, oh, you think, you think Canada's fucked up? Okay, you you guys think Canada's? I go to vote, right? I gotta yeah. show an ID. Oh, right? Jim Crow 2.0. <laughs> and, and if if the address on my ID is different from the address in the register, right? Say, because usually people they register to vote uh, by checking a box on their tax return, right? Share this yeah. with mm-hmm. Elections Canada, right? And uh, your address names social insur- insurance number all of that right so you you get that and that gets updated in the voter registry so if if my address my last address that i submitted with my last tax return is different from the one i'm living at now and that i have on my driver's license i have to bring a utility bill to prove that yes i moved between my last tax return and now and here's where i'm living right so, I mean, like, we actually, and then we don't have machines. Mm-hmm. We, we have paper ballots. Yeah, we should do that here. This we, just have, we just have paper ballots and pencils, and you, you go in, no and, and then you fold yeah, them in half, absolutely. and you stick yeah. them in the box. Yep. Well, what gets me is Florida is able to figure it out right away. Why aren't yep, the rest yep. of the states? Most of the states are able to figure it out election night. It's only the ones where the margin is razor thin. All of a sudden, we got to take an extra three to four days. Yep. Yeah, no. And and what's what's frustrating, too, is, you know, like once when you do the mail-in ballot thing, um, once the ballot separated from the envelope, there's no yep. way to determine which ballots are are um, questionable. And which mm, ones yeah. aren't, you know, you can go and do an envelope, a signature audit, right? And find out how many signatures match, right? Oh, 30% of the signatures weren't matches, right? Mm. There's yep. no way to trace them to those ballots, right? So you're still not going to see any judge willing to throw out the entire election, right? Yep. Because, because it, you know, it, it might not have made a difference. Oh my gosh! You know. Well, we'll see what happens. And they try to prepare the public's consciousness for this bullshit right from the go. And check this out. Mm-hmm. ABC reports Republicans should expect their leads to crumble completely in a red mirage as mail-in ballot dumps are counted. Yeah, it's not a repeat of what happened in uh, 2020. No, no, we didn't hear anything about this. Is totally a conspiracy theory. Yep. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> what a like, bunch of fucking. When half the country decides no, we're not, we're not fucking going to be governed by you. What the fuck are they going to do? Not a damn thing. Well, they're going to try to do some shit, but it's not. You, you can't have half the country saying fuck you to the government. Yeah, well, let's send the Gen Z military after the population <laughs> of <laughs> <men> <laughs> who actually <laughs> saw <laughs> war. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Here's here's some common sense electoral reform, okay? You're not allowed to start early voting until after the first debate. How about that? 
That, that would be good. Sense, yeah. and, and you know what? I would love to see a constitutional amendment for single issue legislation. Yeah. If you oh, want yeah. to talk about something that could actually fix a lot of the bullshit that goes on in the bureaucratic structure of this country, single issue legislation. No bill should be a thousand pages with a bunch of pork barrel bullshit no omnibus shoved bullshit, into yeah. it. No yeah, omnibus yeah. legislation. No, they they shoehorn in all this shit that no one wants. Democrats do this all the time. And they're like, and then they stick in a little thing saying, yeah. "And we're going to make it illegal to kick puppies." And then they're like, "What? You're hmm. against kicking? You're against yeah. punishing?" Well, just look at Proposal Three in Michigan, the reproductive freedom for all proposal. When really it says, "Well, if your child decides that they want to play with GI Joes instead of Barbies, and you don't agree with it, you uh, don't want to get them." You Right. Affirming care that they need, we're going to take them away from you. Oh my God! Okay, Talk so can that. Canada yep. is worse than you guys. So bunch of yeah. shit. At least in terms of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, hey, God, they, <laughs> like, they keep fucking with uh, people's kids. I mean, that's another thing that's going to cause people to go. That to go used to be off. the line that we could all agree on. Yeah. Yeah. Most people don't care about their kids in this country, so they. Yeah, they just let screens raise them. Well, twenty yeah. years from care. now, twenty years from now, having children will be a rare thing. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of... I took I took the raised by wolves approach to parenting, and my <laughs> my kids all turned out good. Mm -hmm. They walk the straight and narrow. They don't. Oh, okay. uh, so you, you turn know, into they... a wolf when you get drunk? <laughs> no, I no, I, I just I, I'm like, oh, what? You're hungry? Just like find something. There's Probably some cracker crumbs on the bottom of the pantry. <laughs> go out like, in the back and kill something. Just like, yeah, just get the fuck out. You're making noise. Go outside and don't come back for like four hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, try not to mess. Don't mess with the hobo that lives down on the bike trails in the ravine. Her name mm. is Karen. Oh, I, uh, speaking of which, Pulse Kebab says that, uh, that he accepts your challenge to the game of drink. <laughs> oh, I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anybody here a professional drinker? I may I may have really spindly little lady arms and, and I may have lost a lot of weight, you know. I don't know. I think you my, uh, yeah. you, now what did the doctor say about your situation? Uh well I'm fine now. Um but I had I okay, here's here's what I had. I had an ear uh an uh uh, irregular uh, ECG. I had uh, like a TS wave problem um, or ST wave problem rather. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had tachycardia, tachypnea, pulmonary edema, Ooh. hypertension, mm. um, wow. and uh, arrhythmia and uh, palpitations. Now has all of that cleared Ooh. up? Yes. It's all gone, all but right. I, I, I basically had to really take it easy for like a year. I had to get my son to carry the baskets of the laundry up the stairs. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So Wait, what? What? So, yeah, I know. I, I just know. This thing here, I, I'm on not the B right now. I just decided. Oh, to look I thought I thought you were like what? What I'm you like, made a male carry laundry? No, look at this. The New York Times put out a list of ways to cope with election night, including including breathing like a baby. Oh, <laughs> my God. What in the motherfuck? Try five finger breathing. Trace the outline of outside of your hand with your pointer finger. When you trace up, breathe in. And when you trace down, breathe out. Um, Plunge your geez, face into a bowl with is... ice water for 15 to 30 seconds. That, that, like that's baby. actually not safe. No. No. <laughs> not not in New York, where the majority of people have been, you know, <clears throat> innated. <clears throat> uh, the coof. <clears throat> yeah, Limit well, wow. Consider plotting out specific times when you will look for election updates. Wow. Breathe like Listen, a baby. We've got wow. so many fucking pussies <sighs> that aren't part of this culture. Woo! I'm I'm shocked that every time I walk, I leave the house. It doesn't stink like fish. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys take, can we can we take joy in the fact that that largely the people not on our side have to have an article written like that 
to dunk your face in some water and be like, yeah. you like, like, I, I don't care if we lose. I really don't. I, I try to get past the politics and just look at what fucking miserable lives the people live mm -hmm. where, you know, Trump okay. was, uh, was kind of a, a truly a middle of the road, uh, especially with his fiscal policy. As he was, right? he was like a '90s Democrat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah so, he, so, so he was he was a crass man who said crass things, and and they shit their freaking pants over this guy. And I'm like, you know, okay, if that's gonna hurt you, if this is gonna keep you up at night, mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't envy you. Could, you could win it all. You could absolutely win it all, and you're still gonna shit your pants at night. Because I don't know global warming or whatever, whatever you've been conditioned. So, I mean, yeah, obviously, I'd like to see the conservatives win and and uh, you know uh, the U.S. to continue yeah. on. But I think we should kind of look at a pretty big silver lining that these people are fucking miserable. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, guess and, what they, everyone, and misery loves company, so they want to try to spread that misery around. Everybody. Right, but but we're not we're we're saying. I mean that that's. We we do have our sanity, like you know. I I don't believe for a second Lizzo's hot, but there's there's probably some of those soy boys like, oh, should I should I breathe like a baby? Maybe it is wrong for me not to want to fuck Lizzo. You know, I, I oh, uh... oh god, <laughs> you so... can't even roller and climb to find the wet spot because you'd have to pick from like six. Right, right. Mm. And oh, I'm just god. like like okay, oh. if that's your if that's your your model. You know, in our day, we celebrated Jennifer Aniston. But if if you think Lizzo is hot, it's like I don't know. It, it's kind of over for you now. I I mean, I don't know if you want to be alive for the next fifty years thinking Lizzo's hot. I've been wondering that, when did that happen? When did we allow this? There was no we this, this see, that's, of morbidly no, no, heffalos to to co op the word <laughs> curvy. Yeah, yeah. No. curvy used to mean like Jennifer Aniston. Mm -hmm. No, you know, no. curvy. Now it used to mean like Ruben esque, right? Yeah, no, it's you know, the Loren, Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Well, yeah. Kirby now is refrigerator. Yeah. Well, mm. it's, curve. It, it's curve. It's just like a, yeah, a it, sphere. Yeah, they're outward curve. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you look at it, like that's kind of an insight into their utopia they're going to create. It, oh. It's kind of like, oh man. I mean, I've, have you guys been to San Francisco like in the past three years? No. No. It it's a shithole, literally a shit. I mean, there's oh, yeah. people defecating in the streets. I had to go there to go. Oh, get apps. The, um, they and have you apps. go what? Well, they have apps with a map that will actually yeah, map the poop the, the poop map heat map yep. feces on the sidewalk. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah, but just just it, I don't know. Can we rejoice in that? You got full grown adult Democrat shit in the streets. <laughs> we got you got morons in Minnesota. Minnesota. I don't know if you guys knew this. It's not as cold as uh, uh, Edmonton. Uh -huh. Minnesota does get very cold. The you have adult Democrats not shitting in the street yet because it's too cold. They well, live in tents and they are homeless in Minneapolis because they're too stupid to hop a bus down to Florida or Texas or something like that. <laughs> the, these are the people. That you could give them a million dollars of welfare. You could get it there. They are going to be so tortured and miserable. And so I, you know, I don't have kids. I don't really care which way the country's going. I, I vote Republican or Libertarian and, and all that. But just Amen. no matter what happens tonight, I like to, to kind of open a little, offer a little bit of hope. Like, you know, Nancy Pelosi is still an unfucked bitch. She's just still. <laughs> oh yeah, no. She hasn't had an orgasm, and Lord knows when. I mean, Acacio Cortez. I'm, I'm being. I'm not even joking about. I can know. you imagine the day to day chore it is to be Acacio Cortez? Like you don't know how to how a garbage disposal works. She is a square you, peg in a round hole. Yeah. Well, I, okay. If if you okay. Did you guys did square. you guys watch Tucker Carlson the other night, and he had Jason Whitlock on? No, yeah. I don't watch news, but uh, oh, um, Jason Whitlock! Oh God, I just I saw news. a clip of I saw a clip of it, and so he brings him on to talk about the Paul Pelosi thing, and <laughs> Whitlock says, right? He says, you know, I'm outraged for Nancy. I'm outraged for Nancy. Really? This woman, this woman, spent the hard-earned money she earned insider training. To buy a pair of cans at 82 years old, and she comes home on a Friday night to find her husband playing hide the hammer with some BLM guy. <laughs> 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 and Tucker's just trying not to laugh, right? 
Are you serious? She got new tits at 82? That's like putting a new those are her real in the house. Do, do you think those... You saw that You saw that photo of her on the beach in Italy? No, I think, didn't. And I don't want to. Do you think those are act, actually hers? No. No. Uh, no, wow. they're not. Yeah, no. And... Anyway, so uh, I was I was just like I I I I laughed so hard I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. I was like, is my <laughs> oh, we lost is Cappy. my is my suspected myocarditis? Yeah, we but yeah, no, it was. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Well, maybe he'll call back in. We'll see what's up. Yeah, when you have this many guests on, it's just a matter of time for some <laughs> stuff. <laughs> And we are talking about sensitive stuff, so like, hey, we're gonna get fucked. Yeah, yeah. you know how it goes. What are you gonna do? Uh, we do have some super chats that I can read here. Let's get through some super chats. Oh, they're still allowing you to monitor. They're still your allowing channel? you. It's amazing. I uh, know. We still got over nine hundred people watching just on YouTube. It's quite fantastic. Yeah. And uh, is this good. is from Dark Knight, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> that was <laughs> awful, man. Jesus. I know it's a flashback one there. God damn. <laughs> it's just you can't unsee walk. that. It is what it is. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what do we got here? Is, uh, do you oh. have to watch that in order to collect the money, though? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we got Mark says, I was going to name my band a Midnight Ballot Dump, but the name was already taken by the DC. <laughs> 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 nice. I nice. like it. Yeah. Uh, Mike says, playing War Thunder and listening to Pops. It's a good night. Winning. Yeah, I play War Thunder like two or three times a week. Oh, no. Oh, you, you, fu Jimmy, you fucking dick. What happened? Jimmy sent me the picture of Nancy Pelosi's jugs. You asshole. <laughs> Show everybody. No, I don't want it. No, no. Oh, oh, no do it. Do it. No, no. My dick just crawled no, back in my body like four inches. No. <laughs> it's trying to inch its way up like a tapeworm. No, no, thank you. <laughs> dick, dick worm. Get it right. Uh, yeah. Thump of the sweaty fat guy. MQT goes red and, and Marquette goes red and Alger goes blue. What the fuckery is up with that? Alger always goes red. Lager is my county. Uh, well, lo he was asking Lauren a question. How much in chat? Jiggle, jiggle. Mm. <laughs> I think they have a bit of a tit obsession. Now that I can point a finger. Uh, Laffy Moore super chat attempt number seven. My bank is being dumb. Will? At least you're here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the Gray shot an email. Can I? I can send you the launch draft mission statement PDF for the CISA, their own draft. Man, shoot it on over, man. It actually, they sent it to me. You did? I, okay. I forwarded it to my email, and I'm going to check it out. Okay. I'm going to do a video on it. I hey, think. Can sure. I just got to read the whole thing. Carl Jackson, I'm already at the break point. I don't want the heat, but I'm sure it's going to happen and won't be surprised. Lead and ready. Uh, Harry Paratesticles. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who wants to bet that the ice cream was made by McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. Yeah, the ice cream machines don't work half the time. Isn't it amazing how that works? Because it's racist. Yes, of course, especially in the Hispanic areas. Uh, success pool endeavors, not voting percents. It's ammo price fluctuations. Uh, LS420 Stoner looks like Granny Ivy's going to win to Alabama. I'm not much on politics, but sh if shit hits the fan, I sincerely hope Granny will work with other red governors to fight the overreach of blue feds. Mm. Amen to that. The DOJ has become completely just a politicized oh, yeah. at this point. Yeah, listen, you can't even hide it. Nope. Oh, it was it was politicized even under Trump. It was politicized against Trump. Yep. And, well, uh, the FBI shouldn't exist anymore. Well, you you look at you look at the 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 political makeup of the population of DC, which is the basically the talent pool that they're recruiting these federal employees, you know, from. Um, and it's like ninety percent Democrat. 
you know, yeah. like, and four percent voted for Trump the first time, and like five point six percent voted for him the second time. Right of the DC population, these yeah. are the people who populate all of these big federal departments, all, yeah, all the, no the head there. offices. Right? Yeah. There's, there's just like, there's, there's no way you can tell me that Trump was able to weaponize the Department of Justice or the FBI, yeah. right? Nope. But, but once once Biden got the the, the rubber stamp in Congress, it, it was just a free for all, right? Yeah. And it, it, well, anybody else have any uh, updates? Updates. Look. Well, I do have some on Gateway Pundit. I can tell you here. Let me do a quick refresh here to see if there's anything new. There is. J.D. Vance is now leading in Ohio. Hmm. Bud is up in North Carolina. Herschel Walker has taken the lead over the radical Marxist Warnock in Georgia. Brian yeah. Kemp has officially won as the Georgia governor. Stacey Abrams loses again. Will she concede this time? Don't know. <laughs> BOP not. has officially won enough seats to retake the House. Okay. Nice. No more nasty Pelosi as House Speaker. Uh, Greg Abbott has won re-election. He is the projected winner. Fuck Beto. Good. Oh. Well, that was expected. You know, yeah. but I mean, like a lot of these, a lot of these races, like Ooh. Stacey Abrams was leading earlier in the evening. And I'm like, well, that's because the early vote is mostly yeah. Democrat. And DeSantis won by 19 points. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Of course he did. <laughs> of course he freaking did. Sarah Huckabee Sanders wins election for governor in Arkansas. Yeah, well, you know, that was expected too. I mean, like it's it's I mean I'm 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 pleased about jd vance i'm pleased about herschel walker that they're leading right yep. um you know there are there are a bunch of uh wins that just were never in question like sarah sanders eh, she was always gonna win i mean there's the father-daughter thing and you know and mike huckabee was like a, a popular governor and so it, it's like and she has a high profile and you know and and a track record and of course she was going to get in yeah <clears throat> but uh, when you compare her to biden's new press secretary oh, oh god <laughs> <laughs> i love the meme they have out of her talking and the clown makeup on her face <laughs> oh, wow it looks like we're not going to be getting back cappy but we still have a couple of dudes hanging out backstage should we bring him in sure all right, fuck it. Let's bring it back. Yeah. Hey. What's going on, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I say, fuck it. Yep. <laughs> what a what a crazy ass night it is. And I know that we're all going to go to bed tonight, and some things might look like good news, and then there might be some waffle cones delivered. Yep. It is what it is. But the fact of the matter is. I am more than halfway through this jar of moonshine. Nice. Oh my god. Not that hot. can't be good. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. I'll be fine. I, uh. <laughs> uh, Michael Simmons says, I didn't vote because I forgot to do my research. I refuse to vote in rhinos and cowards. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. What have I been saying this entire freaking... I don't know. But I just got half a chub listening to you do that. <laughs> oh right. here we go what what have i been saying leading up to it okay why do the democrats win blue no matter who that's why nah. yeah. yeah dude yeah. i remember in 2008 i was just getting into the wedding game doing videography i was doing a wedding out in southfield in this hotel black couple they were nice their photographer was an asshole but at the end of the wedding, the groom literally takes the mic from the DJ, gets up on a chair, and starts shouting, vote your color, vote Barack Obama. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm filming him doing oh, this. And I'm like, oh, in about eight years, you're going to feel like a fucking idiot for doing this. <laughs> but here uh, I am. Right. Uh, what, what, I'm, what I'm saying, okay, and hear me out. If Liz Cheney had won her primary, I would tell you to th go to the polls, throw up in your mouth, and vote for her. Because she voted with Trump more than with Trump policies more than ninety percent of the time, 
I can't stand that bitch. I think she's a horrible person, she's right? Cold. She hates she oh. hates Trump with the hot, hot heat of a thousand suns, right? But and it's, and it's she, warm. She voted with his policies ninety percent of the time, which is better than a Democrat voting against his policies one hundred percent of the time. Okay, yeah. and she's not going to get any after what she did, right? She's not going to get any power in a Republican Congress other than to be an R-shaped bum on an R-shaped seat, ensuring that they have the power of the gavel and the power of the subpoena, right? Mm. And that's what you need. You need the majorities, right? Yep. In order to block Democrat legislation and in order to ha actually have real hearings into things that you really do. Does anybody, is anybody here curious about why Nancy Pelosi oversaw a Capitol Police board that posted 500 arm uh 500 officers without riot gear in regular uniforms to guard a three-foot fence on the most important day of the year when they were expecting 120,000 mega mega fascists to yep. yeah. descend on the capitol does anybody want her to be subpoenaed yeah and here, here's oh, another yeah. thing about nancy pelosi she literally has capitol police Guarding her property in fucking California. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yet somehow somebody in their underpants with a hammer was able to jump the fence, get through the safety glass, sneak past the arm well, security. Well, did, any, the did, any, did anybody notice? Hammer. Did anybody <laughs> notice that David DePage he was charged with burglary, <laughs> but he was not charged with break and enter. Nope. Because he did he didn't break, but he did enter. He showed up to hit the chocolate starfish and make the brown eye give somebody pink eye. That's right. He he that's came over exactly. to a stretch and Gretchen. Yeah. Uh, that's man. that's been my freaking theory all along. Listen. It was a it was a grinder date gone gone sideways <laughs> when the tape when yeah, the tape yeah. started rifling through Nancy's jewelry drawers. <laughs> oh my right? god. Oh, wow. Nancy! By the way, update, Colorado, Bennett, this is the Senate seat. Bennett is 56.1, Democrat, O'Day, 41.6. You have Florida already obviously in. Demings, 41. Rubio, 57. Georgia, Warnock, 48. To Walker, 49. Ooh. Woo. I'm glad somebody's paying attention. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just shooting the shit now. No, no worries. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, Dark oh, Pegasus says I should put pop in black and white to tell people to please stand by. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Polska Bob, Karen wants to know, uh, Karen, when are you going to start doing vids again? No, oh, fuck. That's not Someday. what he asked. <laughs> Day. Somewhere. Someday. No, Karen, do you live outside Toronto? It's no, I... I live in Edmonton, Alberta. I live like uh, I live basically uh, five hundred kilometers north of Bozeman, Montana. How the uh, hell did I get here? She, she <laughs> means three hundred miles, of course. <laughs> Hamster, but, you've yeah. been here. You shit eating newspaper <laughs> bastard. Uh, I had to go get some beer because this is quite exciting. So, uh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Karen Strong. Good Woo. to talk to you. Wonderful to meet you finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know why we haven't met yet. Well, I, you know, I just hear you haven't been doing videos, so you know what I'm saying. Well, Karen, are you up to be on our show in the future? Oh, please do, yes. Yeah, I mean, Karen is doing videos or just on Pornhub? <laughs> oh, Karen Strong's got Pornhub? No way. <laughs> I heard it was OnlyFans. All right. Only fans. Only fans. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, the arms got so spindly they could. They could <laughs> I heard that it was hard to it was hard to handle six inches on my shoulder. <laughs> arm. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, are you talking about my spindly little girl arms? Well, it's okay. Anyway. It just makes guys feel like it looks bigger. Um, yeah, no, I would. I would be happy to be on with you guys in the future because it would keep from having to make my own videos. Well, I'm sure. going to tell you there this, you Karen. Ever since you were on our stream the last time, hugging while twerking has become part of our cultural <laughs> vernacular. <around. laughs> Quality. Because that is the funniest that's, shit ever. That's comedy gold right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. excellent. That's excellent. I liked it. 
because like my dog, you know, she's not even two, just a little over. And uh, my son decided to get one of those squishmallows things. You know, he, he uses uh-huh. his pillows and it looks like uh, the, the cowardly lion. He calls it Francis. And it's it was laying around downstairs. All of a sudden I look over and my dog is hugging while twerking Francis. Oh, no. Mm. And my, my, my boy is like, what's she doing? I was like, I don't know. She'll stop as soon as she comes. <laughs> wow. By the way, uh, oh, another update. Oh, We've got Pennsylvania Fetterman at 50.4 uh, and Oz at 47.1. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Le- the gap is closing, mm. Mr. Johnson. What, is, uh, what does Karen think about this crazy shit we do in the USA? Um, is it the same up in Canada or what? <laughs> it's worse. Oh, is it oh, worse? Way, way worse, worse. Way worse. Way well, worse. At least you, no, at least you get no. midterm elections. God. Well, I mean, you have to elect uh, Justin Trudeau for like what six years or what is it? (laughs) Oh no, no, we have we uh no, it's it's every four years unless there's a snap election called. So we can, if there's a vote of no confidence in the parliament, then uh, a snap election has to be called to determine who's going to lead the country. Right, so that can happen like a year after somebody's into power. Yeah. So I mean, if that's like uh, that enough, is that though. is that similar to like Great Britain where they just toss yep. what's her face out? Yeah. In yeah. Canada? Well, okay. no. I mean, I don't know whether they called a snap election or whether they she just resigned. Um, you know, like you can always resign, and then there's an election called. Then or they, okay. Or if you if you put forward if you're a, a, a prime minister and you put forward a piece of legislation and you basically tell the other members of parliament you vote for this or it's a vote of no confidence and usually that happens with budgets and things like that right a Actually, vote of no I, I, i'll uh, jump in on there because liz trusts uh she resigned right she stepped down in a parliamentary system if you do that then the party in power gets to uh, decide who their leader is going to be so there was no yes. election there was nothing of that yeah. going well, on there was she a, just happened to be the one there was an election within the party members. Correct, members correct, but not a, sure. not a general election. No. So parliamentary system is a little weird that way. And then, yeah, so you can have a succession of prime ministers, but none of them were elected by uh, by general election. It's crazy, and that well, and that's what we, okay. that's a lot what we got going on up here. Well, look at look at look at um, Justin Trudeau uh, in the last election. I think um, exactly. I think the the in his the only people the only like uh canadian citizens other than like party members in the leadership race you know leadership election for the party the only people who actually voted for him i think it was just like fifty thousand people Mm -hmm. Hmm. and he's in charge of the whole country yeah so it was just fifty thousand people in his riding wow all right that's it so you guys vote for the i'm sorry go ahead you you have to okay so you have every uh, there's an MP for every riding. The prime minister is a member of parliament. Okay. He is also the leader of his party, and whoever, whichever party gets the most seats, the leader of that party becomes prime minister. And so Justin Trudeau only actually got elected by fifty thousand Canadian voters, hmm. um, it, because he won his riding of Papineau, Quebec, right? Or whatever yeah. the fuck it is, right? And uh, and he, like the the Conservative Party of Canada, um, they won the popular vote, the last election and the one before that, and lost and and they had had an excruciatingly low number of seats. Um, yeah. So it's it's like it's it's a really kind of messed up system and. You know, like what what should have happened is uh, when Trudeau invoked the Emergencies Act to get rid of that Ottawa protest. Um, what should have happened is Jugmeet Singh should have said, "No, I'm not going to whip my party to uh, ratify your invocation of that law, your illegal uh, invocation of that law, right?" Um, but Trudeau said if you don't vote for this because he's leading a minority government right now, 
if your party doesn't vote for this, then I'm going to call a snap election and the NDP aren't too popular right now. So you can't, your party can't afford it. You're going to lose seats if there's an election held right now. So Jugmeet Singh, the leader of the NDP, whipped his party to vote to ratify that invocation, illegal invocation of that legislation. And um, then just before you have to have, I think it's seven days, something like that, uh, to before it has to be ratified by the House of Commons, and then it has to go up to the Senate two, two days later and be ratified by them. And right after it was ratified by the House of Commons, Justin Trudeau revoked it and said, oh, oh, well, it's done, so it doesn't have to go to the Senate, because he knew the Senate would say no, right? You yeah. really, this this was done illegally, right? Wanted to and, jump uh, in really quick here, if you guys don't mind. Um, <clears throat> Arizona, the one to watch right now. Arizona, Hobbs is 57. This, again, that. is for the yep. governors. Hobbs is 57. Lake is 42, which is really shocking right now. Um, you've got the House. Out. They're first in, uh, first say out. That again. Arizona is a first in, first out state. So they count the mm -hmm. votes that came in first. They came right. first. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and we're at 50% right now. But weren't they having problems with the voting machines? Yes, they were. Yes. Uh, I've got a few more on Arizona. So District 1, District one is Hodge, 56. Uh, Republican uh, Schwakehart is 43. Uh, again, O'Halloran and Crane, you've got O'Halloran, however that's pronounced, O'Halloran, 49, oh, oh. Uh, Crane, 50. So Republican leads there. District 3, it's updating on me. Uh, Gallego is 80. Zinc, Republican, is 19. District 4, Stanton, 62. Cooper, 37. Again, Republican, I'm reading second. Uh, District 5, Ramos, 45, Biggs, 47. You've got uh, District 6, Ingle, 57, uh, Kiskamani, 42. District 7, I can't even pronounce that, Grijalvi, uh, 70, and Pozzolo, 29. And then in the Senate, jumping over there, we've got Arizona, Kelly, 58, and Masters, Republican, 39. It is not looking good in Arizona right now. Gee, hmm. I wonder why. Could it yeah, be? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, how could it be possible? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Carrie well, Lake it, is ahead it, in every poll for the last few months. Yep. Yeah. It, it would, it would, it, if Arizona is counting early votes and mail in ballots first, right? And then they're yep. getting the uh, the ballots cast in person on election day afterwards you could see because democrats are overwhelmingly more likely to vote early or vote by mail than republicans these days yep hmm. yep so, yep. right you know that could turn around that could actually turn around that's so. another thing we need to get we need to get rid of is this whole mail-in vote voting early. bullshit if you now, can't take your ass down to the fucking polls, just hmm. eat a bag of dicks. Oh, I, I, I can see, I can see, I can see having three days, right? Because not everybody can take the time off on a Tuesday. Like, right? Why isn't election day a national it's holiday? So everyone it can. should be. It should be. It yeah. should be. But but you still have people who have to work in hospital. We'll have people who have to like. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, like, you know, it's so stretch it out over three days, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right? Very close to the end so that everybody has had a chance to, so that I mean, there's no such thing. There's early voting starting end of September. There's such thing as an October surprise. Uh, and uh, fuck, what did I bet there's an urban dictionary for October surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. especially if you stretch it. Like, oh fuck, who did I vote for? When mm -hmm, when you have exactly. early voting starting in Pennsylvania uh, at the end of September, September twenty nine, something like that, and the debate, the mm -hmm. one debate is October fifth. Right, that's a yeah. month. That's a month of voting. Well, that's, that's a like, that's a month of bullshit that they could spew yeah, garbage, right? You know, Karen. 
Yep. They, they put out all these ads about and, this and Herschel Walker doing that and blah, blah, blah. Right. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. Are you guys interested in and the it's, uh, it's, the it's Senate and how that's turning out so far? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Be all right. Right now, Alabama is leading Republican, Arkansas, Republican, California, Democrat, of course, California, of course. special Democrat, Colorado, Democrat, <laughs> Florida, uh, Republican, Illinois, uh, Illinois uh, <laughs> is Democrat, <laughs> Indiana, Republican, Iowa, Republican, Kansas, Republican, Kentucky, Republican, Louisiana, Republican, yep. Maryland, Louisiana. Democrat, Louisiana, Republican. Uh, Act Chambers is 16. Kennedy is 64. You've wow. got Missouri, Republican, uh, yep. New York, Democrat. Yep. Shocking. North Dakota, Republican. Oklahoma, Republican. Oklahoma special Republican. South Carolina, Republican. South Dakota, Republican. And Vermont, Democrat. That's the yeah. Senate race so far. Unfortunately, yeah. John Thune is a rhino it's from hell. But uh, Fuck. yeah, <clears throat> so was his last. Uh, I, I actually met Tom Daschle, uh, who was the he was evil. He was <laughs> <laughs> back in 1981. He was terrible back in the day. Yeah, well, I was a kid, like 17, maybe something like that. Yeah, so, I wasn't born yet. Wow. Well, I, what he did was <laughs> that he did this. Yeah, I know, right? He did this uh, town to town, you know, meet and greet the voter kind of shit. He was running for uh, Congress at the time. Didn't your ex do that? A meet and greet? M -E -E -E? Oh, she liked to do that a lot. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, she hey, wasn't hey, even a redhead. Man. <laughs> Motherfucker. It was like this. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't believe New Mexico is a Democrat. That's insane. Fuck New Mexico. Yeah. New Mexico is a beautiful place to live, too. It's wonderful. And yeah. they oh, yeah. Democrat quite a while ago, though. Oh, yeah. 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 It's been a while. Yeah. yeah I, I fought in New Mexico like half a dozen times. Really? Yeah. Like doing know. army shit or? Oh, it's kickboxing. Oh, kickboxing. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What, Albuquerque or Santa Fe or where'd you go? Uh, Albuquerque. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not bad. What do you say we uh, read some super chats? Yeah, I'm going to do YouTube. that. So we got uh, success pool endeavors. When ballots fail, bullets sail. <gasps> I've been saying that historically. Yeah. That's just the way to, uh, the way it rolls, man. Yeah, the <laughs> Canadians can't do that though, unfortunately. No. At this point, yeah. oh, I, I've got a friend, so yeah, she knows people. Karen knows people, yeah. and she can drink them all into the table. Mm. Hell yes. Uh, Twenty-five-year-old grandpa incel says the time for measured arguments is over. Stop cooking. Yep. Hey, I can't uh, can't say they're wrong. Mark from Tinder, there is no point in owning guns if you're not going to use them. The gun owner protest here in Richmond, Virginia showed that. Republicans must grow a damned spine. Well, I'm not I'm not going to say he's wrong there, but uh, no. we are, we're not at the uh, direct action stage. No. And having crowds of people willy-nilly, you know, they're going to get hammered. You literally are going to have to um, get people who know what they're doing you're going to have to ramp them up, start training people. I mean, uh, I'm not going to go through all the details. I literally went to school for this. I know how the whole thing works. Yep. We got a $100 donation from John. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Thank you. Thank he you. He says it is a time to kill. Well, well I hope not. Nah, I hope for not everyone too. else is sick. Brian Rodney says, no audio on Rumble. Sorry, bro. Reload it and hope for the best. I can't do anything for you. Uh, Demaster12, to use a joke from Razor Fist, Necro Nancy Pelosico's Pelas period was in the Cretaceous. She thinks a platform is what the villagers burned her on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hardcore, That's man. some good shit. We are uh, Troy the man, Lauren Bobert is losing in Colorado. I hope the Dems don't take that seat. Yeah, Bobert's awesome. She better not Bob lose that seat. Well, Colorado's been heavy on the propaganda here, calling her crazy and shit. So oh, fuck Colorado. Yeah. Well, I live well, here. Pretty much. Agreed. Yeah. I know. Just just herd everybody into the Coors Brewery and let them all drink themselves to death. Where the hell did uh, Bobert come from? Like Castle Rock or where was she from? Out west somewhere. Uh, right? Is Castle Rock a fictional Stephen King place? Yeah. No, that was no, Estes no, Park. No, it's real. <laughs> That's oh, a Stanley Hotel. 
I thought it was just a movie company or <laughs> no, Estes Park is where they, they base the shining on. Right. I've been and there I, several times. I have too. I have some pictures, Blake. I can send you that and some MP3s. Right. I know you love those. You got the shit in. You mean shining? Shh, you want to get sued? <laughs> <laughs> you know, while, while we mentioned that subject, Pop, I have a bet with somebody in the chat about the shining. Okay. All right. What do we got? Okay. Good. Shelly Duvall yes. in the shining. Yes. Pop, what is your number? Oh, God. <laughs> Do I need to put a picture of her on screen so you can remember what no, she I looks know what she like? Lo I remember what she just looked like. Can I it's vote? It's a four. Give her a four. I'd give her about a six. I was going. I thought she was cute. Five. A five. Right. Yeah, Pulse right. Five. Pulse kebab, you you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pop. Thank you. I'm telling you, man, like you put your dick in that woman's mouth, you're just putting your life in God's hands, like. I just covered that for the, the you know head heart migration when you're young and you really have no concern. That's when you have to worry about. No, it's, it's like syndrome. trying to get a blowjob from one of those wind up teeth that you let go. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Right. So, yes. back to Boberg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jimmy Blake. Bones says she's from Rifle, Colorado. She okay, had a yep. restaurant. Yep. It got shut down by the Coof, and waitresses were allowed to open carry at work. I, I'm not, not going to say that's a bad idea. Good. There you go. You, you want to know something hilarious, though? You mentioned Shelly Duvall. She's returning to acting after like 20 some odd fucking years. Why did she, wow. why did she stop? She just retired. Oh, okay. Of course, if I worked for Stanley Kubrick and I had to do 127 takes of the same fucking scene, I might consider it too. <laughs> but I mean, didn't she do like the Popeye movie with Robin Williams as well? She I did think indeed. She did. Yes. Yes, yep. she did. I remember that one. I thought she was all right. You know, good actress, apparently. Well, she's a good actress. Oh, so don't yeah, get yeah. me wrong, but she's... Boy, you should look her up now. Oh. No. She well, is a, uh, yeah. She's yeah. a put-a-bag-over-her-head kind of woman. I'm just <laughs> I mean, I was ugly 30 years ago, and I'm even worse now, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> got a face for radio and a voice for print, right? Oh, uh, not even better for radio anymore, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of which, I heard he won his little uh, competition. He did. Oh, no oh shit. did he? Yes. Oh, great. Oh, yes. Yeah, and we did a little plug for him. We had it on several of our shows. Hopefully that helped out. It was Bad like ass, a 200 man. grand the thing, and he was going to set up some kind of uh, men's retreat. So that's great. It's fantastic. Oh, the race was called oh, yeah. for Jeannie Vance in Ohio. All oh, right. Oh. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another one. Bridget Fonda now. Oh, my mm. God. Oh my mm. gosh, she's we put fat. that on one of our streams. Did you have back you in the day though? Yeah, hey. Oh my gosh, well, she's you know, Richard Fonda back in the days of like Point of No Return mm -hmm. and, and Jackie Brown. Ugh. Bridget Fonda now. She, that woman pulled the pin on two fat grenades. I, I Point of No Return was a really good movie though. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, that's that's a good flick. I like it. Yeah, that's a good movie. It's and, based uh, on La Femme yeah. Nikita, the French yeah. film. Yeah, those Frenchies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. and Pillarods in that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Um, Jackie Brown, very underrated. Mm. Jackie Brown's fucking awesome. Hmm. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. Is that a Quentin Tarantino movie or what oh, is it's it? Tarantino movie. Sam Jackson's in it. Robert De Niro. Uh, oh, really? Robert Forster got an Oscar nomination for it. Bridget Fonda's in there too. Uh, Chris Tucker gets shot, doesn't die well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's from like the mid 90s, 94, 95. Yeah. Probably even early 90s. Yeah. Uh, the movie. Birthday. Yep. I birthday? think uh, Bridget Fonda's Point of No Return was 1990. Ah. Oh, God. There it is right here. Get huh? ready. Huh? The wall defeats them all. Oh, hang on. Here it comes. Oh, I'm going to put up on no. the screen here. Hang oh, on. Oh, fuck no. no. I got to put no. up on the screen. Hang on. Here comes the solo layout. No. Let me just have my memories. Oh. No. Oh. No. What? That is a goddamn shame, man. Mm. Oh, she stole your shirt. Yeah, she did. <laughs> fuck. She did. Oh, God no. Damn. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, going, no. How the mighty have no. but, it, but here's the thing. <laughs> um, women out there literally believe that they are going to be young and desirable till the day they fall off the fucking planet. You know, yeah. not. there was a time when I would have said there's no way that anybody could possibly believe that. But just recently, I saw this chick who has an OnlyFans who thought, well, I'm mm. just getting yeah. hotter every year. I'm just so getting hotter every year. All the time. Hotter until I'm like 72. I'm like, that's yeah, not how no. it works. What? <laughs> now, like, for instance, um, if a woman wants mm -hmm. to keep a man into old age 
Mm. She's going to have to change the way she fucking operates because bringing just a vagina to the equation is not going to work when they get older. Because once the vagina dries up, you have to have a personality that you can connect with. Yeah, Mm. yeah. it's not just personality. I mean, you got to get along with them. They got to bring some shit to the table. Yeah, like I, I, like I'm gonna be doing this some comedy videos where I'm gonna be like putting together a comedy list of shit that you need to immediately fucking get the hell out of the area. What was that line from? It's like if they don't bring anything to the table but sex, you just have sex with them on the table, exactly. and then you fucking <laughs> oh geez, here we go. Yeah. I exactly am just I starting to get to enjoy that period in my life. So I am 35. Uh, 35. A lot of the women, a lot of the women my age, uh, partook in the only fan shenanigans and all of a sudden they're depressed and lonely and have all these anxiety no. issues and nobody will pay to see them nude and they can't keep a job. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? That just recently <laughs> there was a chick who posted on TikTok that she's like, well, after only making like two, like $250 in two years, I have to go back to work at home. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Just imagine uh, how big of a ego hit that has to be where you're putting yeah. your 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 fucking clam hatch out there on social media. And like, oh, no, I'm good. John, I gotta write that down. I'm good. Clown ha- clam hatch. Clam, clam hatch. hatch. Clam hatch. Yeah. Clam hatch. Oh, yeah. Exactly yeah. signing up for here when you you tell us like, oh, by the way, I have an OnlyFans. Oh, okay. So you're a clownfish hanging out in a bed of sea cucumbers. <laughs> oh <Christ>. God. <laughs> yeah, nice. I, I, sign me up. <laughs> mm, uh, I, 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 I want some of whatever Blake's down. drinking. You can remember that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I can't remember much of anything. <laughs> no, I can remember stuff. I just have a hard time converting short term to long term memory. That's All right. the, that's where my problem is. See, so that's the, like the difference between pre and post nut clarity. Yeah, well, if you're what's put... what's bad is when you have current nut clarity <laughs> when you're in the middle of, of going to town on a check oh, and you're like, no. what am I doing? Oh, my that's God. a bad oh, thing. Man, oh. if I just go faster, I could get this over with. <laughs> Or, or you just pull a pop and bolt. Abort, <laughs> just oh, bolt. The aircraft is on fire. <laughs> Arizona is pissing me off here. 57 to 42. What is what? it? I'm hoping that turns around, but uh, okay, I don't know how like, Carrie Lake is even behind at this point. There's no I, uh, fucking way. No sense. fucking way that's legit. No, I that, think that's what it says right now. I just updated it. Yep. I'm just I telling think- you, there's no fucking way that's legit. I, I, think, I think it might turn around because... I, like in 2020, uh, somebody that I, I, you know, s- sort of trust to know what he's talking about said that Arizona is a first in, first out state, right? Which means that they count all of, they count the ballots in the order that they arrive. So first in, first right, out right, isn't right, like sure. the best place to be in a gangbang? The worm pile? <laughs> what? <laughs> First and what first it, it's like that's oh, where you shit. want to be. Oh, it, no, but what it what it means is they count all of the early they count all of the early and mail in ballots first, and those are heavily weighted towards Democrats because Democrats overwhelmingly vote by mail in yes. and vote early. That's right. So you're yes. telling yes. Democrats are too lazy to leave what? the house. There is so, a but here. Remember who's overseeing the election. I, I'm, I know, and the Maricopa mm-hmm. County freaking machine malfunctions and all of that. Ooh, we <laughs> entered the password too many Finally. times. Finally. Yeah, but, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Password unlocked. But um, <laughs> anyway, speaking of women's personalities... Uh, I was up at, I was, I, I was up at, I was up at 3.15 a.m. to make coffee for my husband because he had like a hella freaking like 14 hour day of like work to do. Yeah. And, uh, and then I, uh, I, I have to be up at 3.40 tomorrow in the morning to, uh, Make him coffee and Jesus. and put put food in his food slot. <laughs> it's so food. it's like you're trying to figure out ways to say these things that are not going to trigger my thinking. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I'm Extra. just Blake is here. I need to make sure that I'm phrasing this correctly. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, Karen, I, you know, Karen, what I do you do... usually make for the uh, the old man? Like eggs and stuff, or what? Oh no, he can't eat eggs. They'll kill him. Oh really? Oh oh yeah, good. no lots of. Them? No, lots lots of things will kill him. No um, shit. The, 
Yeah, no, the list of foods that he can eat is shorter than the list of foods that he can't eat. Oh, mm. shit, man. So, Damn. Yeah. That so, sucks. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming to bed. Oh, so, that that but, was an end for Blake. <laughs> but, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, no, so I... Okay, so what did I cook him today? I cooked him roasted potatoes, carrots, and onions mm. with herbs, uh, mm. freeze-dried herbs, and uh, and Why some say herbs. There's herbs. a fucking H in it. Okay, yeah. herbs <laughs> with herbs. Okay, and uh, and with uh, pork chop, mm. right? Tomorrow I'll probably cook him vegetable medley rice fresh this mm. is for breakfast lunch and dinner i cooked him this today oh okay for wow. tomorrow i'll probably cook him a vegetable medley basmati rice with um with uh some tilapia fillets or something like that but yeah no he can't have anything processed it just it just like mm. yeah it, it puts him in anaphylaxis and then it's like and and then his like immune system spins like three weeks yeah. happily attacking his liver and spleen and God damn. it's yeah no it's oh, like shit. super Jesus. fun fuck super that fun. boy yeah i i i diagnosed him really it was yeah it was like 10 years doctors were like "Ooh, just can't figure it out yeah and uh, and i went i went googling and then uh and he went into the doctor and said i think it's this and she said Oh, we don't really try people who try and diagnose themselves on Google. And then she looked at <laughs> yeah, she was like, as oh. the doctors look on Google. She was like, "Oh my God, I think this is it." Yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, isn't that what uh, like Jordan Peterson had as well? He had some kind of weird. Yeah, his kid. Autoimmune yeah, thing. Yeah. Autoimmune. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. So yeah, he it's, just, it's got just like. <laughs> A dope of some type. Well, uh, he, he was got, on fentanyl and meth or something. I'm kidding. No, no, no. He was on benzodiazepam. Dix. <laughs> no, he was. Quick a, he update. Was on... uh, we've got Benzo... Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Uh, Shapiro is, and this is the governor's race. Uh, Shapiro is 54. Mastriano is 43. So it is close. Senate for the same state is coming in at Fetterman 49. Oz forty eight, so that is really oh, close. Harrowing. I just yeah. can't believe it's this close when they have tumor neck. Well, they, they didn't fortify in Pennsylvania, so we're probably going to see this take three or four days because you know we need to do it right. Yeah, but mm. as well, keep in mind the debate is what changed everybody's minds in the polls, right? Oh, yeah. the debate happened a month into early voting. Yeah, he he makes Joe Biden seem. Like there were 1.5 million votes already cast in Pennsylvania by the time that debate happened, and what? and I'm the poll started putting laws Don't in the vote for me. Well, so. here's another thing. I'm not ripping on the guy because he has a stroke. What I'm ripping on the guy for is this: you have to have the fucking integrity to go. Hey, I can't do the job. Exactly. Yeah. Like when yeah, I re when sure. I medically retired out of the army, I literally was in the general's office and he said, pop, look me in the eye and tell me you can still do the job. And I was like, he goes, I guess we're done here. And I'm like, Roger that. Yeah. And, and, well, and, you can drink and talk shit. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I, I can't like, you know, carry the rucksack and go up to do the crazy shit. Cause I was having all kinds of headaches and whatever. Yep. And it just is what it is. And you just got to have the integrity to go, Hey, you know, it is. this is what yeah. the job requires. Yeah. I'm kind of effed up. I can't really do it. Time go. to bow out and do something else. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's for, forgetting it's about, about, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Forgetting that's, about no, him. No, what about his wife? Why isn't his wife saying, you know what? You need to take care of yourself. We should drop out of this race. hungry and she, she only married money. him because oh, she was connected. Oh, she's money hungry for sure. Oh, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Also, like, for those interested in the, yeah. the House, uh, we have, of the district reporting so far, we have six that are going Republican, five that are going Democrats. So it is very close in Pennsylvania for the House as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're going to fortify that one with some waffle cones. Probably. Uh, all right. I'm 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 going to go. It oh. is time for me oh, to say Karen. that I can no longer do the job. You have to go talk to a manager. 
Oh. And, uh, I have to ask, has it been really difficult the last two and a half years being no. named Karen? No. no <laughs> I, I actually don't mind the meme at all. Okay, and, I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, well I mean, you just, you you're not to... like the, 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 the dog that gets hit by the rock and yelps, you know? It's like if no, you no. throw a rock into a pack of dogs, the one that yelps is the one you hit. You have one of the best senses of humor of anybody I've ever known, and yep. we love you for that. And she throws oh. rocks back. Yes, yeah, absolutely. She's, Big rocks, even only, bigger rocks. Only, only when they're deserved. So. <laughs> only when they're deserved, and they usually come back smelling like alcohol. There you Ooh. go. So Ooh. anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, wake up at three forty in the morning. Oh fuck! Ouch. Yeah. So. Well, I appreciate you dropping in even more then. Since All you have to right. Get well, you Thank guys you have so have a good night, everybody. We love you, Karen. You yeah, take nice care. talking to you. Karen. Great to see you, Karen. Thank Just you. Get together sometime for sure. Yeah, right. see you again. yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. All right, bye bye. Good bye night. Bye. Ah, Mr. Vom Bomb. So, Bom. unchained uh, Canadian communist up there. Uh, <laughs> gonna, no, don't gonna, get me started. Gosh. I was, I was going to ask uh, Karen and you about this particular thing, but the Communist Party was pretty big up in Alberta and Saskatchewan, like uh, somewhere in the 70s, I think. Right? Yep. Or am I wrong? Nope. No, no. Uh, actually, if you're going to talk socialism, it was way back in the day. Uh, mm. The whole uh, socialism movement kind of came out of the farmers more than anything else. That's right. Oh. Yes. And uh, and it moved its way. And in fact, the the uh, the third party that we have up here, the New Democratic Party, has its roots in that. Well, they're now, fucking socialists. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I, now, no. more more recently up here, Alberta would be your one province up here that is as, as far right as you can go in Canada, for sure. Uh, really? Yeah. Mostly conservative parties up until very, very recently. Uh, what's happening is what you're seeing down there as well is that urban votes are swinging things further left. And so oh, yeah. you talk yeah. to anybody in rural Alberta and they all have their guns. They're ready to do whatever. But it's like. In the cities, it's it's all it's the same thing that you see there. Is it very very left leaning? Want to be taken care of? Ask the government for help for everything instead of solving your own problems. So exactly the same kind of thing happening. But if you're going to be, I mean, I live in this province for a reason. It's it's as it's as far right as you can get in this country, <laughs> which well, unfortunately is about here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Although, it's although, like, although, like I told these guys when I went down to California, California is a, is further left. There, there's, there's no doubt. The California is no fucked. No yeah. dude, that's what it's all about. Yep. Yeah. A boot. yeah for sure. But I mean, British Columbia is like really fucking left, right? Oh, dude. Well, so British Columbia is the California equivalent, right? It's coast, mm, yeah. uh, dope smokers, mountains. It's the same thing. They're just, they're just homeless camps everywhere. It's, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, I don't know what it is about the geography that does that, but it is what it is. Well, you you don't get that cold. I think is the biggest thing. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I was well. just uh, I was just there this summer uh, doing the job, uh, doing some forest firefighting stuff, and uh, I could not believe the number of homeless people that were in town, just camped out everywhere, and it was just crazy. I think you're right. Climate plays a, a part of that because it's warm enough there; they can hang out all year. I mean, because when I was a kid, like in Florida, uh, I was like at Pasco County or Pinellas County down there. I mean, you drive by the fucking Wind Dixie, there'd be people in their station wagons camped out. It just, yeah. it was crazy because yeah. it never gets cold. You don't have to freeze to death. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a growing problem. It's getting noticeable. Uh, it's getting more and more all the time, even around here in town. It's crazy. Yeah. Same in Austin, Texas and, and Denver, for God's sake, Red Pill. You know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, the problem in BC in particular is you got Chinese putting their money into the mm. housing economy, and then they don't rent they don't rent it out to the locals. Mm. They just sink their money really? into the house. Yeah, oh, so yeah. there's a lot yeah, of. Yeah. I think they're actually trying to pass stuff so that they don't have all these properties that are sitting essentially knows. abandoned. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's, it's, so it's they true. buy them and they don't use them just to have well, them? Well, no. it's a way of uh, laundering money out of China, right? Oh, if you can yep. get real estate there, it, it's, it extracts the, uh, the the value of the money out. And so it, you can park it there. Yeah, that's a, it's a big concern for sure. Yeah. I think I heard something about that where the Chinese government doesn't let you take money out. But you, if you do certain things, is that kind of what you're talking about? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm no expert on. Uh, I'm no I'm expert either. on money laundering in China, but uh, from what I understand, uh, like Billy was saying there, yeah, there's a significant amount of uh, real estate, and I can't say how much, uh, but there's a significant amount of real estate that's definitely uh, foreign owned, especially in Vancouver, because that's right on the west coast, right? There's entire uh, suburbs of Vancouver where you will not see one English sign as you drive down. It's all Chinese completely. Mm. Huh. Wow. Really. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like up in Minnesota, you get up into Minnesota. like the Austin area where they make spam. I'm sure you've heard of that. Hormel Foods <laughs> yeah. is up there. Like spam. They have the the language is la actually in Spanish. They yeah. don't even bother with English. It's wow. all Spanish up there. Yeah. Because of the uh, immigrants, I illegal. Yeah. By the way, hey, are there any more updates? Um, working on it right now. Arizona is still Democrat uh, led right now. See, Eric Schmidt wins Missouri by 16 points. Yep. Imagine that. The the Bush and... vagina did not win. <laughs> Good. Yep. yep. And uh, JD Vance has officially called it in Ohio. Apparently, Trump back yep. JD Vance wins U.S. Senate race in Ohio. You guys, uh, can I ask a question of the entire panel? Anybody can answer this one. I'm curious to get your impression uh, as the Canadian asking you guys and watching sure, this from afar. Yeah. Um, you know, we've all watched the deep state work and uh, and make its machinations happen behind the scenes. If, in fact, we get a red wave here, it looks like you're definitely uh, Republicans are going to take the House. They might even take the Senate. It's definitely mm. going to change the balance of power as far as it looks like up here. But do you think no. that it'll actually change anything? No. Not really. No. 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 Because no. 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 they don't have any fucking balls. If they have yeah. some balls, I'd love right. to see them. I would love That's to right. see the Republicans actually take a stick and knock loose at least one fucking testicle that they can nope. share among themselves to maybe do something fucking uh, that needs to be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, from what the left has done, you really can't. There's no coming across the aisle with them. Yeah. No. So, like, quite literally, it, it, it's, I mean, we, it's a big fucking clusterfuck. Nothing is getting done. It's only getting worse. And like I said earlier, if there isn't a major thing to turn this around, it's going to end in bloodshed. Mm -hmm. It could be right. two years from now. It could be 20 years from now. But it's going to happen if we don't fucking fix it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, I don't want it to happen, but I'm just I don't either. You know. be, be, because, I mean, the reason I asked the question is I feel like I'm uh, sitting with a bunch of guys watching the game. You know, we're watching the game and stuff. And yeah. I, I'm just like, yep. does this mean as much as a football game does, which is to say nothing? I mean, it's fun to cheer for your team and everything. But and, you know, I clearly it's got to make some difference somewhere. And I think I think it does. But, you know. How much it, does. It, it seems like we're being entertained. The one hand is going like this, but what's the other one doing? I you know, know. like I, I just kind of makes me wonder what's what's really going on, right? Yeah, just like a sixty-nine, and then you know, all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's a seventy-one. You got two fingers up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Soccer. Basically, oh, yeah. um. I mean, you must think up. about this stuff a lot, Blake. I'm sorry. What? 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 what, what, what? <laughs> I, I'll say it again. I want some of whatever Blake's drinking, man, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I agree well, with that. I'm like three quarters down in this moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> How big was that jug? Like a gallon of fucking moonshine? What are you doing here? You oh, can okay. see that. Like, here's my hand. It's only a quart. Here's you the moonshine. Pussy. We, we, we don't uh, need a, a graph. We, we need another graph stick. here for like where Blake is on his consumption level. So we yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is 750 milliliters. Yeah. Yeah. You're not driving home, are you? No. I have to. Uh, but oh, I've, been, no. I've been drinking this over the course of like four hours. So I think. All right. Okay. Well, you can always rack well, I'd be I'd be passed out on the floor by this point. What are you saying? No, no. Pop is the one who gets drunk during Rango Tango and then pulls the dog bed up under Rango his Tango? Like, I can't do it, man. No, 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 I can't no. do it. Dude, I had to drink an, you know, a lot of alcohol that day because that subject was so disturbing. It's a good yeah. thing I wrote the entire script for you so you didn't have to worry about it so much. You just had so to you can write, Blake. That's great. <laughs> well, yeah, that I can read, too. Son of a bitch. Well, he, is, of a bitch. he is an English major, so come on. Really? Wow. Yeah. Mom's an English major. Where'd you go? U of M? Or where no, I went go? to Oakland University. Yep. Ooh. Opted to. Yep. I graduated in what, 96, something like that? 2008. Yeah. And you got the asshole degree, Pop. We know that. 
<laughs> he's got a degree for his asshole. Yes, he's got a degree in finance. He knows what the fuck's going on with that shit. Right? <laughs> well, you would think, but uh, yeah. yeah, well, Blake, I have a screen there if you want to pop that up. I don't know if you can do it. Uh, but it shows Arizona right now. Yep, I see it. I'm sorry, I don't buy that at all. There's yeah. no fucking way. Nope. No, it's bullshit. That no. is weapons grade bullshit. Yep. Mm. Hmm. And they yeah. say like what? Fifty three percent? Is that right? Uh, fifty seven to forty three. Forty seven percent percent of the votes are in. Yeah, the there is no fucking way Carrie Lake is losing in Arizona. the election. Yeah, let's see how that goes. It's not going to happen. Just no. devil's Same advocate. Is it is it conceivable that all the people leaving California and going all over the place are like settling? You know, like in Arizona here and there, the bring in their Democratic votes with them. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, My Katie is Hobbs curious. is like a goddamn sort of librarian, sort of frumpy. What do we want? I'll be right back, that? guys. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do come back. She's a frumpy little fucking lesbian cunt. <laughs> Don't, don't hold back. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm trying to tame myself here, but. Uh, you know, Carrie Lake is out there. She's in your face. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Hobbs refused to debate her that's because right. she, wow. she, she would she fucking can't debate. She can't, Blake. That's, that, can't. that's I know, the interesting exactly part. Right. Well, yeah. she said, well, it would be a mockery of democracy. Well, it's a good thing we're not a fucking democracy. And isn't it cunt? That's another thing that makes that whole uh, Arizona thing less uh, believable. Is mm, their exactly. candidate wouldn't even come out to debate. Yeah. 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 America is just a symptom of a larger problem. See, because oh, if, yep. if if I have to debate, I'm going to be proven wrong, and facts are, are not my feelings, and I, it, it's Wee. such nonsense. Wee. What the hell? Nonsense. Fuck him. That's nonsense. A, this is getting fucking nuts, bro. Hobbs can bob on my knob like corn on the cob. Oh God. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Nice. In a world where Hobbs, Hobbs sucks I was kind of hoping that uh, we would get. I prefer Pick Calvin up. and Hobbs. I was kind of hoping at the end of the night we'd have 56 in the Senate and, you know, gain another, you know, 20, 25 seats in the House. You underestimate the Democrats' willingness to cheat. Oh, I'm no, getting I know. there, though, Pop. It's not that bad. Yeah, we'll see how it goes we'll tomorrow. We'll see how it goes with tomorrow. because we Tomorrow have, or next I, week, yes. ton of super chats to get through let's here. Get so through let's these. jump into them. We got Wayward Scholar on Rumble says, don't forget the withholding of info that prevents people from changing their vote. Yep. Hmm. I can't forget that. Uh, K-Note 72, Kotek and Drazen, neck and neck in Oregon. Really? Hmm. They're, they're actually allowed to have neck and neck races in Oregon? Well, or, I know that Oregon. Like the birthplace of Antifa? Oregon has 30% of their landmass wants to actually become part of Idaho. I don't blame them. Yeah. That's you know you know you're fucking up when your state wants to fucking leave. Yep. Hey, uh, just point of order, Blake. Uh, birthplace yeah. of Antifa was Weimar Germany. Eh, it's still bullshit. Just saying. They, they, they've been around a long I'm time. I'm talking about in this country a long country. time. Well, let's see. If a kingdom is ruled by kings, <laughs> what is a country ruled by? <laughs> uh, Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, the Dark Saint Fetterman's wife is sticking around so he can win the election, resign, and appoint his wife. Like Biden said, she'd make a great senator. Did Biden even know what the fuck he was talking about? Probably but the thing not. is, is I don't think you can do that. You appoint your wife to... That doesn't seem right. Uh, what about uh, Woodrow Wilson? Uh, he would say he... He was widowed during his first term. He met a woman named Edith Galt, yep. courted her and married her, and then he had a stroke. And then for a lot of his second term, a lot of the signatures on the laws that he was signing were not his. Whoa. You're correct. But the thing is, is he didn't say, oh, I'm sick, so my wife is not going to do my job. Yeah, because he couldn't. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. There's, there's got to be something that, that just doesn't sound right. He was right. probably the first woman president. Doesn't sound right. Illegitimate, but still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Red Nine, did Pennsylvania actually elect a literal stroked out guy who can't form a sentence? I guess we'll find out in three or four days. Yep. Uh, Crusader Nate, Captain Blake, I hope you enjoyed the pic Jimmy Bones sent you, and I hope Pop enjoys it too. 
<laughs> Not I don't want to see Nancy Pelosi's tits. Oh, disgusting. I, I, I do confess to a certain morbid curiosity here. <laughs> I, I, like, oh! I'm, uh, I'm like, how bad can it? I mean, can't be worse than that damn Hillary face on thing video you showed us. Good <laughs> this Lord. is actually real. God damn. This is real. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> I mean, looking at these election results, what is real? You know, Do you actually right? have a picture of her real tits. I'm gonna have to. They're see. not like naked. Oh, <laughs> thank God. I probably well, would be on, laying. Come over there, look at. I'd be laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Are see, you? I'm not the only one. Pop's going yes, to look. He's, he's jumping out of his chair to go look at this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? Those are not good. <laughs> And she's but hanging wait. with women who are even more decrepit than she is. <laughs> Sorry. Now, normally, I don't take time to look at 70-plus-year-old tits. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> normally. <laughs> Bob? Bob, normally. what's her number, Bob? <laughs> what? Mm. What would you give her? Is she a four? Well, I saw some pictures of her when she was younger. Mm. Like... 25 before 25 i would say she's like a six and a half to a seven really? really but you lose one point per you know seven years yeah so and she i'd give her a four <laughs> <laughs> put the damn picture up blake come on man you're driving is this the wicked I, witch of lansing or what, what are we talking about i don't want i don't want to search for this <laughs> oh come on do it do it now. Do it now. Uh, I kill you. Uh, uh, fucking bastards. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's Italian job. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nancy oh. Pelosi? No. No. Well, no okay. can can here, you, uh, like 48 yeah. fucking thousand years ago, she was pretty hot. Can oh, you no. imagine now the suggested search, like stuff that Blake's going to get now that he's searching for Pelosi's boobs? <laughs> I mean, Blake's got all kinds of weird shit he's searching so for. Did she all actually the time. get a boob job? Did she get a boob job at, at, at 70 plus? I wouldn't be shocked if she did. I don't know. That's an ugly ass woman, though. It is a very ugly ass woman. Well, her husband got a little bit of. You know, <laughs> well, I mean, cool listen, if Why do you think he went for hammer time instead? That's right. He was married to that. He's like, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> let the guy with yeah, that. I'm hammer. going gay, man. I can't handle this shit. <laughs> He's going to hammer me at both ends. God. <laughs> Whew, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. I feel violated. We are so so bad here. We're just we're so bad. I yes. don't want to, man. I can't stop. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> Stupid. I, I can't not fuck with you. It's just comedy gold. It's, well, it's I mean, that's why I'm here too. You know, it's always messing with you. Gotta give you shit. Oh, Make God. some shorts. It's it's it, it'll be fantastic. <laughs> Right. As long as I don't have to look at nasty Pelosi's nasty tits in shorts, it's quite disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh God. So in the yeah. chat, they're asking uh, for you to do a Rule 34 on Pelosi. No! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, no. 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 It's All election right, night. Fine. You can't do that. Here we go. All right. Oh, shit. Let's do it. All right, fine. All right. We're Jesus. Terrible. Well, you know, she's, she's got hooters. Floop to do. <laughs> she's got a gut going on there. So <laughs> she's got, a gut. <laughs> got a gulch. <laughs> gulch. <laughs> yeah. And listen, I, uh, and that's one hell of an old hosed out crevasse. I'm just saying. Mm, nice. Damn it. Did yeah. she yeah, actually, decisions. do they have kids? Did she have kids? Probably. Yeah. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Well, doesn't she have a son that uh, is on the some Ukrainian gas board or some shit? Uh, maybe. Probably shocked. Probably not. I don't know. That that was like looking at a, a set of BF Goodrich new tires on a Model T, man. It's just, it just doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. It just it don't. It just doesn't make sense. What did I say earlier? A new chandelier in a haunted house. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Knote 72 says, Pop is right. Most of Oregon is conservative or moderate. The I-5 corridor from Eugene to Portland, especially Portland, throws off the demo. Yeah, listen, if your government is really doesn't have your best interest and all they're doing is just taking from you and offer you nothing in return, 
just get the fuck out of there. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, it's the it's the same. It's the urban vote, right? Oh. There's so many more of them, and they all vote that way, and it just takes everything else with it. It's crazy. And we need to come up with an, a way of turning some of these mega populated cities into de- districts, so yeah. they have their, you know, they, they vote their own people in, but they don't influence the rest of the state because it really is unfair to everyone else i I agree we should have have your one law you want in the cities and have our other laws out in the country because i mean honestly it just doesn't make any sense anymore well it really doesn't you know i mean we have huge populations of people in these blue cities and it's like being in an elevator where they're piping in shitty music that makes you (laughs) pissed off and somebody farts it's yeah. guaranteed to have a fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. You're like stuck in there. <laughs> playing this music. Somebody farts. Like, God damn it! And then somebody's <laughs> gonna start throwing some punches. Yeah. Oh, we got uh, Troy the man. How is it that a Canuck knows more about our election systems than we do? <laughs> because our school districts don't teach our youth. No, they teach social no. science yeah, now instead of civics. It's not a science. It's neither social nor science. It's, it's brainwashing. Mm. Oh, trust trust me, our education system is not much better up here. It's just like every other gentleman on this uh, forum. You got to stay informed. You got to take the time to stay informed. Right. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Big Chad the Mad Lad says, anybody notice the hamster is blowing up Pop's whistle sack? Great setup, Blake. <laughs> Yikes. I didn't mean to, man. Oh, wow. Well, now he's up yours, Blake. So. Well, that was shocking. It's all up his ass. <laughs> uh, we got some uh, funny dog videos on InstaTwat from Fan I Am. Let's check these out. What have we got here? All right, hang on. I got yeah, I got to do my thing here. We got to switch over. To All right, and then I got to switch over to a solo view. Here we go. Okay. If it'll if it'll let me. There we go. Oh. Dogs playing with a dildo. Hammer time. <laughs> It's so lazy, you won't even get the damn fucking toy. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was, I was that's a girl. It. That's a girl dog. Here we go. All right. Smash that fucking thing. I well, hate Darth it. Vader. Dog's like, fuck you. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> 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 you can't make this shit up. That is great. Oh, it's beautiful. oh man, that is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I gotta bring this back up here oh, for my a God, second because I accidentally xed out one. Let's bring it up again. Dog's own leg tries to steal phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> And that's All the girls got to do is rub that's some really peanut butter on their vagina. They're going to have a good time. Oh, <laughs> no. Sam. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Jeez, the dog <laughs> has multiple <laughs> personality disorder, man. God. I would say yeah. that, yes. Yeah. Well, Jeez. you ever seen a dog like fart and then get like startled and run away? <laughs> They're completely yeah. unaware of their own bodies. It's hilarious. Well, some of them are, yeah. Yeah, some of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Simmons, which horror movie character should be in Congress? I have no idea. A Pennywise. Gary oh, hey, Fisher. Told you, you want to be friends? <laughs> the chicken carry. Yes. Yeah, there you go. She there could spew is. blood all over the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I never Do what I want that. or I'm going to kill you. I never even thought of that before. <laughs> but, uh, Chucky the doll. There you go. Don't fuck with the Chuck. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> it's in Vega. I'm, come on. E.T. Yeah. Phone Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up it's a horrible idea yep uh, nick corkadilus implying bill was ever president 
That's so sad. <laughs> mm. uh, fan, I am in prison. You have to shut your eyes and take it. With Pelosi, you have to shut your eyes and give it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, are we shocked that her husband is a raging alcoholic who uh, is a down low Dan? Uh, probably uh, no. no. I'm not Allegedly. shocked. I'm literally not shocked that that's happening. Right in the poopy queue. Uh, the Dark mm -hmm. Saint on Rumble says, Pop Fetterman's wife might be able to be appointed, but I'm betting it depends on state law. We got Senator, Senator Murkowski because her father won governor of Arkansas, and she was then appointed to his seat. Wow. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's fucked up. Man. That there, is fucked up. That should not happen. be allowed, not in today's day and age. Uh, K note 72 I five corridor equals the first stop for fleeing cuckafornians for the past few decades. Now, Oregon Dems use those cucked votes to ramrod through whatever they want. Yeah. And K note 72 says Dems here tried to ram through a cap and trade bill in 2020, blocked any public vote. Drazen took part in the walkout that denied quorum for vote to pass. Hmm. Well, what can you say? Uh. Things happen. Gonna jump over to Odyssey. Oh, we got some cards. Oh yeah, we got cards. Here we All go. Right, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> that. <laughs> God damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. We're gonna go to this. <laughs> Black and dick her. <laughs> you find out that your alleged ex was ran through by the entire fire department and several melanin non-challenged oh. construction workers. Sounds like pop. Hey. Redheads. You Gotta get watch the them. rigs test to see if uh -huh. you got them all. Your test comes back negative. Take a shot of your choice of booze and take a sigh of relief. Oh, man. So Pop was in the back making mashed potatoes. Oh, baby, I love you. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah and then there we go. The buddy fuckery investigators. Blue Falcon had screwed you one too many times. Time for some get back scumbaggery. Pick two players. Punch one buddy in the arm with the other player. Look at their cards and take two of the best ones. Make both players lose a turn. <laughs> The senior airman Fitzwell for true Fitzwell story, the origin of the Fitzwell name. In the early 1900s, my great grandparents came through Ellis Island. Originally, Fitzarelli, and sounding too Italian, the man who processed them told my grandfather to change their last name to something more American to ensure he could find a job quickly. The surname of Fitzwell was born. <laughs> so my great grandfather, Ricardo Fitzarelli I, took the test and became an American citizen. After joining the 69th U.S. Army Corps, he quickly rose to a rank of senior airman and became a bombardier aboard the B-17 Outhouse Mouse, dropping F-bombs over enemy territories in <laughs> France, Guam, and Yo Mama. <laughs> For finding where your surname came from and your origins, go again. Nice, nice. That's a good one. The Flabby Fist to Cuffer 4. Oh, no. Oh, the humanity. Emerging from your emergency shelter, you found the city in ruins. Food stores are gutted, cars are upside down, and buildings were either tagged with pop was here, engulfed in flames, and or destroyed. Miraculously, no one was killed or seriously injured. You find out that all junk food and candy within a 50-mile radius is missing. You find that you have some junk food in your bug-out bag, which are great bargaining items, and shit hit the fan land. <laughs> For preparing for the worst, take two shots of bourbon. Shit hit the fan lane. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Flabby fist to cover five. I can smell your little debbies. Oh, God. Pop snack food senses lock onto the junk food you stashed. Pop turns into mini Popzilla because his cravings are much smaller now. <laughs> up the size of a medium iguana, he scurries about on the ground in search of your decadent delights. You look down because something catches your eye. There you find a mini Popzilla and catch him. <laughs> you bring him to animal control where he is brought to an obscure and deserted island where he is put in junk food therapy. <laughs> take a shot and take two cards from the deck for saving snack foods everywhere. Nice. nice. Stop hammer time. Oh, my God. Two. You can touch this. <laughs> Uncle Paulie, your friend David is at the door again. Should I have anybody in the house leave for an hour or two again? Uncle Polly says, leave now and come back when you see the window glass on the outside of the house. That's how you know you're done mud wrestling. Oh. Take a shot of something strong to get the verp taste out oh. of your mouth. Oh, God. Lop. Lack of meow. 
Being single for many years, Harriet Palms and her five sisters have become a wonderful companion. They are there when you need a little nookie, and out of sight and out of mind when not needed. A lack of pussy gives you post and nut clarity in this unprecedented time for men. You continue your hobbies, kill it at work, and achieve many important milestones in your life. Take another card from the deck and chug a beer. All right. Monkey butt! Ah. Oh. In the third degree, <laughs> being in a field without the use of modern bathrooms could get you sick if you don't properly wash after downloading a shit. <laughs> you normally pack all your toiletries with extra shit tickets just in case. However, this deployment was a rush to get you into a fight due to uneasiness in the world. Forgetting to pack those precious tickets, you are forced to use tree leaves, which leaves those cracks and crevasses normally cleaned dingleberry prone. <laughs> You used a poison <laughs> ivy leaf to wipe by accident. Lose a turn. <laughs> <laughs> the SS drinking straw. Oh, party on the poop deck. Blake throws a top tier party for all the fans of redonkulous content creators of MGTOW channels and his family and friends. The booze is flowing. The les bots and pop bots are dancing. And Blake is DJing like a boss. Go again. You think you found your BIPOC zipper tit commie cret? So oh. late. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Nice. Wow. Gone. Das Wutschipper. That was so. The Red Wave Mist Express. Uh, the two-way rifle range just popped off. No pun intended. All public officials that fucked up our society are rounded up, hogtied, and thrown into modified red mist makers. Pick a buddy to take two cards each. No, not, not that we're advocating that or anything. No. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I can't get behind throwing some purely, in. purely for entertainment purposes only. Purely, purely, absolutely, for absolutely. Like I have Pennsylvania on the screen from CNN right now. Pennsylvania, Super yay! Good. No, Ooh, look at that. That's getting closer though. It's getting close though. Yeah. It's getting very close. It's only like forty, less than forty thousand votes. Yeah. I like it. Well, the thing Fuck is. Fetterman. He's a dick. Yeah. I mean, the guy should retire. Jesus Christ. He should. Oh, yeah. The thing is, there's no shame in that. No. If he takes the job and then resigns because of his mental issues, there's a fuckload more shame in that. Correct. I mean, listen, I'm, I want the guy to fucking heal, man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I saw was two million idiots. Well, there's that, too. Well, yes, Billy Von Baum, of course. <laughs> yes, sir. A lot of idiots out there, I'm just going to say. Like George Carlin said, think of how stupid the average person is and then realize that half of them half are, of them are more stupid. Than stupid. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Andreas Christian. Hello, all. One, in Ohio paper issues where the security features are turned off, two, Maricopa County, 20% of the machines do not work after the new 5.5 Dream Team update. Mm. Three, lawsuits filed by both sides in Virginia, and that was just when I popped into Salty Crackers stream. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, shit. The ass Vesuvius of deadly farts, uh. otherwise known as Jackal the Emperor. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, chocolate starfish plungers, walking wind socks, dick forcers, red roosters, and oral pussy philanderers. Oh, just got back from voting on my end, and I bought more Legos. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's all good. You can bro. make a Lego pussy. <laughs> It'll hey. probably be more comfortable than fucking an Italian chick. Oh, the chafing! Oh, come on, Damn. Italian chicks are hot. <laughs> they are hot. They're all slimy and shit. The few Especially the redheads. Heads. One of the few perfect tens I ever banged was Italian. But. But. The first but. time I banged her, she had just trimmed. And that was far more appealing and pleasing than when she showed up after shaving the third day. I just got to say, Blake is more into this than Pop is. <laughs> Blake is all going crazy. Well, I'm yeah. just saying, when you... <laughs> If it feels like you're making out with a belt sander, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I'm, oh, looking, I'm just looking for. I, I keep my, my my laptop right here, and I'm trying to look at stuff for the midterms. He's looking. Yeah, I'm doing the same here. He's looking at Pornhub. 
<laughs> Horn Bay. Oh, no. he's, looking for, he's looking for Lauren Lauren Brooks. He's on the, searching uh, for BBC, <laughs> and he thought it was the News Network. <laughs> <laughs> Not just as harsh. It's it's worse Ooh. than that. He's searching got that for... Pelosi picture up. Oh, 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 he's, oh, he's getting oh, all excited oh, about that. Yeah. Oh, you redhead bet. sisters plus Pelosi. Did you mean big black cock? No, I didn't mean big black cock. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> How far are you into that drink now, Blake? <laughs> God, I don't want to know. Like, uh, That's the meter. Like seven eighths or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really good, man. I'm just saying. Damn, I want some of that. It's oh. good. You can find it. At, I mean, this was like 20 bucks for this jar. Damn. Fantastic. It tastes yeah, like it... A, a Starbucks Frappuccino if it were infused with alcohol mm. yeah that's like 35 mm. canadian though you know so. yeah in canada it's like 148 dollars so <laughs> what a bitch well yeah, well, yeah it's I'm telling uh, you man canucks 20 dollars uh <laughs> lap dance at the full nude review in canada that's true story uh, uh, how, how would you know that you bastard uh, I've been there for <laughs> c-section scars I guess once in a while the uh, the uh, the men exactly. in the uh, 101 Air Force just went up there and just invaded Canada. Well, and actually, fucked all I, the women. I used to Woo! take like when I had guys in my platoons who were getting married, we would all go to Canada, right across the the bridge from Detroit to the full nude review. Yeah, Windsor. Yes. Yeah, and it was insane. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I can't read. Well, on one time, we went there with like 18 people, and f four or five hours later, we had to carry six people back to the van. Jesus Christ! And then we got we got uh, breathalyzed at the bridge. It was it was glorious, glorious. So you, glorious. Have you been to Windsor lately? No, no way. It is an unbelievable shithole. I know. Like, even even the airport, I landed there, and I'm trying to get clearance to come in, and I swear to God, the tower controller was high. No, so, oh. right, can I get clearance? That? Yeah, you're uh, you're cleared to land one eight, dude. Are you <laughs> wow. kidding? Dude. Like, holy Jesus! I don't know. You know. Yeah, don't go to Windsor, man. Don't go to Windsor. I shot Not a wedding now. there three years ago. That was fun. Not now. Are you, what are you coming into Canada for? Just a wedding guest, man. Uh, I didn't tell him I was working because that would have been bad. No, smart. Dude, it's stupid smart. about that. Oh, yeah. Both ways. Yeah. Jail. Uh, Andreas Christian says, look over the death and excess deaths. It's rising by 500% yep. in certain countries, all done by the coof yep. jab. Yep. And uh, I've been actually tracking that. Yep. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. K Cameron, the Michigan governor Gretchen Whitmer and New York Governor Kathy Hochul come out of the same communist cloning lab. I've been wondering the same things myself. I wonder if they have uh the same dick. <laughs> Blake, I have Wisconsin on the screen for you. Yeah, yeah. You mean Wisconsin? Ron Johnson is ahead of Mandela Barnes. Yeah, I'm just shocked that these races are this close. I'm surprised yeah. the Mandela effect didn't take hold. Fuck, man. You actually have Michigan in the corner there. Uh, Whitmer 51, Dixon 46. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Fantabulous. Except not. Yeah, no. <laughs> and what do we got here? Urban Dictionary from Fuck for Life wants uh. us to look up gummy. The act of receiving a blowjob from a toothless man or woman. Or goat. And then there's a gummy gummy. <laughs> gummy gummy. When two elderly people perform a 69. Uh, <laughs> a gummy gummy. A gummy gummy. <laughs> oh, man. You got to write Harsh. that down. It's horrible. Uh, Andreas Christian, I grow my own food. I have my pastures where animals are raised. I have farmer friends that keep these animals separate. And when it's time to collect the meat, I contact my local independent butcher and he turns the dead animals into delicious meats. Yep. Hell yeah. That's the way to do it. Uh, ask Vesuvius of deadly farts. Oh my God. I bought ammo. I need to buy some and maybe a few leather stripper clip pouches and body armor. Whatever. It's better than fart nukes from a Latina or a gothic white girl ass. <laughs> Cap taint balake, something for Marty, the dick that apparently is fits well in the email. Oh shit. Do I want to know? 
Uh, did he send it to us? Make pop. Oh, God! God! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, no! That sounds bad. Oh, and he got this too for the dick that is fits well. Apparently, he got he got Lauren looking a little. Uh... Mm. Yes, Lauren. <laughs> yes. Not bad. Not bad. Hang on. Oh, let me let me switch over to the solo so you guys can see this. <laughs> oh yeah. <baby. laughs> Remember that one time we had her on and she got like just totally roasted. She was she drank so much of that cold brew she was out to lunch. Yeah, she was done by the end. That was she glorious. was a ten tom turkey. It was glorious. I mean, she's sending you pictures, Blake. Uh, no. Give her my email address. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got it. You got it. I mean, yeah, thank Slowly you. going sane to pop. I used to have that same shirt. I bought it from Goodwill to use for a '90s party. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the 90s were better than this shit. Yeah, they were. Andreas Christian, I see it now. People waterboarded themselves and kicked their air addiction after election night. <laughs> oh, I, I can't know. say you're wrong. Uh, Chief Kinkabitch of the Slapaho Nation, email of a press secretary meme. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> Did we see I don't see anything from Chief Kinkabitch. Check them out. From slap a whole nation. I don't see nothing here from you, bro. Sorry, man. I'm looking and I'm not seeing. Hmm. Unfortunate. We see nothing. He's a legend. Not even in his own mind. He's literally a legend. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we got here? A fuck for life. Yes, Blake, there's an urban dictionary for October surprise. Oh, there's really oh, there can't be. no way. Oh. Okay. I don't want to know. <laughs> Yeah, he does. They like to torture him. An unexpected, dramatic, last-minute event which potentially alters the outcome of an election. Okay, well, we know that. Well, okay. I mean, the uh, the, the Hunter Biden laptop should have been an October surprise, but it was Russian infor misinformation. Yep. Fucking bullshit. And, Blake, when you're ready, real clear politics screenshot there of the Senate race current standings. What do we got here? The red and the blue. I'm seeing a lot like of red. I see a lot of red there, yeah. Winning. Let's hope it stays that way and things don't miraculously change overnight. Although, let's see, of the battleground states where you're presuming that there may or may not be some uh, waffle cones, Arizona's on there, mm -hmm. Georgia's on there, Nevada's on there, Wisconsin's on there, and, of course, Pennsylvania. Why am I not shocked? Hmm. Mm. Those are the ones that have not been called yet. Hmm. No shocker there. Andreas Christian, if the Republican candidates do not win, they have to sue the living snot out of these demon, demon rats no matter what. Yeah. We've already, we have already know that our, uh, <laughs> our, our judges, and are, they're not going to do shit. Uh, Dark Saint says, Blake, come on, man. AK is Alaska. Sorry, man. I don't have all of the fucking abbreviations. Mm -hmm. What do you want from me, man? <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want from me, man? I had like a liter of fucking pure moonshine. 198 grave. Jesus. Christ. That's very true. It's a court. It's a court. It's 700% <laughs> a liter. <laughs> oh, fuckers. Got to be Canadian to get that it's one. Over here. <laughs> uh, we got uh, back on YouTube. We have here uh, Cliff thirty one eighty eight. I know, right? We all just got back from voting as the polling clerk was giving me my ballot stub. She glanced at my ballot and then gave me the dirtiest look. I lingered to see her react to the stunning and brave person behind me. Gave the heebie-jeebie a big smile, thanked them for coming in, and shook their hand. The clerks are in on it. Yep. Mm. Wow. So hold on a second. Like when you vote, they can actually see what you voted. You're, they're not supposed to. No. Because well. like every time I vote up here, you fold your thing. It goes in the button. Nobody sees it at all. At ah. all. Right? Yeah. Well, like, this is the U.S., what? man. This is the U.S. Holy crap. Well, that's like, not good. Oh, shit. Like where I voted this morning, I didn't. Nobody looked at anything. Yeah. Hmm. And really? an wow. update on the governor's race as well. It's on the screen here. Oh, hang yeah. on, what we got here. Okay. Uh, looking pretty even. Mm. Dem hole, dem hole, dem pickup in Maryland and Massachusetts. Not surprised by those two. 
Uh, fuck your mother. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay, well, what? <laughs> All right, we got some more fan I am stuff here. We need to really need to truck along here, so we're going to start to push through these really quick because we still have to get to Big Down Todd TV. And last I checked, there was 36 super chats. Wow. On Big Town. That's oh, whoa. Whoa. Well, let's go through them then. Speed round. Do it. Yep. Speed All round. right, let's check them out here. What do we got? Hang on. Solo layout. What is this? Have you heard of the Greek hero, Bophides? <laughs> he was a lot like Achilles. He just has one weakness, except for his heel. Except instead of his heel, it was his groin. You may have heard of Achilles' heel, but have you heard of Bophides' nuts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. This glazed ham better calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. No. Oh shit! Oh, that's accurate. that's uh, that ham looks like it's ready to settle down. Yeah, I mean, if it's warm <laughs> enough, you know, ready to settle down. down. Wow. <laughs> I mean, out of the fridge, that's a problem. But you know, throw it in the oven, eh? Whatever. Who's uh, gonna know? Wow, that's some messed up shit. All right, we got to go jumping over to BigTow.tv here. We got fist my ass oh. cheeks. <laughs> All right, then. You guys make these screen names just to make me read them. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, they Hi, do. I'm back, but only for today. Pop and Blake, let's get this party started. Uh. Mungo Harry, I'm nervous, irritable. My hands are shaking. There's only one cure for this fever. More cowbell. Oh, More Asian cowbell. cowbell. <laughs> More I can't Asian post nice. them myself, so please help a brother out. I don't know if I have any Asian butts here, but I can check it out. I got this one here. Let me just pop this up here for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. no, not, not bad, right? Not bad, not bad. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. Now we're still on YouTube, so I we can do another get, one here. We can't show the really. There you go. So oh. That one's more of a more of a pog butt. Mm -hmm. P A W G, yeah. fat ass and white. She's girl. in front of the bump and grind shop. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's why her back is to the camera. Yep. <laughs> Got any redheads? That would work. Well, mm. there's always a room for redheads. Mm, goody. I love me some redheads. Uh, what do we got here? Fist my ass cheeks again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> At Mungo <laughs> Harry, if you're nervous right. and shaking, Pop should give you the knife hand. <laughs> Crazy yes. uncle. Email sent to your box. Hope it feels good taking it since it's a large email. <laughs> I don't want to know, man. Uh. Good evening, you rectal rigging. Sphincter spelunking, taint tickling, labia licking, nipple gnawing, evil hairless monkeys. <laughs> <Whoa>. Damn. <laughs> nice. Mm. Here is the story I received about two weeks ago that I promised I would send. A guy was in the army with a teenage son, about 15 to 17, I think, but have not verified yet. Now, the son has been watching you since I told his father about your videos years ago. In fact, what happened was due to the advice in your video status check. Still one of my favorites to show boys that are confused about their standings and social bullshit. The rest I got from his father, so some details may be a little bit off, but I will do my best to get everything right. His teenage son was dating a teenage girl, and by uh -oh. that, he was giving her the 500 miles, 6 to 8 inches at a time. <laughs> that right. was until he started screaming in pain when he went to take a piss. Oh, there we Ooh. go. My friend, his father, rushed him to the emergency room where he was diagnosed with a light version of... Gonorrhea! No. He got, he got <laughs> chlamydia. Huh? Oh, no. At this point, at the time of the party, I have zero idea if the teens even spoke. Oh, my at the God. aforementioned party, the son yelled at this bitch, and she took zero accountability for infecting him. Hmm. What set him off was how she laughed at him for being stupid for not realizing she was getting more wood than a sawmill. <laughs> Any details about who she was fucking are beyond my knowledge. What I do know is she was getting plowed more often than I-90 in the winter. With this information, <laughs> I think he got off easy with a bacterial infection. Yes, he did. Now, in your yeah. video, you mentioned that anyone that willingly gave someone an infection, ass baggery deserves ball kickery. Uh, yeah. I guess he figured that since he can't aim low, he might as well aim high. When she publicly embarrassed him, he swung a hook into the side of her soy titties so hard that they just about spun around and hit her in the back of the head. Nice. <laughs> now, this kid is not a small guy, and he's been an athlete his entire life, his father insisted. Mm. So that strike was enough to leave a large bruise. The aftermath was interesting as the single mother, shocker, <laughs> threatened to sue my friend. That was until they both got lawyers. 
<laughs> it turned out that the boy was very lucky as the girl had more than just one thing wrong with her downstairs mix-up. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. along with the fact that she would have had to publicly in court disclose every single one of her partners made her single mother think twice. I'm sure there were some adults in that wow. list who would not be pleased at all to have their names revealed. The 17 will still get you 20. Mm-hmm. I wish I had more information to share, but all I got is that the case was dropped and the two kids don't talk anymore. The kid has gone full monk mode and only focuses on work, family, education, and sports. Good. In case you are wondering if there's a news article, theirs is not due to a due to the age of both of the personnel. Mm-hmm. Well, I usually like for like you're, he got chlamydia. Yeah, and on a beer scale, that's you know gone a real light. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so he got lucky. Now, normally a dude gets that; it's not a big deal. They give you some pills, you're fine. But if this woman had this for a while, it'll sterilize her, and it often does. Bad. So yeah. it sounds to me like he's he was fooling around with a teenage girl who quite literally has the thousand cock stare before she even walks to stage for her diploma. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Oh Woo! man. <laughs> In the butt. <laughs> Listen, man. I've... Oh no. We got a cash app. With there we go. Another request for urban dictionary. Mm. Colorado campfire. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> the act of stuffing a marshmallow up a girl's asshole oh, and God. Then proceeding to fuck the marshmallow deeply inside her like one was loading an old Civil War musket. <laughs> then upon finishing inside said booty what hole, the, the female is, is asked to evacuate the contents upon two eagerly awaiting graham crackers. <laughs> it is considered rude if the cracker is not consumed after... <laughs> Well, wow, color me rude. Oh, oh, Jesus. What the hell? God damn it. Stop that. Oh, my God. <laughs> it did. Oh. Literally. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn. What? Damn. I don't know about you, but I'm having a that good one, time. That one's. Oh, yeah. What do we got here from you, Ryan? Oh, uh, that's just a layout oh, of the overall Senate House governors in a uh, little uh, overlay. Looking even right now. It won't be even in the morning. Idaho. Yeah. We're in three to four days when they decide that they're they finally have enough dead people. You mm. mean fourteen it's days? Uh, Ross Bodie says, "Get Billy Von Bomb to make a new. We're not worthy." I've thought about it, but the the problem is the original clip. They move a little too fast, so I probably have to like slow it down and work on it that way. Mm. I or mean, Bob and I could just. Do the whole, do the clip ourselves. Set up the camera. There you go. Yeah, with the ice cream cone over there. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the uh, <laughs> melted budgetical on his shirt there. Shut <laughs> Motherfuckers. Uh, crazy uncle Blake. Since you don't drink wine anymore, have you tried blackberry brandy? I have not. Actually, it's it doesn't good. count as a foo foo drink, and it doesn't taste like it's going to hurt you. No, nah, Blake doesn't go for the uh, wine. He goes right like to the fucking drink. 190 proof shit. I'm sorry, what? Yes. <laughs> Drunk man says what? I do drink hot sake, though. That stuff is the bomb. Especially if you, if you have sinus you got, drainage, hot sake is like an insta-cure. Hmm. You got moonshine, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the water's empty. What? Oh, my Lord. Crazy uncle. And thank you very much for that other donation to fill up all of her holes. Your favorite army recruiter is on a cruise, but makes time for my favorite drunk uncles. Not a guy cruise that Blake's familiar with. Whoa! Hey, hey! <laughs> Let's take perfect. a cruise, baby. Crazy uncle wants to know why you're dressed like a Neapolitan. <laughs> He's about oh, no, that's pretty good. <laughs> there's, there's chocolate flavors in Neapolitan. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, he's 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 definitely creamsicle there, buddy. Hey, he's a creamsicle. God damn it. He's chocolate he's behind. A he's a dick under the waist I, there. Yeah. I was wondering, Pop, did you uh, like look in Tanner Guzzi's style guide to pick that one up there? I mean, oh, like, uh, dude, <laughs> I bought it like somewhere between one and three in the morning. He's <laughs> Agent, <laughs> Agent Orange. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pop, uh, this is another one of those uh, <laughs> order it early in the morning and you just like, what the fuck? I forget. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
I mean, it does have like it's cool. There'll be conflicting eyewitness reports when he like commits a crime. <laughs> so no, he's that, wearing man. an orange shirt. No, it's white. <laughs> Easy to <laughs> identify. Yes, <laughs> it was an orange Supreme pizza. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Look at this guy. Get the hell up, man. Uh, Ballistic Zero. <laughs> Evening fuckos and fuckets. The team has a symbol. Just missing Aquaman, but he confuses poles and holes all day. Huh? It's disgusting. Uh, Laffey Moore says Billy Von Bombs should be channeling Daft Punk. <laughs> mm. uh, I've been reading the chat. I'm like, uh, apparently, I'm like Dime Store uh, Daft Punk over here. <laughs> Dime Store Daft Punk. Yeah, you're like the soundtrack to uh, Tron Legacy Daft Punk. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, look. Billy Von Bomb, what do you got to do? Is open the uh, thing and your teeth come out. And you you evaporate people. That'd be great. <laughs> like a, you know, one of those uh, movies <laughs> from M. Look like those seven up commercials from the 1990s. He opens that up, you just see lips and teeth. <laughs> no, I'm talking about that guy that goes into the store. What the hell was that? Venom or something? Venom. Yeah. Venom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. You could do that. We don't eat people. It, technically, this is my nighttime riding helmet, and it has light up, these strips light up and everything. It's kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I have to keep my job. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I understand. So you're I mean, it, understand that, like, right? Certainly. Yeah. My job okay. would not like the stuff I produce. So this is Kill Bill Volume 3, and he's Boomer Thurman. <laughs> there you go. Uh, crazy Uncle with four in a row here, at least that I can see. At my current job, a female walked through, didn't buy anything, but walked through without a bra and just about piercing her shirt with her nipples. Perfect size, you know, anything bigger than a handful is a waste. Unfortunately, all I can think is look away before you get fired. <laughs> why, women? Why? Modern day politics make it difficult to appreciate a nice, nice pair of snack trays. Hmm. You're correct. Yep. Moisture at Moisture Patrol. True, but it would still get me fired. <laughs> we all know about the malfunctions of the voting machines. Does anyone know about the malfunctions of the Powerball machines at the same time? Then oh, Cal yeah. In California, got it. Makes you think. Whoa! Hey, hey. That was my request. Mm -hmm. Ballistic Zero. Rehearsal. Oh, you mean prepping for NTC for three fucking months? Staging everything for rapid deploy, having the Afghan gaff happen just to be told, hey guys, they called us off. Just get them birds and the Humvees off the train. Fuck these people. I hope every time they are barefoot, they step on a Lego. Every time they open a puzzle, they're missing a piece. I hope their children don't learn how to read. I hope they hit them pinky toes onto furniture every night. Ooh. Pray they develop an allergy to sex. And she's me at the National Training Center. It sucks. Uh, what do we got here? Thy razor after tonight. We got a, a razor fist meme right here. <laughs> He's just falling off of his shit. And then what is this? AOC has a rack like baby back, oh! but teeth like Jagger. Oh, God! That looks terrible. It's a full moon in the memes of flowing gents. Tonight we gonna, we go up all night to get funky. Meanwhile, outside the lair, the ATF... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing in here. It's, it's fine. Ballistic Zero knocking out a bunch of these here right in a row. Blake, make a gif of Soros with a hot dog like the Neil Old one. It must happen. <laughs> that was a beautiful. <laughs> that was Billy all the way, man. Oh, that was pretty good. That was Billy Von Bomb. Thank you. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, fist my ass cheeks. I keep saying these fucking names. Blake and Pop, any thoughts on Facebook firing 12,000 people? All because Zuck the Cuck is wasting money on his metaverse. Uh, well, first of all, the, the all of the fucking censorship they've been doing created the competition for them. And we're going to see yep. the same thing happen to YouTube and Google. Yep. Uh, well, none of the young people like Facebook. They call no, it Boomer no. Book. So oh, I am. They're all on TikTok and yep. OnlyFans. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm going to listen to them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, where's Joker and TFM hiding? They're probably sleeping. Yeah. I don't know. Turd flinging monkey. Yeah. 
been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fist my ass cheeks at Alpha Male Lifestyle. Pop and Blake, I think it's time you guys should do a stream with Amr. Uh, I'm not known for that. Yeah. Amr's a good him. dude. He knows his shit. Ballistic Zero. Karen! Welcome back, you old hag. We miss you. <laughs> what the fuck? Ballistic Zero sent in this here. Ugh. AOZ after tonight's results. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That is like a good old Mr. Bean to keep you going there. At Cappy, here's five for you to cough. See, someone appreciates thy cough. <laughs> Fist my ass cheeks, you fucker. I see the great, stunning, and brave life coach Cappy has made an appearance. This is rare. Sean, SO715, pop shirt reminds me of a water tower I saw near an airfield on a military base. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite accurate. That yeah, yeah, it's accurate. Yeah, yeah. accurate. Uh, Ballistic Zero, thank you very much for the chats here. He says, I'm a professional. I'd give it a go. I got a level two Cicerone certification, passed the German Das Boot test, and managed to drink Carlos Santana and Willie Nelson one time. Ooh. Nice. Same evening, still counted as two victories. Nice. Okay. Ballistic Zero, zero seconds. Blake and Cappy, Kirby used to mean something back in my day, and the chat apparently looks like this. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, Kirby used to mean Salma Hayek. Yeah. Now, yeah. apparently, Kirby's supposed to mean Lizzo. It's refrigerator. No. No, thanks. Fuck that. No. No. Yeah, no. Fuck that shit. Refrigerator. Uh, size 18 and up from, from ballistic zero we have to wake up tomorrow fuck that i only have formation at 0600 for apft i don't have to sleep i need coffee and billy's deep memes yeah you're fine mm. hell yeah i do have one question nobody has inquired yet big Elon bought twitter and banned everyone from it new tech is the shit now hugging while twerking is a thing now and the atf is outside pops bushes and karen is alive <laughs> what happened to the roadster that elon launched to yonder does Elon know of the existence of ghost aliens and they put an order for a car? Haunted! Also, is the Earth flat round or actually a dirty puddle droplet? I'm going for dirty puddle droplet. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's a dirty puddle droplet that fell out of the penis of God. Oh, <laughs> all penis. And all these gifts here from Ballistic Zero. I mean, this is why MGTOW has the best chat on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, let's see here. Ballistic Zero again. I call upon all men of able means and good character. If Joker really won, now is the time to give back to a community that really has helped countless fuckos. Well, he is going to be building a man's retreat with the money. I'm going to try and volunteer to help build it, and I say please do the same if you feel it's worth it. Now is the time to give back and maybe be part in saving lives. Put your money and balls where your mouth is and be the change you would have liked someone to be back in the day. Now is the time to build and look towards a real future. Yeah, I yeah, agree I, with that completely. I picked up 30 acres. I'm doing the same thing. It's just I don't have, I didn't win a contest. I'm, mm. I'm building it on a shoestring budget. <clears throat> oh, no. All right. Now I got to look up Binks on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> a superhero cat trained to save the world from bad guys and to cuddle its human. I don't. Well, that, that's lame. <laughs> well, at least I'm not. I don't want to vomit from hearing that. So it's not bad. Arrow Shogun. I do not believe this can be settled peacefully. Hmm. The left has already said that they do not want peace, neither here nor in Ukraine. I have already reached effort, but as a civilian, it's easy for me to say, let's kick this off while we still have our guns because they already want us dead. I have zero faith on either side, and I'd rather die a free man than live under the thumb of blue haired commies. You cannot vote or comply your way out of tyranny. Nope. Absolutely correct. Yeah, I can't say they're wrong. Uh, what do we got here? Kala Berava on YouTube says, just take my money. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Fan I am. S Hamster sounds a bit like Christopher Walken. G can he please say, wow, your car is alive. Chase me. <laughs> <laughs> or did I just steal his thunder? <laughs> 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 oh, did he leave? Hamster's uh -oh. gone. Yeah, he had to bounce. You fucker. It's cool. Oh, I still I didn't even huh. he was here for almost the whole night. I mean, that's well, yeah. I appreciate him checking in. Thanks. It's midnight, you know. It's midnight. We're yeah. we're, we're we're winding down here. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Cliff 3188, glad he didn't, but if Beta O'Rourke had won Texas governor election, Texas would set a world record in boating accidents. Yeah. I cannot say you're wrong. Yeah, I I, I shall reserve my comments for when I'm not on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a couple more chats on Odyssey here from Fuck for Life. The October surprise I found when a girl is riding a boy's face like a broom and the guy's eating her out, then he bites her clit. She says, ow, and he pops out and yells, boo. (laughs) Uh, Chip Blaster, pop 308 Cal, 556 for a battle rifle. Which one? It all depends what you want to do with it. Um, Now, if it's like urban combat... 5.56, Five five six. You can actually carry more ammo. We're evil hairless monkeys that you can literally take out of the fight with a BB gun. Uh, but if you have to engage targets at 400, 500 meters and beyond, three hundred eight's best thing. Winning. Yeah. So you have to you have to pick the platform for what you think you're going to need it for. Yep. Uh, the Dark Saint says, Hamster's right. Blake has had moonshine. I forgive you for mistaking my state acronym. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I think we have read all, all the chats. The... And it's a quarter they... after midnight here on the East Coast. Do we have any last um, changes in regards to... Any news anyone can give us here? I am scouring myself. Uh, looks basically the same to me. Nothing crazy going on on my end. Yeah. Well, you know, they're going to make us wait three to four days to find out the real results. And that's now the new thing to we make sure everybody's actually counting all the votes. Yep. Yeah. Well, let me ask this question. What, what if we wake up tomorrow and there's a big F like last time? Let's do, you think there's, do you think there's, there's going to be, there's gonna be hell to pay? Well, the thing is, what's going to happen? It's basically, uh, this is going, all right. <clears throat> what happened in 2020, we, we know that it was very suspicious, but you have a lot of people are like, well, maybe it's possible, you know, if it happens again, then you're going to have a ass little people knowing it's not good. And that is going to kick off the downward spiral. Yeah. Because from there, people are going to start plotting and planning. This shit's gonna get fucking real. Yep. I, I I hope that doesn't happen. I'm I'm just telling you. A lot of people out there, once they lose faith in the elections, then we'll, fuck it. Yep. It, it's literally just a matter of time before it it goes dynamic after that. Well, George Carlin said while he was alive that this country doesn't have representatives or presidents; it has owners. And that needs to stop. Yep. It, 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 truly, I mean that. That is horseshit right there. Eh, it is horseshit, but I can't say it's entirely incorrect. No, I can't either. <clears throat> so I'll give you a quick update. Uh, last time we checked, the Senate was uh, Democrats 46, Republicans 46. It is still 46 to 46. The House Democrats were 151. They are currently 160. Republicans were 184. They are currently 185. And in the governor's race, we have Democrats. They were at 17. Now they're at 18. Republicans, 24, still 24. So that is the most up-to-date information I have. All right. Woo! All right. Are we going to pack it in? I think we are going to pack it in. All right. I want to thank everybody who joined us on the stream tonight. Make sure that you subscribe to all of these awesome dudes. They're criminally undersubbed. (laughs) <laughs> and it's just ridiculous. And I think next month, Rhino and I were talking about doing, because we just did a Halloween movie stream. Yeah. We need to do a Christmas movie stream, even if it's just a Christmas horror movie stream, yeah, because maybe. I think that might be a lot of fun. Yeah. Did, you yeah, see did you see there's a new Christmas story coming out? Yes. A Christmas story Christmas, because the, the Department of Redundancy Department called. <laughs> yeah. And it is the original guy, Peter Billingsley, who played Ralphie. Mm. Well, he's been around this whole time. He was doing, you know, like producing and some directing. Do you ever see that movie Couples Retreat? No. With Vince uh, Vaughn? Peter Billingsley directed Unfortunately. That. Yeah, he directed that. Huh. Never saw it. Yeah, well, neither did I. But just, I know things. 
<laughs> it's not that great. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Kitty Stalker says, going to bow out for the night. You gents have a good night. And you have a good night. Channel 1-800-DUM says thank you. It's the longest stream we've ever done. Four yeah. hours and 19 minutes. Four hours and change. Well All done. Right. Thank you again. And especially, I want to say thank you to Billy Von Baum. You have been Dude. like a <laughs> hero behind the scenes of this show now for months on end. Thanks. You are the man, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I love doing it for you guys. I love entertaining your audience, helping you bring the show. You know. Thank you. Yeah, every well, deep fake. Aside from like a few of the earlier ones that we did, all him. Yep. Every single one. Nice. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank yes. you. Thank you. So what do you say, Pop? Safety briefing? All right, everybody. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and swim. If you're going to fight, don't go to the ground because that should get stomped out. If you have to defend yourself with a weapon, shoot to kill because it's always best if you have only one story to tell. Now, we're living in very uh, crazy times, so I have to ask you to keep your head on a swivel, and I'm not talking about the little, little one with the one eye on the top. I'm talking <laughs> about the big head with two eyes. Keep situational awareness, because guess what? If something bad's going to happen, something in your environment will be different and, un and changed, and if it's up to you to, just, to see what that is. If you don't, guess I guess you're going to enjoy the... Uh, October surprise. Yeah, the creamsicle special. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good All time. Right. Anybody else have any words of wisdom to dispense upon this crowd? Because we still have over a thousand people watching the stream as we finish up tonight. We've kept that many this long. Yeah. All right. Holy I am crap. honored. Truly, I am. Yes, absolutely. Just, just, just two words. Stay frosty. Stay very frosty. All mm -hmm. right. All right, y'all have a good night. And Sleep say, well, and uh, drink water before you go to bed. If you drink as much as I do, <laughs> take and care, eat, gentlemen. And eat your and Cheetos. And uh, after you're done eating your Cheetos, wash your hands before you masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thanks, gentlemen.